uh, Bronson today, but if Halfway needs guns, then what I'm saying is I think we put Halfway above him and since we've done a lot of business with Halfway. Zip, the guns that you were speaking with Hathaway about, were they the same guns that we were supposed to sell last night? I'm assuming, yeah. Okay. Bro, okay. That was so weird. It said we fucking, I, I was like guns. looking at TeamSpeak, and, and then it sure says like OBS has crashed, some... and then right after that, everything crashed. So, <laughs> when did you get word from Hathaway, Zip? I don't know. Uh, Yesterday. Oh. All right. I, I sold him the gold and the bonds that we got from the bank. I see. Okay, okay. And then he came to me and he asked if we had any guns to sell. And I said, I think we have a few long arms and a couple uh, six shooters. And he said, I'll take all of them. And I was like, okay. Uh, and then I told him I'm not checking my telegram. So send my assistant a telegram. And... Uh, or just show up in Van Horn. He's like, okay, when I wake up, I'll head over to Van Horn. Okay. One thing uh, that we did have going with Bronson is that he was going to sell us, I think, dynamite uh, as part of the deal. So we'd be getting a stick of dynamite for $425, which is like the average price, I would say, nowadays. Still kind of on the high side. So How me much did... did Dynamite, do we have as a group? I, used, I don't have any. I used my only stick last night, but I could get five to ten sticks. I just need a day. What? I How? I got a few different people that sell us dynamite. You got one. All right. Well, that's one at least. Hmm. Maybe we do want to take this deal with Bronson then just to get that extra dynamite. But you said you can have ten in a day. That's impressive. Yeah, because I know Barton has like four i think well i think he said four and then there's a couple valentinians that make dynamite for us out west and then the poppy have dynamite okay okay also we did just do uh bank business with hathaway and we know that you know he's not going to take no offense if we want to do some business with somebody else for once as well yeah, I mean, I can yeah, just tell true, him that I had misinformation true. and that uh, I'm sorry I told him we had the guns. And uh, I'll put it on me. No, you don't need to do that. Just say that uh, the guns have already been sold, but uh, the next batch will go to him. I mean, if I'm being honest, I could get a few long arms within a few exactly. hours. I'm pretty, sure we, I'm pretty sure we could put another box together if we really, you know... Uh, scrape the barrel. We'll just send these fucking Van Hornians to go get shit done. Yeah, Rather than exactly. set up the box all day. Put them to work. We'll yeah. pay them $100 or a few dollars less than what Hathaway pays. Either way, we keep both people happy. You guys get the dynamite by Bronson. And even if we give the money from half, even if we pay the, the like, Wade and his people with the exact amount of money, at least we have both people happy and relying on us for guns. Yeah, yeah, agreed. I don't I don't see any reason why we should be uh, screwing over our people who are going out to get guns. We should pay them, you know, a decent price. If not, like, we got to make a little bit of profit, and I'm sure they'll understand that. But, you know, say, like, we're selling Mark guns at 225 so we give them 200 We make $25 right. extra, yeah. If it was anyone else, you know, from anywhere else in the crossing, obviously I wouldn't be too fussed. But I don't think we should take advantage of uh, the people around here too much. We don't want them to turn against us. Not right. that they ever would. They'd be too scary to. Okay, so there's there's a method that I use when I did business. Because I would buy a lot of guns out west. And essentially, like, say you buy the gun for 200 right? And then they want the gun for 200 and you just convince them to pay 205. That's $5 profit on that gun. But if you bought and sold all those guns, if you just steal two of those guns, that's pure profit. Both people are happy, you're making profit offloading the guns that you don't need anyways, and they're happy and they're going to come to you next time they need guns because you worked with them. All you got to do is steal a couple and it's all profit. 
Right, I think I understand what you're saying. You're just, you're saying so. We need to go out there and get a couple. Of, is that what you're saying? We just send these. They're they're sitting at the box waiting for something to do all day. Yeah, let's but let's give them something to do. Right, right, right. I'm just confused by the last bit you said. It. You don't want to pay them now. You want to just no, no, take no. them off them for free. I'm just saying, like, if if Bronson say you want to make twenty five dollar profit per gun, right? You have four guns. That would be a total of a hundred dollars profit. Right. If we just give him one gun that we stole, it's going to be $200 profit, and we could sell at the price that he wants them for. Do you understand what he means? Because I don't. How the fuck does that work? I have been paying attention. Okay. All right, well, okay. I mean, okay. I I have been paying attention. I don't understand how the fuck does that work. If we give him one of our guns for two two hundred, then we get two hundred profit. What? Okay. What are we trying to decide? First off, you say you have four Lancasters that you bought off somebody, right? Right. And you bought them off that person for two hundred dollars. Right. Okay. And then you go to sell those guns to right. this guy. And you want to yes. sell them for two twenty five, so you make twenty five dollar profit for each gun. Right. Okay. Imagine selling him a fifth gun that you got for free, which would then make it a two hundred dollar profit instead of a hundred, and you could sell all the guns at two hundred. Sure, you're not making the profit off the four guns. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But he's happy because of the price. Okay. And oh, you're making more page. money. Yeah. Sorry, just the, the way you explained it earlier confused me. Yeah, I might not All have right. been good at describing it. But, and it, I could yeah, get yeah, you... No, that, that, I, I agree, you know, like, obviously it would be beneficially we could get the guns for free. I could give you this All one I'm off my back. If we send people out, we should pay them something. Right. And we, I think we're in agreement on that. So let's do that. Let's, let's give some people some jobs to do. Okay. Riley, it worked on stopping drinking, but that ain't working. Fifi, so come on. Yeah, that ain't working so well. That's true. Riley, Fifi. What are you working on? Oh dear. Yeah, I you, just don't trust you. You guys it. talking about something? Can we interrupt? I you mean, can't you can interrupt. You, know, yeah. you can't interrupt. It's just, it's quite stressful for us. Yeah. What? What? What's wrong? We got we approached in Annisburg. Yeah. Oh, wait, you right. do it. You know you it. Do. I'm, I'm too stressed out for this shit. <laughs> yeah, so we got approached. Basically, you know Pavel, right? Yeah. He paid us to go ride with him the other day. We robbed him at a medical office. Something happened with one of his boys. He said, we'll pay you more if you come along. So we went along, obviously. Money, right? Right. Turns out we almost got pulled into a war with the McKinley's. The McKinley's and, and the Waggy. Froggy. Yeah, yes, Froggy Waggy. Waggy. Froggy. Oh, man. Whatever. And one of those boys approached us in Annsburg saying, uh, who knows Wade from previously, said, oh, you're riding with Pavel now. Pavel's a rat, just so you know. Uh, and he kind of threatened us. He actually, I, I didn't like the way he, he threatened us. He threatened us with Van Horn. He said, oh, what if he I told Van, Van Horn? Horn what if, yeah, he said, what if I tell Van Horn you're riding with a rat? And I was like, what the fuck is Van Horn to you? Mm. All right. Uh, and uh, uh yeah. I think the code should hear this up. She already did. Thing is, uh, I don't know if it's like a ploy to rip Pavel apart. Cause he said it's better for us if Pavel's away from the bastards as well. But he's wrong with the bastards. What I don't like is that such. he's as far at, as if he's at war with Pavel. Can we trust the fact that he's saying Pebbles a rat? You know what I mean? He's going to say anything, do anything he can to win this war, right? So, right. Well, at the end uh, of the day, uh, I'm just going to talk from Van Horn's point of view right now. We don't want you bringing no fucking war, obviously. Exactly. So, make sure they know you were fucking paid to ride. You weren't, they know. You no. weren't a loyal fucking rider. You're, you were a mercenary at that point. Uh, I used that exact word. I said, I'm a mercenary. Yeah, I got paid. That. I went. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 
And who exactly was it again? Who threatened it was, you with uh, Van Horn? Jesse McKinley. So, Jesse McKinley, right. I'm trying to remember that name. All right, so what's what show? exactly had you stressed that? It's just, just part of this pebble may or may not be a rat. And I also don't want a war bring down on me. I don't need a war right now. Hey, Zip. I'm one yeah. two thousand fucking days. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go rare. piss. Well, so if anybody asks fucking... where I am, I'm pissing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ew. Yeah, I just, don't worry I don't... about the Thank war. You. We, we will. We, including you, will avoid that at all just, costs. I just uh, don't like that you it. Brought it here, you know, and didn't talk to us like, you know. I, I he mm -hmm. should have, he should have shut up when I said we was paid that song, you know. Yeah, you yeah they didn't oh, well, um, very you clear know. that they were paid, and then they said Uncle Weed cannot go to Coulter anymore. Yeah, I'm not allowed to ignore it because he's gonna drag me. It was like feet. an eighth grade dance. He just like kicked him out, and that was that. Yeah, what did you say? He'll tie you up and cut you or some shit. He said he's gonna tie me by my feet and drag me through the snow until the until I reach the fucking border. He said if he stepped foot in the snow, that's Which, it. If I, I'll be real with you, I don't give a fuck about fucking. No, but it's threatening. It's just he like, said if we if if you step foot in the snow, all right. Well, that yes, pins them down boots? to the north. What if yeah. was this today? Right yeah, now, yeah. about twenty yeah. minutes ago. What if this was an April Fool's joke? No, it's not. <laughs> that's not yeah. yeah, it's uh. Oh shit! Don't think, don't think anyone would start a war over an April Fool's joke or uh, threaten a war. And yeah, I think not, the war's like, already happening. Or bring in war. Well, I'm, yeah, yeah. I mean, bring in yourselves and potentially us into the war. Uh, I could test it. I could telegram I Everett. I'm curious about about uh, that McKinley fellow though. Anyone got his yeah. telegram? I, I do. do. What is it? Not like got it, uh, memorized. Hand. Does anyone have it to hand? Uh, no, I don't. I don't know it. No. Okay. That's the first time I've met that guy. So. Yeah, but me too. I let him know you told the code or everything that you just told yes, me. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. When he did also, you stop riding with him, Wade? It was uh at the Red together pretty much. I don't remember when that was, but why did you stop riding with the McKinley brothers? You hit me with a hammer. Why? Because the shit that happened months ago. With uh, Sam and all that. You remember the house and we had you and I kept telling you that you're riding yeah, around with people yeah. that are going to fucking kill you? You're right. Yeah, this is a big giant told you so. True. Shit. Right, excuse me for a bit. Don't stress yourself. Any idea what the decoder is? No, uh, I saw her go with uh, the bartender somewhere. Maybe to her hotel room. Or the rug store. Oh my god, do you think she's testing him? No, I think that guy's too weak to be tested. I think, uh... I think we all know where we stand with him. Once he, once he pays his debt, we have our phone with him, he can fucking leave. I don't think we should uh, trust him around any, any information at all. Yeah. He's a bartender. Bartenders hear things. Anyone in the room? Uh, maybe try the rug store. I mean, was the room locked by? Uh, I knocked, but no answer. There was two muffling noises coming from a couple of the doors. We were having a good time. I'm not eating your nuts again. I'm uh, drawing a line under that. <laughs> what the hell? You come back. Hold yeah. up. Hold on. No, no, no. Dakota, this is important. What is she doing with his nuts? 
I have no fucking clue. I don't even want to know. I'm curious about this McKinley guy and uh, what information he has on Pavel. I can't stand the McKinley brothers. Well, I want to know why they think he's a rat. Rats can't be trusted. We need to know. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I think we have a word with them. Oh, God. You can't stand them? Why not? I mean, I'm not going to shoot them in the face if I see them, but it's just they have a history of just being cunts. They'll join any gang to be in a war. They're war oh. hungry, and that's it. I mean, I don't think I've ever met any of these folks, so... Mm. I Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'm just curious about the information on Pavel, that's all. Yeah, so there's hotels everywhere, too. Tumbleweed, Armadillo, all the, like, towns, and then Thieves Landing and Van Horn has hotels. I'll show you what it looks like in a second, Pat. Give me a minute. Not even sure if we've got anything going on with Pavel. I know we had a talk with Wallaby the other day, but yesterday as well. Yeah, that's unless what I that's mean. what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Did Wallaby tell you what that talk was about? No. He said he was going to tell all of us, but never got around to it. Well, you guys took off, right? You guys went and did something. Try to sell the guns to the Pavi or something? Oh, yeah. We got fucking ambush right outside of, ta right outside of the town. Was there a fucking a fuck wagon? Yeah, they set up a roadblock. We went right the, through uh, that. Outside. What? Whilst we were fighting? Yeah, but I don't take roads. So we were going up to the railroad, and I saw the police wagon. And we saw law, and they started chasing us. So we took off thinking that we shouldn't be involved in this at all. Oh, okay. I didn't see you guys. I only saw Law. I think that, yeah, that must have been like, I think you left for Blackwater before we left to sell the guns, right? Uh, I'm not sure. Either way, don't matter. Yeah, well, it was them. We we left and then we came back to make the stick of dynamite and then we left, went to Strawberry, then Braithwaite, then hit the bank and then came back. All right. I'm gonna go to my hotel room and then grab rocks, fucking Dakota to hurry. Shit, had me laughing. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, he's in jail, ain't he? And uh, you guys rode up. There, uh, honestly, everyone was looking at a lot of fucking time, so I was just like, fuck it. We we sent Riley oh. or Millie to fucking handle business if I got caught. So, I forget this anyway. Speak. Sorry, sorry, I got Dakota. held up. I got held up. I, I was on my way back and I got scooped back up. Stop, yeah, stop yeah. playing with your new toy. Eating a ginger's nuts. Yeah, just wanted to no, talk he about... was eating a fucking peanut out of my hand. What the fuck? Oh my god. You came, you I'm telling everybody. I locked him in the cage, and then I made him eat peanuts out of my hand and make monkey sounds. Interesting. It's funny. I can't wait to tell Scout. Yeah, we just wanted to talk about uh, this whole thing. I believe you've been told by Wade and Whisper uh, about these McKinleys. Do you know the McKinleys at all, Dakota? I've heard only terrible things about them. Only terrible things. Yeah, scalp. Uh, sorry, not scalp. 
Fucking uh, Zip tells me terrible things too. I'm curious just about that uh that pointing the finger at Pavel saying he's a rat. I don't know uh Wallaby was going to tell us yesterday what Pavel told him, but we never got around to it because well shit hit the fan. But um, do we do you know are we doing anything with Pavel in particular? Has Wallaby told you anything? Uh, I didn't talk to him about the conversation between him and Pavel, and then I didn't speak to Pavel after that. All right, so all right. Something up for me as well. All right. We still don't know yet. Yeah, I'm curious though. Uh, the fret towards uh, whispering that uh, it's whatever. To be perfectly honest, uh, if they were, if they fought, if they we're were gonna go uh, check Telegram. Joining soon. up the war, they were just making a fret. We might want to bring that up if we run into them. However, I'm just worried about this whole rat business. You know what it is, what it's like. Get worried yeah. of a rat. Kind of want confirmation. Kind of want to speak to the motherfuckers and see where they got this info from. How do they know he's a rat? Yeah, I need proof. Pavel does do a lot of information trading with us as well, and he spends time here and in between. Less so these days, but nonetheless. Indeed. You just need to know where we stand, I suppose, with him. Of course. Uh, I didn't think up until this point that he was that type of person. Yeah. Uh, that was the first mention of Rat and Pavel in the same sentence, but still, you know, set me off. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to cast a good man aside. Uh, yeah, they're working on a new patch right now. That is the case as well. It hasn't, a trailer yeah, hasn't exactly. been announced or anything. I but say, though, whenever you see bit, Kono's characters uh, disappear from Wild, it means around. that... They're right they're out, in double uh, time for Daddy will be. patch. Yeah, I'm, I really really don't think so. Mm -hmm. And then uh, yeah, we discussed this again. I suppose maybe head up to the snow because they pretty much pinpointed themselves to the snow by saying if you take a step up here, then something's gonna happen to you. So I say we could also get the ice with that fella. We could bring all yeah fucking Mackenzie. I yeah. think Dakota's in love. <laughs> I just, it's fun. He, I got, it's like a little fucking sick dog on a leash and he's yapping. And I get to kick <laughs> him around a little bit. There's a word for that. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. A boost. But I've heard like of women putting their men in leashes. Listen, I'm no oh. leash lady. It sounds like you are. You, you just said it was fun. Dummy, mommy. Is that what you're saying? Yes. God damn. Think about it. She put him in I a cage and was feeding him from her hand. That sounds like Dommy Mommy behavior. No? <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong, Pete, and I'll shut up. I don't think you're wrong. It does kind of sound like that. Like Dommy Mommy behavior. Exactly. God damn. God damn. Just what exactly do you get up to? What exactly is going on up there, Dakota? I'm changing her name in my address book to, to Dommy Mommy Dakota. Jesus Christ, don't say those words around me. Y you're feeding a man via hand and nuts through a cage. I'm really not the type. And then you just said, I like it. It's fun having my pet on a leash. Yeah. <laughs> These are all yeah, words and statements you just said. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. That's Dommy Mommy. In my fucking hotel room at night with my invisible husband. Okay, so there's more proof of past leash and shit. Listen, I don't want to be a part of this. Speak business to me, or don't speak at all. All right, fair enough. Well, I think as far as that's concerned, yeah, we spoke in all the business. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're we're waiting, and then we're going up to the snow. Yep. Um, Bring Mackenzie if you'd like, keep to keep him close on the leash, and we'll get him his ice, and we'll have our conversations. We will find out. Or at least see if he's the. Well, you guys say you've heard nothing but bad things about the uh, Mackenzie. I, I so can go. We I'm kind can of go. Expecting assholes we could go to the telegrams right now and i could get the telegram for you yeah and you we can should write them let's 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 go uh let's go check the telegrams anyway we'll see if uh bronson's about 
Maybe veto. Uh oh, here it is. Someone steal your wagon, by the way? No, I parked it in the barn. Ah. And Archie! It is Archie. How do you, Archie? Wait, you say the bartender oh, is oh. being watched by the bartender? Yeah, I don't like know drummer? what's wrong with my words today. No, not drummer, by no, Wade, the way. No, Wade's watching the bartender. Oh, okay, perfect. I can't speak English today. I've just had a drink to hopefully perk myself up. Jesus Christ. We're going to Emerald or we're going to Annisburg? I suppose. Edward's like close to the limit. Let's go. Let's go have a little look, see in Edward, see if uh, any law be there. Emerald's a nice place, though. Enjoy your sweep. We'll be back Emerald's soon. a nice place. The last two times we've been. Well, not the last two times, but. Archie, guess what? Guess what? What? Dakota's a dummy mommy. A what? She likes to keep people in leashes and cages. That, and... that is true. She does like to do that. She said her new name was Dommy Mommy. Oh, she called herself that. That's okay. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. <laughs> do you mean you think? It was mentioned, and I think it was her. All right. I mean, we can confirm that. Do you want to confirm it? Yeah, go ask. All right. I'll go ask right now. When I catch up. Okay. Pete, did she call herself a dummy mommy or did you call her that? I did. Why? There's a woman wearing a bonnet in town. Why? No reason. Hey, Dakota. Mm -hmm. I didn't uh -oh. call her that name. What, that I I said she well, sounds like that. Somebody said dummy mommy. I don't know what it means. I don't want to fucking hear that word. Oh my god. <laughs> Neither do I. Listen, I trapped that little ginger boy in the cage downstairs and I made him eat peanuts out of my palm while making chip sounds. But then she said she likes it when she plays with her boys on a leash or something. Jesus Christ. That's not what I meant. I'm, not, I'm really not the type. Another level. There is no fucking level. She definitely but seems the type. Level. Level. You've set the bar. You've set the precedent here. Stop. I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> I think we all are. Uh... Whistley's around? Oh shit, I've actually got a bunch of telegrams today. What the fuck? Oh, that shit. Who's this telegram, LT169? Me, motherfucker. Oh, okay.
Look, I'm just staying in character, I okay? You used to have a job, but then you found a job. Heaven snow, heaven knows your Oh shit. Are you ready? No. Why? I'm giving you the, oh, the, oh, the telegram. Me, yeah, 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 yeah. Go on. All right, it's uh, HR130. Harry Rectum 130. You can't fool me, motherfuckers. You can't fool me. Zip is. First thing we did, Pete. First thing Pete said to Zip was Millie's dead. April Fool's Day. Disaster. These motherfuckers aren't. Law can't tell me my boy is dead, okay? So what are you gonna do? What do you mean, what am I gonna do? Like, anytime you show up, Finn starts blushing deeply. Wait, Archie, Dakota, back up. I'm gonna see if I can jump Riley. Okay. Okay. Probably gonna end up with a disaster, but we'll see. Ugh. You missed! Move, lady. Uh, let's just uh, stock up on some things. Is there anyone in town? Anyone spotted anymore? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I did it! Good job. That was pretty good. Use my last bag on uh, my bag of supplies on your bartender. Oh, you know what? That's a good. You know what we should do? Honestly, have a crate of these fucking medical bags. We usually, or we used to do that, but then we had a thieving problem and we couldn't maintain all of the crates because they kept getting thieved in the night. You deserve that, whoever that. Like nice fuck you, place. fella. Run, run away, run away. Zip. I just want to go outside. Please stop fighting people at the front door. Yeah, we got a ton of lights. Ton of yeah, come on, let's not piss off the fucking guards around here. They don't even like that guy. We all know he's the most hated. What is this place? Ansberg. Really? Yeah. I know, right? Who the fuck was that in there? They turned around when they saw us. How rude. We should go and have... Yeah, we should go check them out. You want to check them out? <laughs> Who? I don't know. This person came out of the building, saw us, and turned around. Walked off. Dummy mommy's on the case. <laughs> Stop calling her that. Yeah, please. It was a fucking joke. Oh, she's go she's on the other end of the street. She goes, somebody go get her. She's on the other end. She's just camping her. Uh. Oh my god! Riley, you asshole! How did you do that? Uh. That was amazing.
Is that you? It is. Who? What's who is she? What's your name? Deputy Ryan. Deputy Ryan. Pleasure. You know she long cons homeless people. She what? She walks on homeless people. She long cons them. The fuck does that mean? She like won't steal their bread. She'll just keep them poor and starving. I just wanted to see who it is, but I don't believe that we should be sticking in town too long. Yeah. I yeah, I did. Yeah. All right. Well, Ryan, we'll leave you alone. Stop eye holing me. L l turn around. Look at the building. Bye now, deputy. What? Who are you with right now? Uh, f uh, people I found in the orange field. Why? Mm, I'm just curious. Who's that uh, one that was chasing you down? I don't know who was chasing you down, but I gotta go. Mm. Bye, Ryan. Always. got paid for it. However, the people that uh, are currently at war with that or some shit, we can leave. Should we also leave with their bosom? Yeah. Pat, if you're still in chat, this is the hotel room. It's really fucked up that he's gone. So it has, like, beds. They added sinks to where you can, like, drink and, like, bathe. So if you're, like, covered in blood. You can also fill the canteens when you do the drink thing. Um, And then you could change your clothes. They added more outfit slots. So instead of just it being 10, you have, I think, 20. And then it allows for two inventories. It allows you to have, like, larger than the bank. And then you can also put a crate. And then you can put $1,000 instead of... How much was it before with the, the fucking storages? Five hundred. Yeah, five hundred. Caffeine, what's up, buddy? How is... I haven't heard of Billy Blasters in a while. has people of all types well of one kind of type but where is everybody uh, many types of one type for the rug store does that kind of make sense yeah i get why you put them down many types of one type
a few questions about uh, the, these marked ones. So, what were they? They're just with the stamp. They're not uh, personal guns. No, they're just stamped. None of them. None of them are done up or anything. No, they are not. They are regular as shit. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm trying to think. Anyway, thing to do with those really. Other than to just have them to use. Mm. Indeed. You so you're more interested. You're more interested. On the marked than the unmarked. You go on. Uh, where I met on a on the marked. You're asking two twenty five. I could. All five of them. I could go two a piece. For all five of them. For all five. Oh wait, so you, a... two a piece, right? 200 a piece. Two a piece, like, that'd be a thousand. Okay. And let's see. The other unmarked, you're asking three? Yeah, 300. I don't I know what you're we, saying. Uh, all right, we, we were talking about it. Um, I mean, that's that's good. But I was thinking, um, considering, uh, I mean, I, I, they're all clean, right? And they're not. Uh, like physically clean, I mean, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. We okay. make sure of that they're all in working order. I, I say yeah. Then somewhere, um, somewhere around there is, is, is pretty fair. There's always room for uh, discussion, though. Mm. Right. We also have a couple other things that you might be interested in. We could throw into the deal. Exactly. Uh, yeah, Branson told me you spoke to him about some uh, some finished cannolis. Yeah, indeed, indeed. We sold on a price of four hundred twenty-five, knocked off, which would at, at the original price rounded off to a nice uh, one thousand six hundred dollars. Now, if you want the mark for two hundred, I can two ten, and we got a deal. I'm good with that. All right. Yeah, man. All right. I miss um, Billy. Now the now the unmarked. I, mean, I feel Billy like three hundred is a fair price. Yeah, three hundred, three hundred is is quite fair, but considering you know the, the good Christ. prices on uh, We're not replacing cannolis, you know, I've I've heard people trying to go back up to six hundred with them nowadays. Zip's gonna think it's April Fool's and he's gonna kind throw of prices Isaac for on his horse and ride oh, around with dead decaying Isaac. Is there Isaac. anything you could cut on those? Maybe mm. 75, 280. Cutting a lot off my dynamite prices here. Typically, normal people, I would usually send for $500. Okay. Yeah, we can do 280. We can do 280. All right, yeah, then uh, settle. Sounds now, like a deal to me. I am, I am interested, though, the way you were speaking earlier, it make, makes me think that you are interested in uh, customized guns. Or is that not the case? Uh, but who isn't? If they're nice and done up, somebody's going to be wanting them back. Mm hmm. I have a few, well, I suppose, relics. Uh,. That I might be willing to get rid of. No promises, promises though. I have a certain sheriff that's passed away. Uh, one of his long arms. Zip. Am I correct me if I'm wrong? Do you have the other one? I got the heart of gold. Who are we? What sheriff are we talking about? Heart, sheriff Hart. I don't have an another one. No, it's not you. Someone else though that I know has the other one. Uh. Pete, Heart of darkness or some shit. Yeah. But there's a fellow outside waiting to sell you a gun. He's just waiting at the saloon, so I'm gonna go keep him occupied. Uh. Yeah. Do you know what gun it is? What kind of gun is it? No idea, but he said that you okay. like it. So just one. Okay. Gun, come outside. All right. Cool. I'll tell you what. I will have a look in my stores, and we. I will bring them to you. Uh. And uh. You know, you guys can have a look. See if you're interested. Interested. I'm not 100 percent sure if I'll sell. But, uh, because they are kind of relics. Oh, yeah, no, I, un I understand. I understand. Also, you did mention you may have a navy or two. 
Yeah, uh, Scout is not uh, around at the moment. I believe uh. he had the uh, the Navy on his person. It was just a regular old ass Navy. Um, do it for one forty. Hey, you know, I mean, if he's around, might even have a long barrel on it. If it's got a long barrel, then we might up that by like twenty dollars. All right. Well, uh, yeah, you know, if he's around, that that price is fine for that. All right, cool. Um, Especially in art. If you could give us like an hour, uh, we could have everything to you, including that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. It might be a little bit longer. You guys uh, in a rush today, or you guys going to be around? Yeah, no hurry. Uh, I got time. Okay, okay. Well, we'll try and give you a heads up, Uh, but we, we don't live too far away, obviously, so we'll probably just arrive, and if you're not there, we'll we'll wait around for a little bit, maybe send you a telegram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, it was settled on, uh, what, Le Cay? Correct? Sorry, say that again? It was settled on, uh, on Le Cay, right? No, no, no. That's a possibly one place we were discussing about going to last night instead of coming to the house. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's up to you. Where, where, uh, if you prefer not to do business on your doorstep, then yeah, we can we can work out somewhere else. Le Cay, uh, it's not bad. However, I would not want to keep you waiting there in Le Cay. Yeah, there's a there's this little oh, yeah, um, shanty town over there in a swamp. Um, a little cleaner than that. You had a lot more room to move your wagon around. Indeed. Little shanty town? You mean like a place yeah, with uh, Hart, a few Hart huts and like the houseboat and that? Really good character. Um, I think so. I think it's got the houseboat. Yeah, yeah. Got a big old road running through it, right? Yeah, or yeah, my, yeah, uh, that, yeah. That real Just long making road, making sure yeah. we're talking about the same place. All right, yeah, we can do that. How about we aim for, let's call it an hour, 20 minutes. We don't just to uh, give us a little bit of uh, leeway. I'm not sure when Scout's gonna be around. We never assessed oh, that, yeah, guys. Uh, sounds good. So what, All right, we, cool. what have we agreed on then? So we'll do uh, the we've... unmarked. Sorry, the marked for a grand, two hundred apiece. Oh, sorry, no, we said uh, we say two ten. Yeah, two ten. Yeah. Yep. And then two eighty for the free uh, unmarked. And then obviously we'll knock off the money if you go and sell us that dynamite for four twenty-five. I'll do the maps. Uh, well, in the meantime, yeah, in the meantime, I'm not very good at doing it off the top of my head. Would you be willing to come up a little bit on the dynamite because uh, I am knocking off quite a lot on that price? You would not buy much. Like an extra ten dollars. Yeah, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. Okay. Uh, we could have a deal then. How many how many dime are we looking here? So I know how many to grab. Sorry, say that again? How many uh pieces of dynamite? Hmm. For the time being we'll just take the one. Okay, no problem at all. But we, we also keep have the mind. fillings too, not just the sticks, but we also have uh, just the nitro. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. That's good to know. Just give me one moment. Let me just uh, do this math so we know exactly where we stand. Uh... We need the assistant. Where's Millie? I was just fucking thinking that. <laughs> she could have been writing this thing down the whole time. I just paid her. I, she was employed for. Of I just paid her like two grand last night too, and she takes a late day. Do you think she can just take a day off? Well, she said three o'clock, so hopefully. All right, fair enough. I don't know, but I'm gonna be real pissed in like thirty minutes. It'd be uh, well, somewhere around one thousand four hundred five dollars. Yeah, one thousand four hundred five by my calculations. Right, is that right? One hundred and five. Yeah, oh, that's not. Oh wait, yeah, 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 no, that is right. With the dynamite cut off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, that's right. All right. 
All right. Mm. Don't, don't pay for the box did. or uh, that'd just be obviously just. I thought it was $20. six EST. Uh, extra or you got? She wasn't chat earlier. Your, I don't know. If she's still in chat. you have your own box. Yeah, we just pay like, for the crate. Make it an even yeah. twenty-five on it. Yep. All right. Cool. Sounds good. All right. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, fourteen twenty-five. Yeah, let's call it. Yeah, about about an hour from now, an hour fifteen from now, we'll uh we'll be in Lake at that little village along that main road. Uh, all right, all right. And, uh, we'll we'll be there then. Yeah, and uh, bring an extra couple of hundred uh in case we got the navies. Yep, maybe an extra three hundred just in case we got the navies. We can talk business on them. Anything else yeah. you got you want right. to get rid of? Uh, we can talk about. Yeah, yeah, I will. I'll bring the uh, things that I was talking about. These relics, but like, and you can have a look at them. Until but they then, are, uh, I think we're I would gonna say take they the, are collectors the... items. So you know, they're worth quite a well, bit. What does Van Horn depends call who, the wage people? Depends on who's selling them to. Is there yeah, a name for them? Uh, yeah, I'll definitely keep that in mind. Then, so I guess All we right. got uh, a deal then. They're junior Van Horn. All names. right, sounds good. All right. All right. See you soon, gents. Thank you very much. All right. See you later. Yeah. See see you later. Ciao, fellas. It's good, good to see you, see you again. We'll see you soon. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. I was told you shouldn't do that. What? All right, fellas. Do what? Like, say say, if somebody says, like, goodbye in another language, you shouldn't do that. That was what I was told. You shouldn't, really? say, you shouldn't, say, you shouldn't say You shouldn't say goodbye in their language back to them? Yeah. <laughs> Is that I what you're saying? Why? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I was told. Why? I'm, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I because I say like a reaver turkey and it sounded terrible and I apparently I insulted. I mean, somebody. I'm not going to use that. I see. Well, but... it's you're not saying it right. Yeah. And probably, just gonna yeah, call I should probably put some <laughs> put some more evidence in. Wait, Archie. I rub a ducky. Yeah. I rub a ducky. I want to talk to you about uh, whatever the the junior Van Hornians are. Wait, no. Junior Van Hornians. Okay. What? 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 I have someone that used to ride with me that uh, may be coming around a little bit more often that may uh, be willing to take them robbing and stuff. Okay. That's well, good. I figured you were like, you know, their uncle. Huh? <laughs> well, yeah. What, what, what do you mean I'm their uncle? What? Why? Where, where did this come from? It's just every time I talk to them, they're like, oh, we're waiting for Archie to tell us what to do. Or I don't know, we Fuck usually that. go do stuff with Archie, or we rob the bank with Archie, or we're waiting to rob a bank with Archie, or uh, have you seen Archie? So I'm just okay. pretty sure you're Uncle Archie to the little Hornians. Well, me and me and Pete spoke about this, and uh, we, I think you know further discussions need to be had because we want to be be careful with how this this kind of expands and grows. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, I I, I mean I've got uh, I, I don't know, Pete. What do you think? Because I, I think I think we can I don't know guide as much as you know we fucking want, but at the end of the day, like we gotta. We got a gang of our own to take care of. We 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 don't need another one. I mean, I don't mind, you know, giving them stuff to do and send them off, and and you know, if they want to go out there and do bits and bobs, I robbed a bank with them once. Okay, so I can't go take them robbing right now to get guns. No, I think I, mean, I think no, you I think you, you can, can you yeah. Can't. Okay, but but yeah. It's, yeah, it's a little uh delicate, I suppose. We just don't want to uh I know what you mean. I know what you mean. We're, what we're, you mean. we're making an army. Right. Or else they'll bring in the army. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, we we, we were gonna discuss it because my uh, I, I had the idea of trying to trying to mold them and then you know, getting them Set out them there free. and doing some work for us here and there. Um but we gotta figure out how to how to do that. As long as they well, get essentially, compensated. I, yeah, yeah, exactly. So That's... I, I see it as long as they're getting paid and uh, you know, they they can do whatever the fuck they want. I I've no doubt a lot of them, if not all of them, you know, would like a shot, you know, in the future. Yeah. Of you know, potentially being uh part of us, but yeah, who's who's to say that it's going to happen? Right. So they gotta um, figure out their own thing, kind of. We can guide, but I don't. I don't want to. 
deal with uh, a whole other bunch of people. That's kind of what I was thinking about having Barton come over here. Because he's not really Western or Eastern. He's just a nomad. But he rode with us because when we first started the Quill Gang, it was just to rob folk. And then it ended up somebody robbed the wrong person. We had to form something to defend ourselves. But anyways, uh, I wanted you to talk to Barton when he comes here, if you're willing to do that. Yeah, no, for sure. For sure. I mean, look, if we can... If we can, if we can, if we can use them, and they wanna, they wanna do work here and there, and they're compensated, that's that's absolutely fine. Perfect. I had this dream of kind of molding them into. Yeah, it's it's very something. delicate. You have to dance around the the line because it's if, on the it's on the table. If they rob the wrong person, they mention they're part of Van Horn, and we'll, then we'll those people come to do something and Van Horn, Horn and Wallaby gets involved, it, it could elevate. It, it could piss off a lot of people. So of I, I think they're trying to figure out how to well, get that different. balance. Yeah, that's that's kind of different, right? With keeping the lore of Van Horn. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Are we getting these guns? What are we? Yeah, Zip is part of Dead End Gang. Uh, we we got a bit of time. Like I, well, I gave it some if Dead End Gang is the gang, a, I want to wait for Scout. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, yeah Zip rides can, with Wallaby bitch, and Pete right and all them. Yeah, go. go get the bitch. You want me to go with you? Yeah, sure. yeah. We need as right. many people as possible. Yeah, if anyone else has any relics that you're willing to part ways with, you can bring them along. See if you can get a good price for them. I've got uh, Sheriff Bolton's navy. I got but a I'm couple up. of things, but I'm wondering. Hmm. I don't know if I want to keep that. I was a spare, you know. I'm saving all mine for the gun about, auction. I've been thinking about keeping the heart of gold for fucking ever, but it's like, what am I going to use just, it? What am just I going to use a gold Pete, Litchfield? God damn Pete. Mm. Save it for the auction. Don't sell it to people that aren't going to understand the significance of Hart's gun. Hart was a known sheriff. You could get money from the right person for that. You're going to get the bitch. You coming? Okay, or are you uh, idling? Bella is still inside waiting on you, Pete. So I would do that before y'all head out, if that's possible. Sorry, say that again. That fella that is selling you the gun is still waiting in the saloon, so I would do that before y'all head out to get the bitch. Just to get it over with. He's been waiting there for, I don't know, 20 minutes. Oh, now. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. He's the fella at the bar with the. Oh, my God. All right, sorry guys. Zip doesn't want to work his way up the pecker list. Zip is just gonna do what he does, and if they bring him in to more meetings, Zip is never going to tell any of them what to do. Just like in the Kettleman Gang, Zip never gave orders in the Kettleman Gang. Zip never felt like he was on the list. It's just the way Zip thinks you about things. The, you just fingered the bottle. Zip always looks at arrow, seniority. And yeah, no, I, I gotta put it in. Okay, hang on. So. Oh, you're okay. Sorry, I. Unless it's like a thing a in blind. character where like someone says, "I want you to be my number two. No. Type shit. No. Then Why maybe, are you looking but... at me like that? 
Zip is just Zip. If she Zip wanted, like, she likes is going to tell someone what to do, he might not think of the right in the eyes. I put the finger. I think that's flicking his character. Think, I don't think you need, I think you just need to pay attention to what you're doing with that bottle. Man, I'm Isn't slightly uncomfortable. No, oh, never mind. I don't feel anything. But it's not about, like, you know, the feeling. It's about whose how you finger feel like is this? How, there's like fucking, there's two of them behind the bar and a thumb. These are some skinny fucking fingers. I, do, I think this I one was a pinky. It would, like, okay, so here's the thing with them being in Van Horn, right? Wallaby wants Van Horn to be, like, a town that's not fucked with. They already had a rule about multiple gangs in a certain area for more than, like, an hour. The second they become their own gang and not dead-end gang prospects, because when I talked to Verts out of character, it wasn't about... Like, um, well, no, not that. It's more so like fucking, it's so fucking rough because they got rid of that rule. They did get rid of it, yes, but it's because they're trusting people. To do the right thing when it comes to RP. But like you have to put it in scenario right. So say they come up with a name. Whatever it is. The waiters or whatever. They come up with the name. They go out and they piss off the McKinley brothers. Right. And then Waggy is now at war. With the waiters. Waggy knows to find them in Van Horn. It's no matter what happens, it involves Wallaby. It involves the rest of the, like, Dead End Gang or the Van Horn people. It involves them. So then it's like, even if Wallaby tries to do politicalness, Waggy is a very hot-headed character. And he's very, like, you say literally anything and I'm going to shoot you. It then, it, it would force Wallaby to have to kick out everybody. Yeah, man, it's it's fucking it's a rough spot. It's a really rough spot. Like, would would? Uh, yeah. I mean, he said he, he said he'd take any price. Like, like I just, oh, I just, fucking four hundred. I, I, yeah, I, I I I already said four hundred, and then I brought it up to four fifty because it was it wasn't stamped. Oh, okay, fair. It's a nice gun though, actually. I'm I'm like it. Yeah, I'm gonna rub it in his face next time I see him. <laughs> you start shit in Van Horn, right? But that that could involve sorry. the gang rule. Excuse me, uh, Miss Dakota. Oh, oh, Mrs. Yeah, Dakota. Sorry. I'll let I'll let you slip by. Excuse me. There you go, bud. Oh, yeah, I appreciate you there. Boom. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, nice oh, guy. Yeah, nice. Appreciate you, Pete. Hey, do hey. you mind if I ask you something, actually? Yeah, what's that? Um, let me, let me, uh, do you mind if I have a moment of your time just down the back there, please? Yep. You want to come with Dakota? Uh, sure.
It, it, it's it's so weird. I feel like I've overstayed my welcome. Yeah, what the fuck are you wearing on your face? Hmm. Who even are you? Okay, which question do you want to Fucking both. be answered first? Well, Going names over. next. Oh, well, sh fuck. You said you both, and I just went. Uh, it's a cougar skull. Did you kill it yourself? Well, of course. It's creeped me out. Is it That's like a sentimental thing or what? In a way, comfort thing. A comfort thing. Should I wear book Booker's skull on my face? Sure. <laughs> I feel like people would look at me differently. Actually, probably not. It's probably very expected of something that I would do. As I said, I've overstayed my welcome. I only came in here for stew, but there was a bit of entertainment to be had, so. Are you looking all. for work? Well, it depends on what kind of work you're offering. See, I need someone. There's two guns out in that world that I need. Are you somebody that could cougar mask up and get it? Mm, again, you have to elaborate a little bit more on that. I need a Litchfield and I need a Navy. I need it within three days. See, I feel like that is something that a gunsmith can uh, no get. No idea. Probably. I don't know. But I don't like paying uh, gunsmith prices. Ah, uh, you wish to have it borrowed from someone. Well, see, if you take it from somebody and I give you money for it, that's all profit, right? I save that it is. money from a gunsmith. You make free money. All by asking a silly little question. And demanding a silly little answer. Look, I just wanted elaboration on what this job actually entails. Not just get a gun. Because that can be easily done from a gunsmith. So obviously there's some sort of stipulation to that. Okay, I want you to go out and I want you to rob somebody, ruin their fucking life, maybe pistol whip them, shoot their loved one <laughs> in the fucking face, and bring me the fucking guns. Navy in the Litchfield, you said. That's right. Well, I can't promise that, especially with the time frame. Um, not much for robbing people, sadly. So this whole fucking thing, you could have just said no? See, look, I wanted to have some clarification. I can, but I can't make promises, and that is the thing. Okay, well, if you can't, just, you have unlimited time. There. And who is actually making the request? Can't just ride in here and be like, I have guns for a person. Me. Zip. Real kinky 699 is my telegram. Actually, fuck all that. UF-105, that's my secretary's telegram. Yeah, write to his secretary. I'm done with the telegram secretary? system. Oh, it's not a pleasure to use here, sadly. Right. I have heard your name in passing a few times, actually. So It's a, it's a very common a name. Is it? Probably. I we need like a tester, is it? Do we, are, can we test her? I don't, I don't know. I was just joking. <laughs> don't fuck with me like that. I'm always ready for a test. Okay, go bring me the guns uh, and then I can test you. Okay. That, so now you pique my curiosity in regards to what this is, but... Actually, I'll mm. take a Litchfield or a repeating shotgun or bolt action. I'll, you know, provide more options. But nothing but a navy for a six shooter. I will bear that in mind. Okay. Well, they you have the get to work. Go run. Hurry. I'm not running, but I will be leaving. Oh, hurry. I told I... her to take her time. Well, I 
Yeah, that was kind of conflicting messages yeah, there. Fifi. Fee -fee. Zip Quill. Why the fuck are you still calling me Fifi? Fee -fee? I keep saying your name. name. Whatever. Also, also Zip. Yeah, the, yes. You know the the you know the Van Hornies. You know it's, it's, that could be a task for them too. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll get what I can get that you prefer. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something, Archie. Mm -hmm. I have told the Junior Hornians to go out and do stuff like three times now, and they just stand around that box. <laughs> right. Okay. Do I have permission to assert dominance? Sure. Okay, Fifi. Can, can you call me Fen so people can respect me more? I'm working on asserting myself. Perfect. I will do that and never call you that again. And, and call you by your name. If you go get Whisper and Wade to go bring this fucking town some goddamn guns. I don't care what you bring us. Uh, I like this. Okay. Yeah. Cause I'm, Hurry. I'm working on asserting my dominance. So... I'll just, yeah, I can do this. Okay, if you do such a good job in the next coming uh -huh. weeks, uh -huh. I'll let you kick my ass in front of everybody, and you could go around saying you beat the shit out of Zip. You'll throw the fight. I'll throw the fight because I called you. I'll call you Fifi in public, and you'll be like, "I told you to stop calling me that," and you can beat the shit out of me. But you have to do a fucking good job. You have to ring those fuckers in. Um, I kind of love this. I know. Not gonna lie. This is fucking great. Okay. okay. Go Let's bring them in and bring us guns. On it. I gotta find my other junior Van Hornians first. Okay, just don't bring me a fucking carbine repeater or vermin rifle. Or... What, you think I'm an idiot? No, I don't. Probably. I'm, so I'm sorry, I'll let you go first. I'm sorry. Alright, Um, I made a deal. What's the deal? All the junior Hornians are gonna go work and get guns. Why are we calling them the Junior Hornians? What else do we call them? I don't know. I just call them the Hangarounds. That's more insulting than the Junior Hornians. Okay. That's like when Law calls you a plus one. Right, before we go, I gotta take a leak. I'll be right back. I'll watch. What the fuck? Oh, is that a weird here? Yeah, no, send... I do it to some people. Yeah, don't you like stalk people in the bath? Uh... No. Uh, him uh, and Riley went to Annisburg and they haven't been back in a little while. Did hmm. you say a human Riley? Wade and Riley haven't come back in five long ago? plus minutes. There was a we deputy there earlier. You should go. I can wrap. Pete, hurry the fuck up and piss. We might have law troubles. Zip, go on your horse, Wade, jump on. Uh, not Wade, Whisper, jump on, let's go. And if Pete's peeing, then if, when Pete comes back, you tell him we're going to Annisburg. Got it. And if the bartender runs away, shoot him in the legs. Although there's not, not much that I can do, but, uh, you know. Why would they go back to uh, Annisburg? I have dynamite if we need it. There's a lot of fucking movement. They've got a body. Yeah, they just carried a body in there. Fuck. How many horses? That's sand. Sheriff sure Sam said. We're gonna be able to go and talk. They're not gonna chase us with people in their cells. Let's go see what's going on. Unless you have a different idea. 
Ah, uh, we can do. Hold on, let's. What's the one that you spin the... Yeah, if we have to turn around and bolt, just be ready for it. Yeah. What brings you to the beautiful town of Venisburg today? Cole. Bonjour, Monette. Is it Monet or is it Monet? It's Monet. Okay, Monet. Oh, well, I happened to uh, figure out, since I found my house in the outskirts of Van Horn, that uh, one of you must have probably have my weapon. Huh? Yes. The man robbed me earlier and uh, left my house at the outskirts of Van Horn. So I figured that either the man is in Van Horn or the weapon is in Van Horn. Was it today? Yes, about 30 minutes ago. Oh, that didn't happen. It was April Fool's. Oh, oh okay. Okay. We're, we need to know who that was that you were carrying into the lovely sheriff's department here in Ansburg. Oh, oh when, why do you need to know? Because we're nosy. We're very nosy. Okay. You Are would you know really a lot nosy? of things about noses, eh? Isn't that right, Monet? Uh, well, it's not one of yours, so it's not really none of your business. How do we know? Are you lying to us, Monet? Because uh, we saw you on the outskirts of town that one time that you were heading into Annisburg. We asked you if you knew anything about that, and you show up on the outside of our town few minutes later so Lingering. you don't have a good uh you don't have a good track record of I don't uh, have a good being track honest record. i told you i was responding to a tip that asked for a senior remark so uh, that's all i knew did i not know that you already had two deputies or one deputy and one person in your own kidnapping uh, i wasn't aware but, of that though. no that wasn't us oh okay it was evil fools too ah he yeah, gets it celebrate early yeah he gets it well, it's none of your people. You can trust my word on it. It's not an April Fool. Okay, then who is it? None of your damn business. Okay, Wait, so we're Monet. Not people, Monet. We're not gonna give a shit. Yeah, yeah if it's not, not one of ours, we off. leave. But if you don't tell us, we're gonna find out one way or another. Either way, it's a good deal. Hmm. It's a win-win situation. It is a very win-win situation. Well, it is easy. It, is, it does sound like a win-win situation because I do have quite a lot of deputies here. Do you okay. see any horses are here? I don't give a shit. Oh. Did you deputize the horses? Oh, no. shit. No. There, I, I read a book that they are going to train horses to shoot. Of course it would happen in Ansburg. They have that fucking Tower of Lightning. It's not something I have heard of. You're a fucking freak, yeah. Monet. There's the wagons behind you. I would say it like this. It's not one of your people. It's not Wallaby. It's not Riley. It's not the other idiot with the horrible name, which I forgot. It's a, it's a different gang. It's nothing to do with you. So either you leave, or, or you leave. 
Well, we have two friends that came up this way, then now we don't see oh, them. That's and that's unfortunate. All right, who are those friends that you are looking for? I don't know their names. Seems like you might have uh, a bit of a problem uh, behind you. Yeah, you oh, yeah, that looks... <laughs> that looks... That looks oh. interesting. Well, who's that? Wade. Is that Wade with a gun? It's Wade. Wade. Get the hell it's out one of us. Well, we found Wade. Uh-huh. Then where's Riley? Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Uh, I think that you have a breakout problem. You might want to go get that uh, checked out. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Always a pleasure, Monet. No wish. How the fuck did you... Where's Riley? How did she not get we out? Go? The door was All right, Hold on. Everybody quit talking at once. We're going to go speak with Wade to see if he went back to Van Horn, figure out if Riley's in there or not, and then we got to weigh up our options on if it's actually worth it. Wait, did Wade just run out of the sheriff office? Yeah, yes, he did. He did. <laughs> what? I love Wade. He's awesome. What the fuck? I just thought he rode in to save the day yeah. from the north side. I think they left the door unlocked. Oh my god. And and left his guns on him. Hey, hey, okay, well I mean that's that's on them. That is on them. What the fuck? If they have Riley though. Do you want me to do an old Western method? I don't think also, so. Good. It's coffee in the eye hole. He didn't come in. I mean, honestly, it's probably smart that he didn't come here. Yeah. Do you want me to go ride to Butchers and see if I can find him? on if we find Wade first to find out if Riley's actually in there or if we're even going to be attempting to break Riley out of that place because I know that I genuinely I cannot be a part of that at the moment because I need can to I. crawl up in my fucking hotel room I I can't be involved in it I'm, I'm too hot and sweaty I thought you're like that all the time ew I, I am like that all the time but today is uh, you know a real hot and sweaty day Where's Wade, and did he tell us if there was anyone else in there? N Wade just took off. Okay. And he didn't come back through this way, uh, so we're just discussing on our options right now. We haven't gotten broke out, out broken out of. Help. Oh, here he is. Oh. Wade. <laughs> okay. Wade. Do you know if uh, they had Riley as well, or was it just you, Wade? What'd you say? It was just me. It, no Riley. Where's okay. Riley, then? Uh, I went to go look for her, but... She were not there. That nobody seen it. Okay, so she's not locked up. No, I don't think so. No. And you were in the office. Yes, I was in the office. I was the only one in there. Okay. I grabbed the gun. Do y'all have? Do y'all have numbers? Yo, fine. Yeah, we're good. We're a bit concerned that the law are probably gonna knock on the door now. Right. Well. Y'all don't need me to butt in or nothing, okay? So wait, how did you get the gun? I grabbed it out of her holster. Oh, right. She got me up and she didn't lock the door, so I walked out. I said, let's reason with each other. Let's let's be cordial. So then I, then I grabbed her by the throat and I pulled the gun out of her holster. Point at her, but she had my gun as well. Jesus, fair enough, fair enough. Good job. I did it. I did it for you, Archie. Oh shit! I'm sorry, Archie. I get in that for us. <laughs> I didn't mean to. It was a playful nudge. Yes. Um, what business no, do y'all have to do I right now? My horse. Um, I I talk to Pete. I don't know. Okay. We, we were gonna go get the get those guns, drop them off, but obviously there's frozen wrench in the work, so. Mm -hmm. 
I need to get a telegram to them, though, to let them know that we ain't coming to some out. But I don't have the telegram on hand, or else I just send someone else off to send it. I see, because they could come sniffing for white now. Um, so there's, I feel like, two options of waiting in town to see if they show up looking for them, or uh, continue on our day with business, go to Saint Denis, get the bitch that we've been trying to do for five weeks. Yeah. The wagon or the person? The wagon. Yeah, agreed. I, I kind of, uh... Don't want to just sit around here. I kind of want Wade to get out of here as well. Yeah, I don't think that it's smart that he's staying in town. So maybe y'all yeah. can take him and go to Saint Denis. And uh, I've only got 10 minutes before I'm going to go take a nap. So. All right. All right, all right. I'll just go yeah. do that now. Okay. Come on. Let's ride. Let's ride. Do you need me? Um, and send Riley. This is my horse. Are we just picking up the wagon and coming back, or what are we doing with the wagon? We are gonna, uh... What we're gonna do, right, is... Zip, when we get to town, I want you to go to the manor where they are, you know, like, the one on the corner where we went yesterday. The Cuts Manor? Yeah. I wasn't with you guys Except yesterday, I don't think. Oh, you weren't? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I forgot. Uh, yeah, go there and tell them... Uh, there's been a change of plans. We're bringing the stuff directly to them. Okay. And we're gonna make the exchange quickly. Okay. Why you go get the bitch, I assume, and yep. bring it over to the manor? Okay. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna go the back way near the gazebo. Uh, I'll if I'm gonna be going on my own. own. I don't wanna just uh, walk no, we'll through. Just, we'll stick, to, we'll stick together until we turn off. Okay. Uh, I didn't know if you were rather to uh, stay out, so I decided I wanted to get medical bay for me. I feel like she just logged out. You're lucky you didn't get fucking shot. Pardon? You're lucky you didn't get fucking shot. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I'm highly wanted. Jesus, very nice. And they just let you waltz out. They let me waltz out. Not really, they didn't really let me waltz out. You know the good part about that is they're going to have to wrap down the Yep. Because they got bamboos and bad way and great bakers. Yeah. Wait, so what? Tell us everything you know about Riley. I know that she went to Annsburg to get a medical bag and she hasn't returned. Okay, how long, at, like, did you go with her into Ansberg? No, she didn't say to, so I just, I stayed to a whisper. Okay, so you are in Van Horn, she said, I'll be back, I'm going to get a medical bag, and how yes. long after that did you go into Ansberg? I think it was uh, five minutes after, five, yes, ten minutes. Probably. it was a couple minutes. Here. It was a couple minutes, I got a bit worried, so I decided I'll ride in. They, uh, they figured out it was me. Afterwards, while I was asking, you know, have you seen somebody around right here? And, then, yeah. and you're right. like, oh, you're way back in. And I was like, oh, yes, I am. She'll, she'll just be on the run, probably. She probably got yes. chased out of town. They didn't see her. I think that she got, maybe she just didn't come back to the mall. You know what, Dad? We're just gonna stick together. Alright. Do you have a long arm waiting? Nope, she took. I can give you a bolt action. Or if you could, would you add the Lancaster? I can use whatever, man. I prefer Lancasters, but it's up to you. Can I use my bolt action? I don't have the throw one again. I, I've got one, so I can. Plans. We need to speed things up. We're gonna bring the wagon here if that's all right and do business on your doorstep as soon as possible. All right, all right. Does that sound all right to you? Yeah, we'll be back in like five minutes. Sorry about this, but uh, shit hit the fan, maybe. All right. Didn't want to keep you waiting, so let's get this done. We'll be back in a few. Come on.
me. Fuck me. Zip doesn't know yet. Is Beyonce down so bad that they have to go to Twitch chats to promote their new album? Wait a minute. Is this just a normal Twitch chatter or is this like a bot advertising a new album? <laughs> Are you getting your wagon? Yeah, I was going through. Alright, quickly get it then. Where did they go? My team speak was down. Uh oh. Anything? Huh? Oh, I just thought maybe thought maybe you had to say something. Oh no no no! Do you know where my people went? Uh, I would assume the maybe Emerald. They said they were going to grab the wagon. No, to the house. No, they grabbed the wagon. They're, at, they're probably at the oh, house. They're, they're okay. probably at the house then. Hopefully. Well, well, you can stick around. They'll be back here. Hey Vito. How you doing? Yeah. Alright, uh, I got the uh, I got the stuff here. Excellent. Uh yep, yeah. on the porch there is uh all the guns. Just uh, uh I mean I trust you, but Yep, just have a quick look. Should be five marked. So that's what I thought unmarked. they would look like. Yep. Perfect. Here you go. Alright, all right. All right. Who wants uh this uh I'll take candle. It. Perfect. He's collected them Sorry, all by now, buddy. Rush. We usually don't like doing business like this, but I didn't want to Figured keep Figured he would have had swamp, a gram. You know, when we well, coming, okay, so. so the last oh, time yeah. Zip got oh, a we, we saw a Your Friend is Dead telegram, we Zip fucking so channeled his to anger to towards everybody yeah, yeah. that sent him right. a telegram instead of telling him to his face. So it makes sense why they didn't telegram Zip saying... All right. What happened? I know out of character. 
Yeah. That's why the title is what it is. All right, come on, y'all. Let's okay, move. On the way back. You appreciate it. And Zip wouldn't believe that. the telegrams. We'll six of them, so. All right, thank you. Take it easy, fellas. All right. Yeah, see you later. Take Ciao. it easy. Sorry. Wait. Yeah. Are you all right? Uh, no. I'm having issues, Pete. Get on your fucking horse. I don't know where my horse is. Is that not it right there? No. Okay. Look, guys, do we do we know for certain that what happened last night wasn't in the creative realm? Okay. No one here knows if that was actually wild. It could have been creative realm. I'm gonna run to stables, Pete. Or you have to go to stables too, right? No, no, no. My horse should be around here somewhere. All right, I'm gonna ride with you. Just take yeah, me to yeah, stables. Who yeah. that? Oh, oh, that's them. All right, cool. Could have been ranch. Exactly. Isaac Quill is on ranch. Let's get going. Does anyone need any ammunition or anything whilst we're here? Uh, good idea. I yeah, I'll buy some. I could use. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, buy might some as, for might the as well. Let's, Let's go it. fast. I don't, I don't think she would call for help. Fuck me. Alright. Right, this go. ain't my horse, is it? It's not. Funny feel different. I just thought you wanted I... to be on murder for a bit. <laughs> I am surprised you didn't shoot their horse. Uh, 
All right, next on the agenda. Oh, shit. Uh, figure out what the fuck's going on in Van Horn. Is the Laura all gonna make a move? Just all right. The, uh, let's not fall into any uh, fucking traps like they did yesterday. Yeah. Who was it that trapped you guys? It was, uh, what was his name? Hammer? He or Hank? I know, uh, Hank was there. That motherfucker was the one that was at the, that I rock, paper, scissored for the bank job. Oh, he was busy yesterday then, huh? It's probably why I was willing to do a rock, paper, scissors to let us go. Thank you for that job, by the way, Zip. I can't remember if I thanked you. Oh, yeah, no worries. Hope you had an enjoyable time robbing a bank. What just happened? I don't know. I'm having headaches. Did you see that? That's called a zip quill plan, by the way. Yeah, it was great. Hank of the Hammers. He was fucking busy yesterday. He does a roadblock on Dead End Gang and then goes and fucking has to deal with zip at a bank job. I'm really excited to see what Wicked does as a new character. I want to make a Van Horn character now, but I, I don't think he will. I hope he does, but I really don't think he will. We could try to convince him. Next time you see Wicked go live, bombard him with Van Horn character. Where's Mingo? Blonde Van Horn character. And then Zip could test him. Archie has inspired me. Shit, it did work. Yeah. I mean, it didn't until I noticed the bow. The bow was gonna uh, go. The bow gave it away. Yeah, actually, it was working. Yeah. Where did we put that other crate? Didn't we hide it in the alley? Oh, he saw you see the bottom in the water. I think we put it out in the open. Oh, Wade the Okay. Stand behind the bar with your arms up. Maybe that'd be okay. 
Yeah, you could just get behind the bar and sit there. You'll be fine. Okay, I'm gonna give this dead man his coat back. Hey, hey so Wade's okay? Because I gotta talk Wade to him. Wade is fine. We just don't hey, know where we're riding. I have a question for you. Yes. Um, when, when you, um, when you were telling me, you know, about the guns. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Come here. Come on, let's... Yeah. Okay, so, um, it's me and Uncle Wade and Whisper. Is it also Mingo, too? Whoever you want it to be. You are now leading them. Got it. You take charge. That's my team. I've chosen them. Good talk. Good talk. Get shit done. You got Make it. us proud. Will do. Uh, hey. Could do with a lick of pain, couldn't it? Can I get you a drink? Oh, uh, that would be nice, actually. Pain. For more travels. Uh, yeah, fucking so nice liquor paint over there. Pete! Probably. Pete. Yeah? I, I'm pretty sure the assholes that kept running you down in San Diné are here. Hold on, Wade. Assholes that kept running Wade. you down? Yes. Oh, I, can't be, I can't believe you're just using yeah, glasses yeah, and a mustache. <laughs> I'll have good. a word with him, but it, yeah, I'm not making a big deal out of that. Uh, I'm going to my light catch back soon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, uh, Pete's going to get a spare. It's pointed us in this direction here. And everything that you're trying to sell us is shitty, apparently. Uh, well, I, I, I just said the drink is... Oh, listen, I, I didn't say the beer was shitty. Mackenzie! Yes. Are these two fucking with you or fucking on you? Yeah, what the hell's going on here? I know, I, I, I just think they want to that's all. Yeah, we, we just stopped for a fucking drink. You know, we, uh, we we came from that big city, you know, uh, over that way. I did, I yeah, remember kinda... you uh, pretty much trying to run down my, my friend there. Oh, was that you in the horse? Sorry, sorry, yes, that was Hi. that was me, I think, with me, me bad sight. Can't really see, that's all. Hmm. I'll tell you what it was. It, it wasn't our horse. You know, uh, someone lent us that horse to get get here, and you know, it's a fucking, you know, between you and me, it's a shit horse. So yeah, he's trying okay. to rein it in, and you know, it just kept pulling to the fucking side. You know, someone wants to a fucking horse out back. Okay, so someone gave you a horse to come specifically to Van Horn? No, no, we stole it. Well, I mean, we borrowed it. We borrowed the horse, yes. We're trying to find a nice place to do a little bit of work. Are you related to Tommy Two Snakes? Uncle, wait, I gotta talk to you. Yes, yes, you got Tommy who? Yeah, I gotta talk to you Never and mind. Whisper and Mingo. You look now, like Tommy some... Half Snake. Maybe when stuff comes is down. Is that some sort of ins insult? Yeah. I don't know who this man is. No, no, man. It's just, yeah, you got a little hard with the, uh, with the bartender there, and he's, you know... Oh He's no no that's just no that's just how we speak. That's, that's, oh, sorry, were you offended, sorry. sir? Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, well, I didn't mean it. You were just because you said scarcity, the, the alcohol was shitty. No, you know, no, I don't want to think shit. It's, it's okay. No no no. You're, 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 yeah, if you're gonna you, apologize, you so clap while you do it. Are you? All right, all right. Oh, that this would be what, give, him a, well, give him a clap. Scouse, give him a clap and say I'm sorry, Mackenzie. Did they say? Right, yeah, look, I'm so sorry, oh, Mackenzie. Sorry, yeah, I didn't Mackenzie. mean no, uh, didn't sorry mean no offense. Oh, no, it's, it's fine. Let's just give you a couple of whiskeys. Well, you look thirsty, and uh, let's give you some drinks. You didn't, oh, uh, didn't mean no sorry harm. For, Mackenzie, yeah, say you're welcome. Repeating what you said. Sorry, sorry about that. There you go. I, I, look, let's uh, enjoy that. Oh, mm, strange customs here. I mean, uh, I don't mind doing that. <laughs> I might need you to reach out to me if you can, sir. Oh, <clears throat> yep, <clears throat> yep, oh, uh, yes. You stretch me arms, hold on. Love, love this. Uh, I... Okay, he's going over there. <clears throat> that, right. It so didn't mean no trouble, they're in friendly spot here. They're okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you want one of these. Come over here, make it say. Where's the scouse, man? Hey, no, stay, stay over there. there. Let me give him his drink. What do you mean, stay over there? I'm staying here. I'm having a sidebar. Yeah, you mean... A sidebar? What's one of them? Appreciate that, mate. It's when I'm gonna talk oh, to someone good. over here without do I, you. Do I have to work in the sidebar oh, right, as you well? Don't, you don't want me coming there, do you not? Just no. go by your friend. All right, all right. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I'll, I'll... 
How long do I have to work in the sidebar for? The other one's enough work. No, no, you're, you're going to be working the main bar. It's just we need to talk to you at the sidebar. Okay. And by we, I mean me and Hen Henry right there. He's... Oh, he's dead. He's, uh... Oh. He's, he's ah, been bleeding for about four and a half hours now. Whatever. Um... What do you want to do with these two? You want me to fucking slit their throat? No, 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 no. They're, they're, they're fine. They're, 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 they were fine. I, I, I just I was letting them know about the whiskey, and they they were just... They didn't, no, please don't hurt them. I, I, I don't want... No, I don't want that. Okay. Go back to please. work. Please. Okay, thank, thank, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Need some nails, I think. Yeah. yeah well, it's been it's been absolutely uh, great to meet you, um, Mister. Uh, uh... All right, go uh, on. Uh, my feeling is, is she went. Off. We're gonna have to call her Fifi. We're still at the damn fucking box. What up, Wicked? How are you doing today, buddy? Do you regret your decision? Or are you happy with it? We still don't have the meta on what happened, by the way. So that's, you know, lovely. Uh, first off, Pat, you little fucking, uh, you little shit stirrer. I said no such thing. I said Isaac can't be replaced. I may have said till tomorrow, but I don't think I actually said that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's probably going to be. Uh, you good? Yeah. I'm using the bucket. Give me a bit of privacy. No. Don't talk to me. I can't go when people are looking. Okay. This room's in fucking patience here. 
McKinley's just pissing in the I bucket am. right when you walk in the door, by the way. Maybe put the bucket around the corner. What? Oh, fuck you say, trying to like $50. Who? McKinley, you're... Mackenzie, you're... Orange hair. No. Yeah, I don't, I don't right. know. I don't, I don't think that quick. 50. I'll do it for 50. The fucking lot. 50 bucks? I don't. Brilliant. 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 We'll I'll pay you this. half now and half on completion. Oh, I'm not oh, running. Yeah. I'm going you know out back do for a cigarette. Don't we'll sleep get, on yeah, we'll Billy Blaster. We'll get the and stuff with the, uh, with, the, uh, with the half up front and... You want everything varnished? Is that right? Everything. Billy Blasters all the wood, killed all the, the deputy with tables, a hot air balloon. Uh, the piano, Don't sleep on Billy. Oh, 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 I didn't realize that. I thought it was just fucking mintins. Yeah, there's, you know, if there's any varnish left over as well, you could probably sell that. It's better than what I fucking drunk just then. So what? Sorry, what? Did you just drink? Uh, 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 nothing. Uh, nothing. Kenzie sold him something. Said it was sh shitty. That was it. Oh. Kenzie served Mackenzie serving you dirty drinks, shitty drinks. Yes, you yes, guys? absolutely. And this Eddie. man had something to say about it. Apparently what did you have being... to say? Yeah, yeah. That little what did you fucking... say, Zip? Oh wait, what? This uh, man? Yes, I believe it was him. Yeah. We said shitty drinks, you only copy and McKenzie, of course, and he said, yeah, he was, yeah. Oh, I made them clap and apologize. Oh, I see. Oh, that was it, yeah, clap, clap. Oh, here we go, so here's we're Riley. We're, we're really sorry, we'll get work straight away. Yeah, all right. Maybe there'll be a little bit extra if you do a good job. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking sorry. I didn't mean any uh, disrespect there. Yeah, I, I didn't yep. know the custom here about clapping either, so I'm, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, it's all right. We'll let it go this time. Isn't it nicer no, no. when they clap and apologize? It feels more of a spectacle. Yeah, 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 yeah I guess yeah. it does. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we'll get on that varnish straight away then, sir. What's yeah, your all name? right. I'm Pete. What's yours? My name. I'll let you talk to him first. Go on, tell him. My name is, yeah, my name's uh, fucking Teddy, innit? Teddy, Teddy Thompson. Terry Thompson? Alright, Terry Thompson, what about you? My name's uh, Paddy Atkinson. Paddy Atkinson. Terry and Paddy. Alright, Terry and Paddy. Well, I appreciate you. I appreciate you as well. Go get to work. God damn, I gotta have a word. Somewhere. Absolutely. Let's get that varnish, right? Right, see you later then. Yeah, there it is. Mm, uh, well, uh, yeah, you know, fucking see ya. Uh, we'll, we'll be back with a uh, with a wooden. He was fucking licking that knife over there. I'm sad. No, I mean, where I'm... exactly was it? It wasn't just outside of town, was it? No, 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 it wasn't. Okay, good. Sim is a little fucking psychopath. Is it? Yeah, wait. Where the fuck is Fiend? She's behind, she's behind you. you. And she's called Finn. Uh, what did I say? You had to ring them in. Ring who in? Are we getting paid? Oh my god. Yes, you're getting done? fucking paid. She said. Never mind. Yes. Um, are you guys. Uh, Fen, sidebar. Oh, yeah. Thank you. you guys are getting I paid. Them... We're buying the guns from you. Yeah. I told them not to ask, because I was testing their metal. They kept saying, go ask if we're getting paid. Go ask if we're getting paid. I said, the only payment is that we get more work later, and Zipquil's going to finally call me Fen. And they just they went and asked anyway, so I got to work on my authoritative tone. How is this? Don't fucking go ask. Listen to me. All right. How was that? Is that? Fen. Yeah. You're gonna go Thank over you. there. You, yeah. Yep. This will be the only time until you guys actually go and sell guns that I'm gonna say. This is how you know I'm being fucking serious. Okay. You're gonna walk up to them. You're yeah. gonna say, "Do you want to get fucking money, or do you want to sit and fuck off on a box all day?" You I wait for this. them to answer, okay. and yeah. then you say, "Well, get the fuck on your horse and let's fucking go." Okay. 
Go before they go check telegrams and get arrested. Okay. Run. He's going to check in his boat to see if it's empty. All right. Well, we gotta follow him there. Get on your horse. No, we're not going go. yet. Yeah. I, I thought we were on standby, soon, ain't we? We're not on standby. We gotta go get. I need to. You know, I need. Okay. I need food. I'm hungry as hell. Wait. All right. We're going. Who am I riding with? Because my my horse is not here. To go get raffles. For God's sake, Jeff. Um, are the little hornians on timeout? Oh, sorry. Pete, what happened? Jeff's been a bitch. Oh, I see. Did you end up doing that thing that we were supposed to do? Oh. Or on standby. What thing? I, I don't know. Can I send them to go work? Yeah, can they get me, like, some guns? Yeah. Yeah, send, send them to go do work. Okay, you guys are not on standby. Whatever okay. Fen says, do. Yeah, but... Yeah, but what? Uh, it's nothing. Wade's just... Has when Wade... Lancaster himself. Do you know how you get a fucking Lancaster easy? One. You go find yeah. someone, you fucking say, give me your fucking gun. And if they don't, you shoot them in the fucking head and take the gun anyways. Ralph, fuck, we're, we're doing, fuck. Jesus I Christ. Horse, please, I was just calming it down. Okay, thank you. Just about fucking day. Uh, today, what a terrible day, as Dakota would say. Now I want a cup of coffee. Yeah, this is a terrible day. I got six shots. I'm good for six. That's how you do it. Now get on your horse and lead them. Hey, okay. My horse is at the stable, unfortunately. These fucking Junior Van Hornians. Like training fucking fish to walk. Doesn't this store sell anything good? I don't know. I just bought a hundred cigarettes. The little Van Hornians are stressing me out. We've been embargoed. That's why. Yeah, well, you got them off doing some work, which is good. Can we? Um, can we check Ansberg so I can get some supplies, or is that a no-no right now? I mean, we can go and check, but, uh, it was packed full of law earlier. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll see if it's it, still packed then, I guess. It might give us a little bit of information of what's going on as well, because if there's no one there, we might be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. We can carry on with our day. You want to ride, Zip? Nah, I got oh, my horse.
Yeah, I know, I know. Just... Hey, 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 Zip, you won't. You did a bank job, what, like two days ago? Or Yesterday. Day ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. No one in town? All right, good. Is there any low in town? These junior Van Hornians are like trying to teach fish to fucking walk. That's pretty hard to do. It's pretty it's fucking, fucking hard. It's very fucking hard to do. It's gonna take years. I will say though that uh, Wade and uh, Boxley did, did break feet out of jail. I'm not Boxley. saying they're not capable, it's just getting them to go cool. and do something is fucking the, the task. Let's just get get our stuff and get out. Let's not overstay our fucking welcome. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Oh, and a lesson. Uh, so uh, I don't know, I assume shot Alice wouldn't give me any information. Him, Sax, and Zoe got into it. Sax is in a coma, he almost died. I know you don't care about that. I'm worried about Isaac and no one's telling me how he is. I'm worried about both of them. No, wait. <laughs> We'll play along with our April Fool's Day joke. Our April Fool's is gonna be telling her that we knew it was April Fool's all along. Asshole, but that's all word of mouth. Yeah, I'm not, I don't yeah, really let's know. Send, send him word. Uh, and, uh, they live up in the snow, according to Wade, so. Go to meet him like halfway somewhere. Hmm. I was thinking something like that. Yeah, maybe. Cattail pot. Cattail or no, hanging that's... dog. What about hanging dog ranch? Yeah. Yeah, hanging dog. Why not? Okay. There, there is a lot of people there. Around that area, but it'll be fine. We'll move if we need to. Yeah, I mean, we could just do with PD. I don't, I don't really want to go to with PD. <laughs> That's quite a journey, to be honest. And so is hand and game dog fight. It's close. It's reasonable for them. It's reasonable for them. <laughs> is this the McKinley's or is this Pavel's? I don't know. I think it's the McKinley's. Sorry? What? The McKinley's. Yeah. Okay. Guys, 
I wonder if I have anything left in my room. It's gonna be so fucking weird, dude. I'm gonna be telegramming Isaac probably at least for like a week, not remembering that he fucking permed. Wait, so you said Wade broke himself out, Archie? How'd, how'd he get arrested? I think I had too much coffee. I think I drank too much coffee this morning. I think I need to drink some coffee. Can I have some? Um, I drank it all. God damn it, Zip. Oh, fuck you! Sorry, sorry, Pete. All right. Jesus Christ. I didn't want to kill this lady and start a fucking war in Van Orn. We wait around here for like 10, 15 minutes. He turns up. Not. We'll start moving. Okay. Uh, I think Millie should be around. This is what time she said she might be waking up when she said goodnight last night. All right, all right. She did not bad on the bank. Especially her first bank being with someone like me is a challenge. Yeah, that's good. Have a normal whiskey, please. No fingering. I'll take a fingered whiskey. Okay. Please and thanks. That's, uh, that's $300, please. Yeah, right. Keep right. the change, you filthy animal. Have a nice day. Um, can I get a finger whisk whiskey? All right, my fingers are the finger I got on the stick. Yeah. Um, whatever. Here, since you gave me that navy. Look at this. Look how rare this is. They're not it. By the way, they're not it. Oh, okay. That's very right. rare. I found those. You like sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, you've done a lot. Where did you get a finger on a stick? I found a finger back there and I stuck it on an arrow. All right. He, uh, Archie wanted it. Uh... Thank you. Want these back? Um, yeah, so he scared no, me from no. the money. This kind of hurt my control there, what? actually. What? It's are you, are you, it's are you my kidding control. me? You, you told me it was absolute guarantee. Yeah, you know, when I get to actually play properly, yeah, but when I'm scammed, what you know, about pass... the whole, why do you think I'm here? What? Pass me 100 and I'll be able to make you 200. You got a fucking gambling problem? Are you kidding me? Okay, you, you like to gamble? Yeah, love it. Okay, here's the deal. I'll give you, how about $300? You give me $300. Yes, you bring me $500, or I skin you alive, and this fella will make uh, furniture out of your skin, right? Me? Yeah, you're probably into that. Do I look like a carpenter? Or a so fucking psychopath? I should I should have led with a psychopath first, rather than the fucking carpenter. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do it with word? 100, and I'll uh, give yes. you 150 back. I, I'm not giving you another fucking What the hell is he doing here? Over here? The bartender? Yes. Uh, Dakota's yeah, feeding him in the him. cage. Nuts. Okay, so why the fuck is he here? Uh, I guess he's paying off his debt that Wallaby told him to pay the 200 anyway, by Friday. Like. And he didn't pay, so now Dakota has him working here. Good morning. And, then, and it goes up $100 every day, so it's at like 400 So he's got quite the debt to pay off. Right. Good morning. 
But I don't know morning. if part of that money is helping because Dakota keeps bringing them down in the cage in the rug store and feeding them peanuts. Out of her hand, by the way. She said it. Hi. Any questions? I bet you we yes. sold we you sold the guns to oh. Room. Do you want to go back to the previous thing? Is that what you had questions? Who would you sell the guns to? Uh, should we be doing we this in the saloon or should we go? I don't think so, no. I'm whispering real quiet. So am I'm I, whispering but to you, but people have been in take and it. out of here all fucking day. Let's go to the rock store. Come on. I don't know. Who are we sell them to? I don't give a fuck. Uh, do you know their names? I'll just lost twice. I'll yeah, it's Bronson and the guys we went to yesterday. The ones that live in the cold manor. Oh, no, I, I think so. Uh, whatever was in the crate. I see. No, I took uh, I took charge of the uh, little Van Hornians and sent them to Given go the work. Laws of Given the laws of states, so they're gonna go rob some the little guns. Van Hornians? Wade, Fen, uh, Mingo, guaranteed. and uh, Whisper. Oh, lovely. They're gonna go get us guns. We're gonna buy the guns and sell the guns. This is get rich quick. Okay. McKenzie. Lovely. Okay, I'm walking outside now. Okay. All I'm saying is one hundred dollars, and you can. I feel like Jesus. that was a good recap. Yeah, it was. It really yeah, was. I, I mean, I missed it. What did I miss? You go and do it then. You go and gamble under it. We're going to um. We're going to hanging dog soon. Yes. Apparently, oh, some what's some hanging dog. Some shits. Some shits happen. Oh yeah. Can I add? I can go and meet him. What kind mm -hmm. of shit? I, I don't know. I'll be honest. I, I Are we going to have to kill someone? Maybe. There might be death on the cards. There might be a gunfight. There might be a hang... Where's Pete? Did Pete go to the red car? What's Pete doing? It's dancing. Also, who the fuck is Jesse McKinley? No, sir. I don't know where they. I want to dance.
God damn! Dance it out! Groove! Groove with me! God damn! What? I said dance it out! Groove it out! Oh, uh, Groove I came over... God damn! Ah! Um, I came over here to, uh, tell you that there's important talks about what's going on, and... But then you were dancing, I wanted to dance. Ah, scouts here, good. Yeah. Fuck you! Well, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! you. Right, where are these important talks happening? Uh, you, you update him on the McKinley thing. Update What's going on, on with McKinley this thing? McKinley, who I've fucking heard of a thousand times and well, maybe have met? Reached, apparently he reached out to Archie, so we're gonna go uh, meet them. But, uh, there was an incident where essentially Wade and Whisper were riding with Pavel. Pavel. They were getting paid for it. But... Pavel and these guys, I think, are at war, and they made some threats towards Wade and Fingy. But that's not really of consequence. What is of consequence? They want. They were trying to bring Van Horn into it. Plus, they call. They called uh, Pavel a rat, and I would like to uh, to understand why they think that. Okay. They have any proof before we act on said things. Right. Is it uh, just us five here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, for the moment. Okay. We're about to leave in like the next five minutes, so. Yeah, we're in like, good timing. We're meeting them at Hanging Dog? Yeah. I believe that so. That's quite That's the fucking Archie distance. Said. Yeah, well, we'll take, uh, we'll take the track most, most of the way, I think, through the mountains. Did she say oh, 7 or 7.30? Because we'd have a full six. It'd be quick we across cross country, but I reckon more chance of us running into the law than going up north and following the tracks. Yeah, if I may recommend taking just the tracks up there, we'll be there pretty quick. Yep. And we got a lantern. Look at that big old no. fucking tunnel. All right. We'll figure it out. We could rob a ranger on the way up. We gotta go up and over it. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. We or could just we straight could through it. These things. We could go through it. Our eyes might adjust. Maybe. Indeed. Have Indeed. you eaten enough carrots lately? Not really. All right. My night vision will be working Dude, we do not come in friend. here with that shit. I hear cats. Go to fucking Wicked chat crazy. with that. Maybe we should like... I don't know. We don't condone Ooh, this behavior. Goggles made of cat eyes. But then how are you going to see out the goggles if you got cat eyes on them? Well, because you're going to see through the cat's eyes. Oh, right. I don't know right. if it works like that. Oh, okay. I'm going to hit the high on tires. We'll see. Okay, we'll, see. Well, well, maybe we won't see. Ah, yeah. Let's just forget that one. Yeah, yeah. Should we get going? Uh, yeah, gonna knock you. Yeah, yeah, I don't see uh, no reason not to. Uh. Okay. What? What's what? up? What? To, what? I, I'm. I'm just saying, if we wait a little bit longer, we might have a sixth. But we could go now. Fuck it. Who? How long? Lo how much Dakota? longer? No, probably. Is Millie. Assistant. I. I don't. But let's just go. Fuck it. Binoculars. <laughs> what the fuck happened to you, Riley? I fell off my horse, and I, I hit my head, and I knocked myself out, and then I was really mad and really angry about it, so I took a while to contemplate my choices in life, and then I... And I came back. I came back here. And lost your binoculars in the process. And my lasso. And my so do I, but it might be 7.30, and I don't want to wait fucking right, 20 minutes wait. for her might now to show yeah. up. Crawl back All here right. my arms and legs, okay? Next I mean, I don't, don't see fall. this talk Dummy. lasting that long. <laughs> Oh, gee, I didn't think about that one, Scout. You know, you're right. Clearly, because we wouldn't be in this position if you had. That's right. You're right. I should... Uh, well... Right in there, have to, he's upset about that, because we'll...
guy, just jump off a second. Alright. That's good. Yeah, Zip's not gonna trust a fucking word any of them say. Zip doesn't like him, but Zip's not gonna bring that drama to Van Horn. Sure. I might have to. Are we gonna go to check your telegrams or are we just going straight there? Well, we're gonna go through Annisburg anyway, right? We're gonna okay. take the trash. Yeah, that looks good. We'll, uh, we'll check if there ain't no law there. Salsa, you fucking cousin killer, you motherfucker, you just had a fucking giggle, didn't you? If Zip would have just fucking killed you on that mountain, Zip would have a lover, cousin, Co a cousin he loved. Hope you're doing good, buddy. Hope you like kill killing my cousin on Easter, you fucking prick. I think we're all right. Uh. Nothing, so I presume he's got it. I gave him 30 minutes, which is enough time. How the fuck does Everett know, but Serafina doesn't know? What the fuck is this? Who's sending out telegrams to the fucking bastards oh, over... I gave you that day that you escaped. <laughs> over fucking yeah, Zip! Every time I see her, you know, I have to rub it in. <laughs> she has to tell me that it's, you know, one of eight. I'm just gonna put haha, -ha, very funny. April Fool, see you as well. Jesse's dead. Okay, we ready? Uh huh. Yep. All right. Should we take the most ass backwards <laughs> way there? I'd rather not run into. I <laughs> said what? I my condolence about Jesse Gold as well. Day. I guess we both lost something. Ha <laughs> ha. Everyone's gonna be like, what the fuck? Um, who died? What do you mean? Huh? Uh, I got condolence letters. From who? I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's fucking Pete. You got what from Pete? Pete's Pete, are Pete. you He's sending right condolence letters? Pete told me that Millie was dead. Because oh. April Fools, and now I have Everett sending his condolences. It was telling me Grandma tell saying you? Isaac's hurt. What did I tell you, Zip? That Millie died. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's not actually dead, right? Uh, I'm starting to think so. I haven't seen her. And now I'm getting condolence letters. Your assistant oh, might fucking be dead already. Are you kidding me? It's been a day. That's amazing. <laughs> it's been a day. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't for her, you know. When's the last time she replied to you? What do you mean reply? I don't use telegrams. 
The only reason why I had to today is because she's not around. But when she's around, I don't telegram. Okay, well, how do you... What was the last time you heard from her, I guess? Yesterday, after we robbed the bank. Oh, yeah, she might be dead. My condolences there, Zip, sorry. Okay. I guess you're the same to you. I don't know what you... Fuck is sending condolences. That's stupid. That's a stupid thing to send. Just like, oh shit, that sucks. Tell about your sister. Goodbye. What do you mean? Nobody. Like we Only Van Horn. Sister, but, like. Oh, I guess Isaac. Uh, maybe he told some folks. Oh shit, no, we should have brought. What? That, whatever his name, Mackenzie. So you can get his eyes. Is he still in the ball? Oh, yeah. Ah, fuck it. We're not going up into the ice. We're going hanging down. Yeah, the fuck that. plan was to go find them in the ice. I'll no, have Millie. I'll have Millie get the ice. He can't if make she any lives. sense in sinners without any ice. Otherwise, it'd just be a cinema. Yeah, which I mean, ain't that bad, right? It's like orange juice or something like that. I don't know. There's got no whiskey in it, I don't care. <laughs> Hoop, do you not know that all I do is farm poggers, little buddy? You want to race through the tunnel as fast as we can? No, I don't want to die. Depends if I can see shit. Well, this is just a game we play. It's better if you can't. Oh. You okay. just use the tracks to guide you. Okay. Pull on the reins as hard as you can. Full speed through here. You can hit and try to trip your horse. Or your opponent's horse. Now let's not let's not knock each other out on the way to this. Okay, we Maybe won't hit each other. Back. But as soon as we go in full speed. All right. Good luck, let's Pete. Do it. Hey -ya! Hey -ya! Oh. I can't see shit. I can't see anything. Oh, oh, I can see. I can We did it. Well done. Truly a feat. They didn't. <laughs> oh god. Waiting for the Hooper Zip chest duel. Dude, yes. Zip doesn't know the meta that Hooper is playing. Zip only knows Richie played chess in Sissica. I beat, I beat Dakota in seven moves yesterday. So one out of ten games, I'm strategic. Is it going to, is it going to irate Zip that people in Cisco heard about? Probably not as much, because I'm sure everyone will say like, oh, we want to tell you in person. But nobody's telling Zip in person either. Like where the fuck is Trump Alice? Meat. Where where's Trump meat. Where are the people that were there? Mm, 
Zip, yeah, Zip's biggest thing. The, 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 the most docile thing that's gonna happen is Zip's, Zip's cutting communication with everybody that was there. He's not gonna talk to them. I, I mean, I'd say forever, but RP could lead in a different way, but Zip is pretty much gonna be like, don't, I'm done. Like, they, they definitely had reason to be there, but they should have just waited 12 hours. I haven't watched it either. I don't think I can watch it either. Because there's a lot of meta that Zip would need to know to go full on... Like, hey, like if Zip finds out that Alice took Isaac from getting medical, and then he died, that's gonna like. Oh my God, Archie! That's gonna push Zip to want to do something against Alice. If he finds out that, uh. Well, one, she didn't tell Zip. She should have told forth. Zip in telegrams or something. Come forth, Archie. I'm coming <laughs> forth. You have been summoned. Archie, you, you had dealings with him in the past, right? Like, only, only briefly. I, I don't know the fella that fucking well. Um, but he, we were gonna, we, we were definitely gonna plan a couple of jobs together and stuff. So I know, uh, I know he's good with me. But I don't know what the outcome of this conversation could be, you know? Who's the, do you know who he rides with? Where are you? It was the McKinley brothers. There was a, there was a handful of them when I, uh, when I met them. Okay, so... You know, Wade was one of them. It's... You said who's it? He rides with Waggy. Oh, he rides with Waggy? Yeah, so the McKinley brothers are Rami and Jesse McKinley. Jesse rode with me and Mills for a little bit. And then I think we went to Siska. Next thing we knew, he joined. They joined the Kelly gang. And I think this was after James died. And then when Josie died, they joined Preacher's gang. And then when Preacher died, they joined. Okay, y'all fucking Westerners need to find a gang and stick with it. Holy fuck. No, <laughs> there's a term for it. Um, but. They pretty much, every time their leader dies, they go to a different gang, which honestly is kind of understandable. Once your leader dies and people move on, you're going to find another place to work with. And Fuck Preacher... No, well, you're just going to be a lone wolf? No. Nope. If our leader dies, we continue on. Okay. Don't just give up because the leader's fucking dead. You would think, but... You know, some people aren't fit to lead. Maybe they're the ones killing their leaders. Uh, Ever think about that? A, a secret assassination plot to kill the Crossings gang leaders <gasps> by the government. They've been by the SCSD. Holy shit, they're fucking rats. This all makes sense. We'll just kill them now. Telegrams here real quick. Yeah, they'll be there. Bad fucking time now, Alice. Meeting confirmed. All right, good. Lodge does tend to patrol you. around there, so we need to be very careful not to get stuck. Yeah. I mean, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's uh, honestly that ways place out. is. Yeah. There's so many ways out there. Oh my god. We don't have Zip.
These little fucking assholes. No, never mind. Just kidding. We love them again. Silly goose, Alice. You're not gonna trick me. I guess we like we'll take this opportunity to learn more about their beef. Yeah, you know I mean? and if they want blood from Wade and whatever, they can take it, so long as it's not anywhere near Van Horn. If they do yeah. anything at Van Horn, they're fucked. Indeed. Okay, that's a good way All to right. handle it. I know we talked about that, chat. But... set up any traps or anything like that but that is on them to deal with not us we got our own problems to deal with Fear. Not sure. They might come through the valley. Yeah, this has been a very populated area as of late. You'd have to ask chat on that one. I think he is, personally. But I also don't know the secret meetings. So without meta, you could answer that question. Did that just say wolves with rabies? In this area carrying rabies. Please take caution when working here and avoid all wolves if possible. If you're injured by a wolf in this area, report to a medic as soon as possible. Untreated rabies is fatal. Do not ignore even the smallest risk. Counting these wolves while the steps on the other side of the paper for you and everyone else's safety. Gene the wolves, make sure you kill and burn them. If the wolf is left to eat other animals, they can catch rabies. Do not eat the meat. Wear your thick clothes, protect yourself from bites and claws, wear gloves, but you wash your hands thoroughly. If you have other questions, please tell a ranger or a medic. Let's go hunt some wolves and we can start. The damn wolves have rabies out here. We'll serve the wolf meat in, uh, in, in Valentine. Imagine giving all the Nothing Valentinians rabies. I think they already have rabies. The tree's not dead. Yeah, it was too cute. He done this Pavel matter. Especially given he would refuse to give any information about, uh, 
Uh, what's her face? That old fucking lady and the job that they did and whatnot. Who needs smokes? I'm good. That's, yeah, that's kind of why I want to see what they have to say about him. We'll see what they want with Archie first. I have a full pack already. They probably, they probably I have want five, to talk about full, four full weight packs. or whatever. It, it, It'll be about this. They said, uh, could I get a conversation with you or, or your or your boys? So I presume right, it's okay. about this. I mean, Is let's it... be honest. People will say fucking anything about their enemies to make sure that shit goes down between them and other people. It could be very easily a ploy. Well, he he said he's an asshole. Yeah, true, but it's, it's just about getting information as well, right? For then sure. we can use that. Yep, uh, just something to keep Bell, in mind. See if he fucks up. See if anything, you know, let something slip. I let something slip last night. What do I bet? I will not be elaborating. What? Okay. Way? <laughs> Is this one of those dirty crude, dog. dirty things? Oh, okay. I don't understand. My innocent mind. In us in mind. He said we, so it's not just him, right? It could be. Yeah, just I guess him. so. Well, he refers to himself in like the third person, we. Some people do. He's a one man army. Some brothers. Well, Riley said they broke up. Broke up. Yeah, Wade. Still be with his brother. Yeah, Wade and uh, Jesse had a gunfight duel outside of Van Horn like a couple of months ago, like a month or so ago. Oh, I see. I'm gonna go take a shit. Ew. Okay. Nice. All right, back. I'm gonna throw my coffee in the microwave because it's super cold and I need more coffee. I slept like shit. I'll be right back. Behind it's fine all of the time Like sex on the beaches What else is in the teachers of peaches? Huh, what?
Okay. Part of this. Who accused them? Just uh, from the information we got, who was the accuser? Yeah, we accused them in Thieves Landing last night, which didn't go so well. They got very defensive over it, as one should. It's a big accusation to make, I understand. But um, we've talked to some people who heard firsthand what Pavel was saying. One being, uh, what's her name again, Henry? Ani. Yeah. She was in Blackwater and overheard Pavel talking to Tom Hooper and uh, spreading information about the Jolly Rogers, giving him information on where their whereabouts were, where they were, what they were doing, which ended up in the law chasing down the Jolly Rogers. I'm not sure if they arrested any of them, but they acted on his information. Hmm. Now, whether it's 100% confirmed, I'm not too sure, but I have my suspicions. He brought it up and he got very, very defensive over it. Who's this Annie? Annie, she's, uh, she's been up north for a little while. She comes around here and there. I don't trust her word fully, but it perked a brow. It was a surprise to me. And the problem isn't Pavel being a rat, but if Wade's residing in Van Horn, right? Riding around with Pavel. I just wanted to inform you all that uh, he's riding around with someone that could be a rat. Yeah. And that's someone that I, personally I wouldn't want in my home. Mm. Agreed. So I extend my hand out to you. I know Archie a little bit. I've been bumped into him once or twice. So I just figured I'd do the courtesy of letting you all know that this fellow Wade could be riding around with a rat. He could be one himself. I'm not saying he is, but he's riding around with someone that most likely is. And that's not something I would want for my people. I'm sure you wouldn't either. No, I understand that. I don't expect you to believe me either. Well, anyone can be suspicious of being a rat. It's whether you got the confirmation or not that's very key in these things. Especially with the way people handle rats around here. Correct, correct. Now, this Annie, does she have a last name? No. But I can get a telegram for you. I can have her meet with you if that's something you're wanting. I can bring her to you if you want confirmation. I'm just or, curious if it's someone you knew or you just happened upon. Last I heard you rise phrase, gang. Yeah. Real name is Tiffany. Wears a red mask. She's in the paper, actually. Gotcha. She always wears the red mask. Red mask, yeah. red corset. It's kind of her look. I see. I know the one. Yeah. There's that, and there's also Mr. Tom Hooper. Now, obviously, he's not going to give that information up willingly. That's something that I'm willing to figure out myself. To confirm. Now, um, I'm gonna say here. I've been in Van Horn a few times. I've uh, talked to a few of your folk. They seem nice. But um, I do this to, I don't know, start business, improve relations, get to know a few of you folk. I know I talked to Archie about. Trying to do something a while back. Never happened. Uh, never really aligned with when I was scheduling. in jail. Or, yeah, scheduling. Mm -hmm. But I figured, reach my hand out to you, let you know that this Wade fella, he's uh, riding around with Pavel. He's causing a lot of issues that could uh, reflect on you all. If he's, uh, I don't know, tight with you or is hearing things. I see your point. However, yeah. Wade is not with us. Let's be very clear on that. He yeah, is a sure. mercenary. He gets hired to do things here and there. I think there is a, a distinct line to be drawn there. I want chaos. Absolutely. He does call Van Horn home, but uh, he's not dead end. 
Yeah, I understood that. I just um, I thought it might be a concerning factor. If he's living there, he might hear things, you know, just in general. For sure. We yeah. definitely appreciate to, that. Right. If those get to Pavel and Pavel takes that to law or some of his people take it to law, maybe they know something they shouldn't know and they, you know, or try to take your home. Maybe Wade figures out something about my home and get to the Pavel and they try to take my home away. Mm. Well, we'll definitely be keeping uh, an eye on him. But honestly, I know Wade uh, a little bit. Uh, I don't think you need to worry about him, uh, being a rat with Pavel, even helping Pavel out from now on. Saw him earlier. Sure. Pretty shook up from, uh, your meeting. Yeah, I, I talked to him. Thought, in that, thought that you yeah. guys were going to bring something down on Van Horn. No, they were twisting it that way. They were... They were asking me if I was speaking for Van Horn or speaking for anyone that lives there. I told them it's just a place to me. It's nothing much right. more than that. I have no part or dealing in what goes on at Van Horn. Indeed. Jizzy, if I may. Yeah, go ahead. This information that we received, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Either Wade, like you said, Wade here is a mercenary for hire. So he's not officially part of the dead end. He's not officially part of Pavel's boys. So just floating around. But uh, call this meeting. Us doing our due diligence. And like oh. my brother said, extending a helpful hand. Hell, maybe even just having a decent excuse to meet with you folk face to face. For sure. We appreciate that. And to be honest, the feeling's mutual. Mm -hmm. We wanted to know about uh, this information you have on Pavel. That is interesting because uh, we see him from time to time. And, well, rats talk a lot, don't they? Love the sound of their own voice. That they do. We'll definitely be keeping an eye on them, and we appreciate it. As far as uh, business in the future, yeah, consider this, you know, like, yeah, the start of a relationship, I Someone suppose. Like the dynamite. You're at war, right? Y'all need guns? That's right. Yeah. Long arms, navies, I assume. Mm. Along those lines, yeah. All right. We can uh, look into gathering up some for you. We do give you a good price, maybe. We'll see. I have an unrelated question, if you don't mind. Sure. Talking about, um, you guys are part of the gun trade. Are you, are you buying as well? Not necessarily. We yeah, tend to accrue are, them <laughs> over time. Yeah. Need to offload them to those more in need of them than us. I mean, it does depend on what kind of gun you're talking about. Elephant rifles. We're like, I like, you know, that'd be nice. Pump actions. I'm trying to that find the, the I'm trying to find the right buyer for a specific piece. I have. It's a property Cisco bolt action. Now, I don't necessarily know that it's worth a lot. It's not like it belonged to Bill, Big L or somebody. But I don't know. I thought maybe somebody who really fucking hated that place might. Pay Interesting. Something. Yeah, I'm sure someone would be interested in that. Us, I'm not sure. What do you think, Scout? Seems more up Zip's alley, in my opinion, to be honest. Gems, too? Y'all dealing gems? Again, oh. we, we, kill, we collect. Occasionally we sell, occasionally we buy. Not, not a huge a, not buyer a on gems, though. I mean, like a like selling. Yep. What? Are you is, interested is in the your, bolt action from Sisica? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if the if the question. No, I have not, the greatest. Really know for, no, the no, greatest no, no, thing that ever that. came out of Sisica. Uh, the whistle. Really that odd. The whistle. Uh, of course. Just hesitant is all because, uh, well, 
we're both in the same business, you see. We know what gems are for. They're solid, hard cash, that you know, to fall back on. And, uh, you know, we have our supply. But we can see what we can do in the future. I can't make any promises now. Not about gems, anyway. Weapons, yeah. I mean, I don't suppose y'all y'all are interested in buying gold. You guys do jobs in town to town. Speak easy to speak easy. We're looking into uh, getting a few people to do it for us, yeah. Got Maybe we'll be willing to buy those in the future. All right, well, we can definitely talk about that. Lovely. Do we have each other's telegrams here? We want to exchange. We can do, or we can get uh, yours from Archie here. Yeah, he's I can got pass yours. It on. And if you want some of ours, we can do that as well. Yeah, sure. Pass them back and forth, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I might as well write y'all's down now whilst. Gotcha. What's yours, Jesse? Uh, it's HR 130. How rude, 130. Oh yeah, I recall that. And uh, who we get in contact with out of your bunch if uh, you weren't around? Two of these boys here, yes. Yeah. Damn. Say Sorry, again? I'm a uh, little lost in thought. Yeah. That's all right. My name's Declan Henry. My telegram is Just Saying 187. JS 187? That's right. All right, cool. All right, yeah, we'll, uh, like, we'll hand out your, uh, your telegrams around us just in case, uh, we got business for you. Is there anything, like, specific that you're looking for? Uh, at the moment, um, I know I'm not looking for anything. Anybody here looking for something? What do you, why are you guys all looking at me? I know, um, your brother started looking at you, so we were looking at you. I expected you to say out. something. I was expecting yeah. you to say something. Freaking me out over here. We're waiting on the telegram. I was waiting. Anywho, we'll uh we'll be in contact soon. I don't know yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. I, I don't know who who out of us needs guns right now. Um, none of us have been locked up in a bit or, or robbed. But if anybody needs like a a spare side armor rifle or anything, I have a whole mm -hmm. fleet of them. We'll let you know. Yeah, yeah indeed. Please indeed. do. My telegram is CA three four nine. If you can remember that. Cunt ass three four nine. Okay. Well, it's good to meet you, you folk. If you're looking to ever yeah, find us, you. if you can't get to a telegram station or something, if you want to be up north, usually, near Colt or the frontier. Anywhere specifically uh, up there? Just the Colter area. I know um, there's quite a few remote locations out there. The Colter area, I'm sure you'll be able to find us. All right. At least right now, the laws start coming up. Yeah, fair enough. If you yeah, don't mind me like asking, presence up there. Go on, scout. You, I want, want you all right there, Froggy? Oh yeah, I'm doing great. Doing great. You what don't happened? look it. Yeah, Pablo stabbed me in the fucking back yesterday. I see. Hmm. Yeah, that'll do it. Glad to see you're on your feet, though. It's just a bit. It happens, right? It does happen. I know all too well. Well, either way, gentlemen, we appreciate you letting us know about these things. Appreciate you reaching out. One second, fellas. The, uh, bounty, is that still a thing? It is. Yeah, I was talking about that. All right. You all heard about the bounty currently on Sheriff Shever 
Chevalier's head? <laughs> I have not. Five thousand dollars if you can bring her to Van Horn alive. Really? That's right. Yeah, it's a big one. It is. That being said, certain people need to be around at that time. So if you could telegram, if you could write these telegram numbers down to get in contact with them, if you ever have her, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. KS10 or 130. KS130. Okay. And then Zip, what's your telegram? Real QT699. A couple of them do. But it's RK699. Okay. Yeah, if you telegram either one of them, if you have her alive somewhere, then we'll have a. Uh, a nice little meeting there in Van Horn. If you can bring her alive, that's $5,000 in your pocket. That can fund your wars. It can do a lot of shit for you. That it can, that it can. Something to keep in mind while you're out and about. She hasn't been spotted or seen by any criminals conveniently I enough. I had to take care of something. Out of everyone that we know in the crossing since the day that this bounty has been put up. So my guess is she's in hiding. Somewhere. So you may have to do a little digging. But I'll leave that up to you all if you decide on that. Sure. All right. Now, all right. Well, I think that's everything. We must be getting back. But yeah, good to meet you all. Uh-huh. Mm, likewise, yeah. likewise. Pleasure, yeah. It was so, a pleasure. We just turned up. What was your name? Tell it on the far left. Sydney. Sydney, what's up, Sydney? Pete, I'm not Howdy. sure if we met before, but how do you? Howdy. We've met before in the uh the road saloon there. That one time. Oh yeah, oh, yeah I think we have, yeah. Yeah, but we anyways, get, gentlemen, it was a pleasure. Away, away. Yeah, we'll be if seeing you, you all around. Been, been in contact and vice versa. It's good Indeed. to see you boys again. You all take it easy. Bye now. Have a good one. See you later. Hey, Scoot. Yeah. Okay. Y'all better get into some shit or you got a couple minutes to spare. I'm on Falcon for you. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, it's the Zip Sissica whistle. Wow. Stole it off a of fucking. The warden dead corpse, I believe. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Uh, do you want to talk here? Or. Okay. I thought Epiphany would be a weird name, but you never know. I think, uh. Is something else. Yeah. I, I think I Scout's having a sidebar with Doggy. Doggy. Froggy. Yeah, okay, we can wait. You can bring them all along. Sidebars. You're welcome to join if you'd like. Oh. No, I don't want to. <laughs> no. <laughs> Does uh, Jasper still ride around with all you he does not. He hasn't been seen in ages. He's goo. I got issues with Jasper. If you don't mind me asking, over what? Couple dead friends. Know what I mean? I do. Does those issues extend over to us? No. Well, I want to have this conversation. I told Pavel a little bit about the history of us. Told him that I have issues with Jasper. He's told me himself multiple times he intends to, I don't know, unleash some sort of trump card against me where he convinces all of you I want you dead because of what happened. 
He's telling me that he intends to do this if he dies. Thinking now's a perfect time to let you know I got no issues with you or yours. Jasper's a different fucking story. Alright. Fair Fair enough. enough. Appreciate the heads up. Good to know. Yeah, no worries. Well, I'll obviously keep you to your word. <laughs> That's right. We appreciate you letting us know. Yeah, perfect. And I cleared it up. So we're good then. Right? I don't see yeah. no issues. We are. Maybe, maybe we'll e if he ever turns up, maybe we'll even uh, give you a nudge. You got his telegram scout? Froggies? Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure someone's got it in Van Horn. I probably do, to be honest. These yeah. Fucking we, dogs. Uh, who knows what the future holds? Dogs are going ham right now. Yeah, well, Jasper shows up again, you let me know. I'm making it worth your while. Lovely. I have someone dropping something up, there. but there's, there's no fucking way they're here already. There's no fucking way. He's around. All right. Yeah, take, take it, it easy. Take Heal it easy. Up soon. All right. Oh, shit. Sorry. See what I just did on the fence? So the dogs are really well. There's three beautiful. of them. What did you do? See, I glided across the fence like a fucking. And they only bark creature. when someone comes on the property. I know. All right, back but to Van Horn. There's I'll a. Last for two seconds. Wolves. Wolves. Let's tame them and bring them home. Yeah, yeah let's tame them. Yeah. Don't get bit, they have rabies. That one's running off, fuck him. If Riley got bit, we're gonna have to amputate her. Yeah, maybe. Riley, do you have rabies now? I might, shit, fuck. Where'd they bite you? They right. didn't bite me, but the, the air of their breath was close butt? to mine. We're gonna have to amputate your waist. Oh, we God, should give I'm them dead. a moment to ride out so it doesn't get awkward, right? The wolves? No, the McKinley. <laughs> uh, we could check telegrams. That'll buy us some time. Yeah, For what? Maybe not. Um, I think, I think Archie wants to do something with the wolves. I don't know. Ah. Why don't we just go to Ansberg instead? Okay. That was, that was the plan, right? Yeah. I think so. Oh, I thought you guys wanted to stop at Wallace. Business. I mean, I wouldn't mind stopping at Wallace. We're already stop past them, it's fine. We're not really past it, we're actually just about there now. Yeah, no, we're we're past them, I'm saying. It won't be uh, awkward because yeah. we've already passed them. Yes, now it, they'll, have, they'll be the ones making it awkward. They turn up. It's their fault. Yeah, yeah. We'll go back and we'll discuss what just happened there. Yeah, yeah I don't. I don't know who was there. Around here. I don't know who was there to see it, but Wallaby had a little sidebar with Pavel yesterday, too, so... I did yeah. see that as well. He was going to tell us what was said, but then uh, everything kicked off. Well, he did beat the shit out of us first. Are we stopping or going? Still going. Okay, we'll stop in Ansberg. Tell me, Wallaby kicked all of your asses yesterday? Yeah. Not like I was trying to fight back. I just oh, pushed him down a couple of times. Give oh, my God. Schnoz. I saw the same thing, Archie. <laughs> no, wait, yeah. that was real. That wasn't you saying something. Oh. <laughs> okay.
Horse on the tracks, careful. Let's kill it. Don't stop on the damn bridge like that. What the fuck? That's what I thought as well. I could have sworn I saw something like that too. Is anybody dead? Anybody fall off? Call SCSD. If you can hear me, call out. We're the Rangers. We're not the Rangers. I'm gonna go do a uh, a quick. Hello. I would have robbed them real quick and I would have had an extra gun. <laughs> Maybe they just had a headache. If you were to accidentally fall off the bridge, it depends on how far, but. Probably not. I feel like uh, there's a lot of people that deserve to kill Zip. I'd, I'd like. I would feel so bad to permit him to like a horse or something, even though it makes sense. Like, there's not much RP to go about it with that death. But, like, if it's someone, like, that's going to make a story out of it, you know what I mean? Or else I would have permit zip. Because there was a day where I was, like, trying to permit zip. I was just done playing him. I'm very happy I didn't. And a lot of people um, stopped me from doing so. But I almost killed Zip like a year ago. Like six months so ago. Many it was gonna be to like the first person that shot Zip. Pretty much they making connect, Zip a one life character. I don't know what I'm trying to do. You have your right. Do you need another whiskey? I'll never be I, in that uh, moment again. It's been, a, it's been about 45 minutes since I've had a bottle. Jesus, all right. Yeah. Right, like it's Isaac's perma is going to push so much fucking story. Like a crazy amount of story. Maybe. Yeah. Is he supposed to pay back a dead or something? Yeah, the most know. would be... Yeah, you're going to go uh, Zoe. Do we have to go through the tunnel again where we can't see nothing? Zip has, mm -hmm. Zip used, they, Zip and Zoe built a friendship over a year and a half. And Zip used everything she ever told him against her to hurt her. And would literally just spend days and days and days just sending telegrams to fucking hurt her. Like, we weren't even actually hunting her. We were just fucking, like, mentally fucking her up. Do you believe in folk about Wade? I don't uh, think... Uh, well, I don't know. What the fuck is... What the fuck is going... Are you, I wonder if a fucking train came by and all these people just Maybe. hopped off the... Oh! There's somebody at the end of the track. Really uh, this freak better not have... Is trying to blow the bridge. Who the hell are you? Hello. You trying to blow Hello. the bridge up or something, huh? No, I'm planning up. I'm planning a big train robbery. Oh, nice. Oh. oh, it's Good you. you. It's you me. The guy that came in a horn saying you wanted to be the big and the best. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah, I remember you, you little shite bag. Well, I robbed a bank yesterday, so jokes Holy on you. Holy shit! Did you now? So did Very I. Nice. Hmm? I, I did as well. Oh, nice. Let me ride with you for a minute. That's I got Blackwater and I, I played robbery. rock, paper, scissors to get away. Wait, can I have his gun? No, it's a cattleman. No. Yeah, but it's a gold cattleman. I could yeah. use it as a fishing lure. Become famous by robbing trains. He's trying to rob a train. Is there a train on the track? Is there? Uh, no. Well, there will be at some point. And All right. my plan is to get it trapped on the tracks and then rob it. Yeah, that's usually. 
make an escape by boat down below. Like by yourself? Wait a minute. Wait, wait. M no, not by myself. Wait a minute. You plan on escaping via boat down the? Are you gonna jump off the bridge into the boat? No, I found a very sneaky path down the other side. Okay. There's the boat place down there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I thought he was gonna just leap that off and hope for the best. Plan, the leap off? Yeah, the leap. If you land it right, I'm sure it'll work out. You yeah, could try you it. Die. Uh, Give it a go. Nah. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Good luck. Bye. See ya. I think if there's a train, we should rob it first. Yeah, can we can we set up a train robbery right in front of that bridge? So right that, in the tunnel. Right in front of him. Yeah, we'll do it at the tunnel. Actually, no, we should do it right in front of him. Say, hey, pal, first rule of criminology. Don't fucking tell anybody your plan. Right. They're going to steal it. We'll, we'll board the train the before, and then right when the train's about to get to there, we'll tell them to stop. I just think it would be funny if the train shows up and... We have no interaction with him whatsoever, and there's just nothing on the train for him. He's like, "What happened?" And that maybe was I'll my never train. Know. How dare you? Imagine taking him hostage for the train job. That would be pretty funny. Can't hate the hate the plan. I just I, I, I every time I try to plan a, a train job somewhere, the train never goes that right way. Right now, we're the train. Choo choo. Here. Oh my eyes. You know what would Thank be funny? <laughs> yes. Is if we just sit on top of the mountain, we wait for people to start riding, and we'll blow the train whistle as they start riding through the tunnel. Oh, maybe yeah, maybe they think it's a train in there. <coughs> right. You have too much free time, Zip. Oh, bye, Pete. He got off. You act as if we don't sit in Van's horde for a I few hours you? just bullshitting. I don't know what you're talking about. Have you ever slept naked in the woods? You've been hanging out with Dakota too much. No, I, I did this a lot, a lot before Dakota, with the mushrooms, which we Wait, still have to do, by the way. He likes to be naked? In the woods. Oh, right, yes, he was talking about that. Wasn't he? You and I could get naked and go do mushrooms in the forest, Scout. Oh, I'm not going to get naked with you, Zip. Okay, you can wear a little towel. A little leaf. <laughs> a little leaf. <laughs> they call it soul fucking. Adam and Steve. Because you both be boys. Adam and Steve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, would you buy my forbidden fruit, Scout? Yeah, would you eat an apple with zip? I think you two need to get your shit together. <laughs> and write it down in a book? Huh? He said we need to get our shit together. And I said, yeah, and then write it down in a book. I think it's more of a mental thing that he means by get our shit together, not like a rule set. I, uh, well, my shit is together. I don't, also don't think he's talking about the feces. No, 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 I didn't mean that either. You can't tell me your shit's together and call your head an egg. I listen, sometimes you crack your egg, okay? Not since I was past the age of seven. Does that mean I could beat her egg? Don't beat my egg. It's already been scrambled today, okay?
parts. You just ran over that bunny rabbit. You monster. Noted. Oh my god, another buddy rabbit. I got another one. You did, it's a twofer. Okay, let's see if any laws in town before we go busting in. So we bust in anyway, show who's boss. Two horses. I remember when I had binoculars. Just two. There's a few had telegrams, but a couple yeah, look like locals. The yeah. the the there's somebody at the sheriff's office and one with the cover game, so. Do we need to check telegrams? Uh, yeah, I do. I'll just grab them. Okay. Well, let's, we can do that. We'll be fine. Oh, it's Beardless McGregor. Don't mess up. Next time what? I'm rock, paper, scissor, and you, and you're not gonna win! Uh, McGregor. No. Oh, shit. Oh, you buying a new horse? Um. You know, for Easter, you didn't have to do that, but I think everyone going home to their families and not bleeding out, I think it was the best call. Okay. Be through. Who's that? I I think he's with you. Oh, Not with okay. me. Yeah, he looks like he's part of your thing. Is it? Is it? Uh, maybe. Mm. Celery. Yes, there's my grandson. Hello. Oh, this is your granddad. Yes, and his grandmother. Do you have celery? Sorry to interrupt. Oh, celery zip. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Alright, come on. Where's he going? I've changed my mind. We do, in fact, want to leave. Oh, because McGregor's here? Yes, that, uh, that lack of beer is fucking mind. scaring us. I'll all come back and I'll meet way. you later for some celery. Alright, that sounds good. I, mean, I, don't know uh, I hope you're finding it somewhere. Fiber is important. Indeed. Celery is yes. regular. Mr. McGregor, I'm sure we'll be seeing you around. Hello, young man. I, I think I'm older than you, laddie. I, I, I guess we have time for celery. Oh, good. You didn't shave yourself. Watch out for the horse. No. Over here. You mean Some... this wasn't a choice? No. Is it better that you haven't stopped committing crimes? I kind of did. The disease of oh, good. And the cross Are you and... doing it now? <laughs> oh, ew, no That's thank you. That's a moment, no. That's a good disease. Just other moment. I don't... Oh, okay. I don't care for cigarettes, but We're I will give them to some. Old, aren't we, McGregor? Oh, celery. Age yes, that's good. That's some good stuff, too. Oh my god, it's so moist. Why don't you take your hat off? I'm going to lower my voice so we can talk about important things. Do you know how hard it is to find celery these days? They don't sell it in general stores anymore. I've had to find several... Yes, I've had to find several dealers who can be my plug for celery. Hmm. I need to get them my sweet, leafy greens. It's so succulent. It is. It is. And sometimes the celery they oh, come up yeah. with is limp. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, okay. Uh, 
we'll discuss the important business of celery yes, we'll talk uh, another day. Later. Send me a telegram. You never write me. Yes. Come on, y'all. Goodbye. Farewell. You sure will. Don't ask questions okay. about the celery, the granddad, nothing. Please. Your granddad is a fucking listen, deputy. Listen, it's not blood. Do you know Grandma Goose? I do. Grandma Goose adopted me. When she died, he took over all of her grandchildren. Interesting. If that's the only thing you have questions about, then I'm happy with that. Yeah, I dare not ask any further, Zip, if I'm being honest. I definitely didn't eat celery off that deputy's hand whenever he'd go to Siska. If that's what you were thinking, you fucking weirdo. Why are you looking at me like that? No reason. granddad that works in the department and since when is it senior dr edison jones senior dr deputy edison jones all right to the rug store. uh it's been about a year maybe two. Oh, wow there's that I'm little here. freak are you talking about me that's right look who's behaved do? himself nice it's, day it's, look at that you you people have got shot what, what people um Whisper and the other one, George, I, Phil. If I, if I amputate your eyeballs, yeah, I think oh, you no. can. Hi, Zipquil. Uh, you leaded them for a day and they got shot? We got. It no, was locals. The oh, fucking okay. locals. Ah, uh, yeah. Amputate the eyes if you need to. I got the George. Good. We'll, we'll come talk about it in a minute. I think we should talk about it now. Who got shot? It was locals. Oh. oh, that's right. He is new around here. It was locals, though. Yeah, Whisper. I think uh, he's. I think he's getting his eyes amputated. His he eyes amputated. Eyes? Well, I gave uh, Fen the okay to amputate his eyes. Okay. I'm gonna wait for Pete to make sure he's actually coming. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's check these tail guys. Ah. Thank you for stepping into your own office. Wait, me? Zip, Pete was calling for you. I don't, I don't know why. Hey, Zip. Yeah. Go down, go down to the dock and see Alice. Wait a minute. We must discuss this. No, 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 no. I feel like uh, he needs to go down to the dock and see Alice. We can discuss this. It can wait five minutes. Okay, we'll we'll discuss it uh, while you're down there, Zip. Um. Yeah, he's a. Sister. Okay, Zip. Go have a conversation with Alice. We're gonna be in here talking about what just happened. Assistant. Probably. Yeah, that's She's probably being too and too fucking nice and got stabbed for. Where's Archie? Archie. Um. Archie came in here. Everett, you're friends with, or Scout, you're friends with Everett, right? Yes. Would he send something like this for April Fool's Day? Holy shit! Huh? Where the hell did you come from? The, the shadows, Pete. I live in the shadows. Hello, Dakota. I don't think Everett would send that as a fucking joke. Excuse Dakota. me. Especially with all the other telegrams I'm getting. I'm sorry, I'm... No, I don't think you would. You should go talk I with don't. Alice then. Right. Here, take take this back. Uh, can I talk to you real quick? Yeah. 
How is your apartment sitting? Or should I say apartment dwelling? Um, lucrative. And then I came out and I spent time with the barman, not barman for a while. I don't think I should fucking talk to Alice, if I'm being honest. Why? Because if this is true and they went and fucking got blood without me... I didn't understand that part. What is it what does it mean? Isaac Alice Quill led is, them. Isaac Quill is dead, according to Pavel. Zoe killed him. Alice and Daza with other Quills hunted and nearly killed Zoe. She may be dead too. And Alice was leading them. It says Alice and Daza with other Quills hunted and nearly killed Zoe. She may be dead too. Of note and probably most important is it seemed Alice was leading the posse of old Quills. In this, they showed up at Benedict while we were here, and she was the one barking orders. Whether that is the case or not, Alice was with them when this happened. Right. That is a problem in of itself. You're goddamn fucking right it's a problem. If this isn't a fucking joke, I... I'm, I... 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 <laughs> I'm going to lose my shit on Alice, Scout. Why don't you take Dakota with you, then? I know, I blame you. I yeah, haven't I done think... anything. I you keep kinda... getting contained. You've rubbed off on me. I don't rub anybody. Dakota, I you really fucking need you. Ones. Dakota, yeah. I really fucking need you. Go with him, I'm Dakota, married. if you could. Hi. No. Oh, okay. Hello? What the hell's going on? I don't know. My cousin's dead. Shit. And apparently everyone decided to go get fucking blood without me. I need you to come out there and talk with me with Alice or else I'm gonna fucking kill her myself. It's going down, Zippy. Uh, do you want to take a minute before you go talk with her? I, 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 it's, I don't see this getting fucking better. If I'm going to be honest. I, I know. Just a minute of your time is all. You want to pace around? You could pace around as much as you'd like, but I don't think immediately walking over to have a conversation based off what I read on this telegram is that good of an idea. Here, come up this way. First of all, I'm sorry. I know that that doesn't mean much. What are you uh, thinking right now? What's going through your head? A lot. Like, I, I, I can't even fucking tell you because I can't focus on one to fucking speak about. Just start ranting. It doesn't have to make sense to me. I'll understand it regardless. Well, one Zoe killed my fucking cousin. And if I would have fucking killed her, this would have never happened. Right. And what are your thoughts on the Alice part of it all? First off, let's start with the beginning. I found out. From someone that wanted... Isaac wanted a fucking kill. Mm -hmm. Second off... Instead of waiting to fucking speak to me in person, they decided to go get blood without me. At the very least, I would like a conversation with Zoe to know what happened. 
Right. Now I'm not going to be able to get to do that. So the last person that may have seen my fucking cousin alive is now dead. Or might be dead. And I didn't get a chance to fucking say anything. And most of all, Alice leading the fucking charge on it instead of fucking waiting to fucking tell me. And then she yeah. sends me telegrams throughout the day saying she needs to talk to me. It's uh, definitely a unfair series of events all of it i know that him dying is one thing but everything that follows after is also very very important i think that one of my biggest fears in life is losing a loved one without actually properly being able to say goodbye or being there with them or even getting closure I think everybody who's what the fuck is close to somebody like that, especially family, deserves it. Dude, my hand is shaking. I knew the meta the whole time. And I'm sorry that you didn't get that. It's not easy when things are ripped away from you like that. Are you feeling angry at Alice? Yeah, I don't. Is it displaced? Am no, I angry I at Isaac being dead and I'm using her, or do I have a reason to be fucking mad at her? Uh, in my opinion, I think that you have. Well, and you're right. I don't think that it's uh. It's not right for her to. Go out there and find Zoe or Lord knows even where Isaac is at the moment. I know that anger gets the better of us as people uh, doing with what we do, but there's a lot of times where you need to set that anger aside to make sure that you're doing the right thing. I'll uh, use this just as an example, but when LJ killed Edwin, uh, LJ sent a telegram to Matt saying to come peel Edwin off of the ground in Strawberry. And instead of going to him and prioritizing Edwin at the time, we all ran out and tried to find LJ as soon as possible to get some sort of vengeance on him, to kill him or to lock him up in the cage downstairs. Because we were upset, and LJ ended up getting shot, and he died. While Wallaby was locked up in Sisica. And Wallaby came out, and Edwin was dead, and LJ was dead, and then all he had to do was just sit with his feelings like that. He didn't have any anybody to take the anger out on, whether that was the correct way to go. Or not, he didn't get answers, he didn't get nothing. What did he People do? Need a, he just moved on. He held resentment 
to LJ still does. Um, he wasn't upset at anybody for acting on it from what I know. I'm sure that it hurt him deep down inside. But it, it's just I wish people slowed down a little bit and didn't let their anger consume them, making foolish choices. And I'm sure that you have a lot of anger inside of you right now, and you don't know where to place it, neither. I just want to know if I'm wrong for placing it on her, because the truth is, when it comes to fucking Isaac being dead, I knew it was fucking coming. I knew it was going to be one of these fucking days the second Everett got out of the system, because Isaac was going to go down there, and I know fucking Everett is a great shot, and I know Everett is a fucking killer. And I don't think Isaac would try as hard as ever it would to stay alive. I broke down already knowing that my cousin was dead the second he wanted that duel and he would not fight for it. I dealt with that fucking grief. Not saying this doesn't fucking hurt or nothing, but... To not be able to get fucking closer from Zoe... Knowing that they fucking killed her? Yeah. I don't think that it would have been the smartest thing to go out and shoot her like they did. But, you know, maybe you could have gotten answers or at least known what the situation was. What the last thing that Isaac said was or how he was feeling, why he did it. You don't get those answers. And I feel like it's the thing that kind of eats away at people over time when they're left without answers. Then let's go get fucking answers. The only thing that I'm going to ask you is if is that you don't harm her in any way. I don't know if you planned on it, but I don't think that it's smart. Are you asking me or is Van Horn asking me? Both. Me as a friend. Making sure that you don't do nothing to get yourself in harm's way. And then Van Horn, because that's just what we do. She's been looking for you. Come on, then. I did, yeah. I said, who sent you the telegram? Does it fucking matter? It does. What happened? After you said that he was going to bed and going home and whatnot, I went west. And I figured that maybe he went to Jonesy. So I went that way and... Um... Isaac's I dead, saw yeah. Zoe's horse dead in the road and and then she and another deputy rode down the hill with Isaac on the back of the other deputy's horse I, I don't remember his name 
and he was hurt, and so it was hurt, and I, I told them that I would help, and I followed Bambi, what's up, brother? the deputy with Isaac. Zoe fell behind because she was hurt, and I waited until she was out of sight to grab Isaac so I could help him. There wasn't anything I could do. He had a punctured lung. His only one. <laughs> there was nothing that I could do. They'd been lying there for a while. She fucking took sex to town first. She took him all the way to Armadillo. She left Isaac there for that long. <laughs> By the time I got to him, it didn't even matter. He was... I took him to the canyon. The Miles King showed up. They escorted me to Blackwater so I could send telegrams to everyone telling them to come there. Them at Cass in Blackwater. They brought him back and then Dawson showed up. And then Sam and Bex. <laughs> When I told them all what happened, Sam left. <laughs> told Gas to go with him, I didn't want him going anywhere alone. <laughs> Daza followed them. <laughs> I told Bex to go see if she could find them a few minutes later, in case they got in trouble. <laughs> they came back at some point with Zoe. She took Isaac to Josie's grave so he could be with him for now. And then we took Zoe somewhere and shot her. Um, I wanted to tell you in person I'm sorry that he sent you a telegram. I'm sorry. I don't want you to find out that way. I know you're mad at me and you have a right to be. Did you prevent him from getting fucking medical hours? No. No, I was helping him. <laughs> His lung was... <laughs> so there, there wasn't anything anyone could have done. There wasn't anything I could do. I don't even... <laughs> that kind of thing. A hundred times, maybe. If he hadn't been lying there so long already, I could have... Maybe I could have saved him, but I... I'm sorry. Who hunted Zoe, Alice? <laughs> Sam left without saying anything. So I, I told Cass to follow him, I didn't want him to get hurt doing something stupid. And then the, the three of them, Daza, Sam, and Cass, came back with Zoe. They went and found her in Blackwater. Who shot down Zoe? I shot her in the leg, and Daza shot her in the arm. And then we took her back to Benedict and left her there.
You didn't think I'd want to be there? Of course. Then why the fuck didn't you guys wait? The telegram says Zoe's probably dead. Which means the last person that saw my fucking cousin alive is dead. The story, everything that fucking happened leading up is all gone. There's no way of me finding out what actually fucking happened. What do you mean? What do I- what- what the fuck do you think I mean, Alice? I got the story from Zoe. Then what the fuck is it? She was with Sax. She was with Sax and they ran into Isaac. <laughs> they were near Jonesy's grave. They were on their way up there. And I guess he was laughing. I don't know that you think that Isaac was saying. <laughs> Said he was laughing. That's what Zoe said. <laughs> Isaac shot Sax. And then Zoe shot Isaac. I'm sorry that we didn't wait. All that was on our minds. Then what do you want me to say? There's a lot of things that we don't get in life, Sip. I say that all the fucking time. It's easy to say for you, Alice, you're the one that got to act on impulse. You're the one that got blood from my fucking cousin. Shouldn't you at least be somewhat grateful for that? Grateful? Something happened. Like no, she just didn't get to rest. You can't. If you killed her, you gave her rest. If I killed her, she, she doesn't get to live the rest of her precious life. Not 
Neither does Isaac. And she doesn't get a fucking hurt for it. You think she didn't hurt? You think she wasn't terrified? I don't fucking know, Alice. I wasn't there. I'm sorry for that. I don't think you are. I don't think you give a shit. You acted on I impulse. And when that. I act on... Yeah. You can't believe Alice, that. what the fuck am I supposed to believe? If Mills fucking died and I said I'll go kill him, you plan the fucking funeral? Is that what I said to you? No, but that's what you left me. That's all I have now. <laughs> Who else can I be angry at? You I took, know, you took me. the chance for me to be angry at the one that pulled that fucking trigger away from me. Everyone's already angry at me, Zip. I don't need you to be angry at me, too. Do you think there's a fucking reason for that? Of course there is. And I am sorry. I, I... Don't say sorry to me anymore. Because I, 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 I it, it's not, it doesn't that. matter. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything, Alice. Sorry doesn't bring back Isaac. Sorry doesn't give me the blood that I fucking deserve to take. Or at least fucking talk to her about. At least understand. I don't get that anymore. I get to fucking sit here and think on my dead fucking cousin and fucking try to move on from what the fuck this is. Do you think I haven't had to do that so many times? Do you think I don't know what it's like? Then you should know better than to take that away from me. I might be putting every fucking ounce of anger I have in my entire body for my entire life built up to this fucking moment out on you, Alice, but I can't take it out on anybody else. Because of you. I'm the punching bag then. You'd think you'd learn. Learn what? What do you want me to learn? To stop giving yourself to be the punching bag and to stop giving other people reason to punch you for it. If you're saying everyone's angry at you, there's a fucking reason. I don't mean that. I don't know what I mean. You are getting the shit end of the stick, but it's not like you fucking held that stick out to get shit on. Because you did. Because if it wasn't you right now and you guys waited a fucking day. All this would be taken out on fucking Zoe, the person that actually pulled the trigger. I, 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 I can't, I can't even... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't know how I leave this fucking dock. What is that supposed to mean? I, I don't know. You're just gonna throw everything away. I, I Alice because of this? I don't I, I don't know what to do. Because I'm the reason Prophet's dead. Let's just add that to the fucking list. I'm the one who sent him with Faith to get help for her. So blame me for that too. Blame me for fucking everything. Blame me for going to war. For continuing it. For dragging all of you through it. I'm sorry. That's the life. And that's the way it's always been. I'm tired of it. I love you, Zip. I loved Isaac, too. I know.
Where is he? Maybe Sarah would know, but I, I don't know. Who was all there that took that blood away from me? <laughs> me, Dazos, Sam, Cass. Do you, Dazos, Sam, and Cass? Yeah. Okay. Alice. What? I need you to listen to every fucking word I say because if I come back, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. You need to leave Van Horn. You need to tell every single one of those people to never fucking speak to me again, never look at me, never even so, fucking approach me, including your fucking self. Don't do this. I can't. I, I'm, Alice, I love you way too much to fucking hurt you, but if I see you again and I'm gonna go fucking stare in the eyes of my dead fucking cousin and know the more and more I fucking realize that I'll never get that fucking closer, the more and more I'm gonna want to take it out on you, Alice. Do not be here when I come back and you tell them never to fucking approach me. I don't care what you have to say to fucking Wallaby, to people in Van Horn, you fucking leave. I'm gonna go see my fucking cousin, Alice. I, I can't see you again. I'm gonna go be with Isaac. Would you like company? Yes. Okay. you like our people to go with if us? they want because if, if i see like a lawman i'm gonna fucking gun them down yeah i think that it would be best if we brought some people okay if that's okay that we yeah just you and i as well it doesn't matter to me get people if they want to come okay april fools yet I guess with Jonesy I don't know if they just left him out in the fucking sun all night out west yeah we gotta make a stop okay just saw a rider on the trains Poor fucking ferrets.
Um, if y'all need any supplies, or like, any... <laughs> yep, good idea. Get what you need, everyone. Say again. Uh, get, get supplies, whatever you need. Yeah, I need some bandages on my fucking horse. Yeah, those horses didn't like, seem to like to, uh, kind of get inside the train out. They want to buy tickets or something, I don't know. Or well, they just want to chomp down on the pipe right now. Horses, please. You all right, Zip? No. We'll talk about it. Turn this down so I don't pick a cog in it. Yeah, or later. If... Unless he was asking specifically for Wallaby. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, he's coming. Let's just be extra careful while we're out. We don't want to yeah. get caught. Um, just take your. Right if we took a boat from Braithwaite like last time, Zip? Yeah. Okay. I want to tell Sarah. She doesn't know either. All right. Well, uh, stop by. Let's see if she's there. So, if you're wondering, Zip knew Isaac was going to die soon. Because of the duel, because Isaac, how he's been acting. So right now, Zip just feels betrayed by the people that are alive. It's the only ones he can take it out on. Zip might send a telegram to Alice after he's calmed down and said, come to Van Horn or something. Zip knows he stepped out of line with fucking telling her to leave. But, I mean, it's taken everything in Zip's power not to kill Alice. And it's not even because Van Horn, it's just... Everything. It's Van Horn, it's fucking... Alice, it's Mills, it's... All of it. Nah, I think we're good. It's the only way he could see him not hurting Alice is if he doesn't see her. Do you want to avoid Sandini? Um, let's pass by. Could go, go the track swamps. Right? You got because I, if I see law, I'm just fucking shooting them in the head. Alright, we'll go through the swamps. We'll go around. Where, uh. Where is Isaac located? Do you know? All the way west. Alright.
And it's fine because she taught him that life. <coughs> it's heartbreaking that they couldn't fucking wait, man. It's fucked up. Zip is the most irrational person that they know. And there's no fucking chance he's not. And they didn't even give him a chance to interact with the person that did it. And then Zip, okay, there's another layer here. Zip hates finding out information through telegrams when it should have been told to his face. And I understand Ferret's probably gonna get on and she was probably doing with IRL shit. But it's like the telegram he got was from his, it, the fucking person that Isaac wanted to kill. Like all of that, we have to factor all of it in. Even, unfortunately, if there's OOC issues why Ferret's gonna get on or whatever. But that all plays a factor in the story. And we're gonna go off of it. Ferret's knows it's all love. Just gonna tell her if she wants to see him and say goodbye to come with us. I'll tell her to leave her guns in her house. I get 100% see Wallaby being fucking pissed that Zip told Alice that. And he'll find out because Zip will tell. Zip's gonna tell Scout, like, I, I fucked up. He's already hurt. Please don't hurt him anymore. Who? Oh.
Oh. Sex. I, I don't know what happened, I just know it was him, Zoe, and Isaac. He hasn't woken up. Isaac's dead. What? Something happened between Sax, him, and fucking Zoe. I guess Sax said something and Isaac drew. Zoe was doing her job. I asked Alice last night to tell me where he was and how he was. Well, I found out from Everett, of all fucking people. What's wrong with sex? Uh, he got shot in the in the lung, in his rib, in his uh side. And he he hit his head. I don't know. Seems like he fell from a really big fall. It was a really fucked up world. Isaac gets shot in the lung and he dies. I'm sorry. There's a fucking thousand things I could say to you, Sarah. Some things I said to you before. But today's not a day for that. I don't know if there will be a day for that. I didn't come here to say those fucking words. Came here to ask if you want to come with us to see him. We're taking a boat. Okay, get dressed. I do. That's why I'm here. Okay.
Dude, I want to telegram Millie and be like, go to Braithwaite Manor, grab a pillow, and I need you to make sure that man's not breathing in that bed when Seraphina gets back. Part of me wants to send that fucking telegram so bad. All right. We're taking Sarah with us. Okay, where is she? She's in there. Yeah. We can take her in that damn way. We're taking a boat to Thieves. Oh, that's right, we are. We're supposed to go down to the dock. Sarah, leave all your guns here. In case the law come up, you can just walk away. They don't see anything that gets them jumpy. Whenever this all happened, Alice found him with a gunshot to his lung. Deputy said that she took him. That's why I told Sorry, Pete. That's all right. He sure did. He was telling me all about it on the walk here. All right. What, you're a horse? What's your problem, huh? Where do I begin? What are you eating? No, your fucking business. What are you eating, Scale? Food. Uh huh. What kind of food? Like a snack? Oh, it sounded like he got like a bag. What is with you there? fucking women wanting to know every specific damn thing that goes into my mouth? <laughs> Trying to figure out your diet. So far, it's pizza. What? You wouldn't be able to. There's a chance so he's I gonna die. Know. Do you know that? No, no, I don't know that. I saw her, uh, yeah, I saw her briefly last night and she was in pretty bad shape. Uh -huh. But she, when I left her, she was fine. Yeah, yeah. She, uh, Finally, tell me all about you. Oh, I think I some stuff you. happened before Whatever happened with Isaac happened, I don't know, I think she was hurt a couple times yesterday. Sorry, I'm not copying you, I'm just trying not to fall off the boat. If Zoe dies, there's only one other person that was there. Sarah, I want to talk to Sax if he wakes up. I'm sure he I'm sure he'd talk to you. I don't even know what happened. I just figured, you know Isaac was angry and Sex said something to piss him off and that's what kicked it all off, that's what I assume. You've gotten friendly with the department, correct? I've made some, some friends, but a lot of them still don't like me. If we come across law between here and Isaac, you need to do your best to talk to them, because I will fucking kill them all. I'll tell them that we're going to see Isaac's body. And please just let us be. 
I don't give a fuck what you have to say. You just convince them to ride off. Okay. I will. Good statement. I would like to be with him. Last night? Yeah. So would I. I saw him. I saw him pass the manor. Today. And. He didn't stop because my horse was out front, but I chased him and I tried to catch up with him, but I couldn't. He was headed out west. Maybe if I would have caught up with him and talked with him for a little bit, none of this would have happened. And the last thing I want to fucking do is sit here and comfort you. Because I'm, I, I, I'm going to be fucking real with you. It is so hard not to blame you for part of this. It's my fault, it is. It's... Stop. Isaac was fucking done. He was done fucking fighting. It may have your, been your fault, but... He's had time to get the fuck over it. The last thing you need to be doing right now is to blame yourself. I told him that even if he died to a duel with Everett, I would always blame myself. Do that tomorrow. Today, spend time with him. I'm gonna fight back every fucking impulse I have to do the same. But the only reason why we stopped there before going is... For some fucked up reason, those two months meant more to him than anybody else. And as much as I wanted to fucking kill you and kill Sax... I'm not doing that to Isaac. Last time I spoke to him, we were getting along. He was laughing and smiling. And and I told him it was nice to see him. And he said it was nice to see me too. And then we saw an alligator in the swamp and laughed about it. We laughed about how silly the names he was naming his new guns were. What do you name his new guns? He named one of them Shadow, and I can't remember. Oh my god. Prophet's Revenge, which we didn't laugh at, obviously, but there was another one I can't remember. I told him how emotional those names sounded. And he laughed. He named the gun Shadow? Yeah, he did. You can have it. <laughs> no, I don't deserve any of his things. I don't want it.
The deputy told me that Alice took him. Why wouldn't she just let him take him to the doctor? I don't know. I, 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 I don't know if it would have helped, but I don't know. The last time I was part of something that took someone away from a doctor, he fucking died. The first time Isaac ever got shot with me, he was shot in the neck. And I knew that if you moved him, he would have died. This is better than dead. I don't think so. Holy shit, we came so much time. Uh, we yeah. We're good. The current is really fucking shit here, by the Yeah, way. it started to get really fucking strong. I realized that. To My bad. Out. Yeah, there he is. Getting out of the uh, stable. Yeah. It, it, unless a doctor tells Zip like we could have saved his life if Allison had taken her, it, it, that it, it it it's it's kind of a mute point. Like Zip trusts Alice in medical. Every time someone's hurt that he cares for, he goes to Alice. So it'd be weird to contradict that, like. I think Bonnie would be the only one that Zip would trust with like that, but that's diff that's not even a lung injury. Astrid actually is someone that Zip would trust too. So where are we going, Zip? Astrid saved Pip's life. See a Coronado. I wasn't kidding when I said all the way west. Yeah. You think it'd be better if we took a wagon? Ah. Uh. No, I think we keep, I think we stick on the horses for now. Okay. Might need to take a wagon. I think everyone's relogging. Or oh, the server's dying. Give me a minute. Okay. Do you want to ride my horse? What? Would you like to ride Isaac's horse? Sure. Is it the ugly one? No. <laughs> yeah, Astrid. Astrid, uh, the, I think how zip met astrid was the dicenzo during the dicenzo war pip got I, I think everyone's having an issue right now okay I think so, yeah. I'll be right back. I'm going to take a leak.
not to fall in love with no one. <laughs> and that's sad. No, it's not sad, it's smart. There's a person right. down by the tree, just by the lake. As it came in this horse, it looks... His name is Apollo, but he said it looks just like his other horse. Achilles. How am I hurting you? Because I left for so long with two songs playing? Sorry, okay? Oh, they're not all falling yet, Zip. Well, the wolves. I'm sorry for my sore throat, by the way. Good. For what? My sore throat. Everyone okay? Yeah, yeah, we're all good. And you don't have to find us for that. They don't know how to use routes that aren't fucking roads. We need depressing songs. Oh, that's a cliff. What the fuck? Careful, careful, careful. No, it's foggy, Zip, but goddamn. I'm emotional. That's good speed there. I <laughs> got both of them. Turn the music up. Strike. My horse was out of turning the moon and marching. <laughs>
Yeah, saw that. Things are. The heat is getting to me here. Yeah, she was dressed for the weather. Everything's bad. Can't even no sleeves. What are they seeing right now? Zip. Yeah. Uh, I think bad things are happening. Oh, never mind. I'm seeing things as well. I was seeing none of you used to the West. Are they seeing something? Someone riding there real quick is. down there. That's the guy that was following us, wasn't it? Seems like him. He was following us for a while and then he stopped and he went around. what they were seeing. The ghost of Isaac. Decaying, rotting Isaac. He's gonna look like a sun chip. I'm not a deputy, I'm just having fun. <laughs> what the hell am I seeing triple? that have invaded our western. Oh. Yeah. The gold They're all wearing the same thing. The what the fuck are you all doing? Why We're getting ready to take on the hoopers. Oh. We're the golds, and we gotta fight the hoopers. I see. I need to talk with you all. What the fuck? So those that don't watch West Point of Views, there you go. It's a pretty regular thing here. You may have heard of the Clone Wars. Sure, buddy. After all that, I piss out of my mind. Sure, glad you got to me first. Jeez. 
got an awful telegram from Alice. Are you handing me something? I was trying to, but it's... Hand it to me up there. Yes. Or just read it to me. I asked how Isaac was, yes, and he, he, she said, he's dead, your new boyfriend and Zoe Winters killed him. I'm glad that's not how I found out. Oh my god. Nope. Get on, for fuck's sake. <laughs> she isn't. But... If there's a time to not hate Sarah, it's the day Isaac died. Oh, Riders at the head. Howdy. Howdy. I'll have to take a nap wherever we go. What? Are they talking? Yeah, I don't know. Looks like it. Howdy. Howdy. Howdy there, folks. Can I help y'all? No, you're the fuckers that stop. Yeah, what? we thought you were interested in talking to us or something. Uh, oh no, we just oh, were no, saying no. hello as you passed. I, uh, oh, okay. I see. All right. Yep. 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 Well, hello. Hello to you. Goodbye. Have a good day. Take care. I can't even argue with him. Yeah, that game to a full stop and turned around. I don't even think Wicked's gonna be there. Because I'm pretty sure he has work tomorrow. He might have tomorrow off, I don't know. That whole fuck the West. Exhibit um, 3D. Pencil that in. Right, but I don't know if he has work tomorrow, this thing. If he doesn't have work tomorrow, he might be awake. But if he has work tomorrow, then he's probably asleep. Because I know he wakes up at 5 a.m. about where he wants to be buried, right? Yeah, I do. There used to be uh, a tree near Menteca Falls, but I think he changed his mind he to did. a missile spot. 
across from Jonesy so we could be close. And that's where we're moving him. Maybe his body didn't get fucking picked apart by vultures. Did they leave him on top of a mountain? They left him on Jonesy's rock. Why? Don't ask me. Well, I'm assuming it's Jonesy's rock. Unless they knew about the spot. I know, I, I know. Who was it that told Zip this is where Isaac wants to be buried? And then we went up to Isaac and we said, you can't have this spot. I'm taking this spot. Who was that? Ooh, there is a tent there. You're right. That's the spot where he wants to be buried. Thank God. Oh my god, he looks even worse in death. His eyes are fucking rolled back. This looks too real. I'm not gonna... I was gonna check his pulse for fucking... <laughs> and Sarah would be like, what the fuck are you doing? April Fool. Wicked's killing the dead RP. I don't even know what to say. I don't know what that does, but... Yes, it depends on if you think he can hear you. I don't think so. They put a sheet over him, so at least it's something. It would smell like shit, but I feel like in this time, people were used to that sort of thing. 
especially outlaws and criminals. I think they'd be so used to death that it wouldn't like affect. I'm sorry, I. I remember sitting right here when he found that spot across from us. He was so excited and I was standing here and I was looking at him through binoculars. It was with Sam. And we were watching him running around on that mountain. He'd just been shot, and I asked him not to run around because he was gonna pull out his stitches. And then we watched the sunrise and the sunset, and he said, This is a good spot. I want to be buried here. So I can be close to Jonesy. I knew this day was coming, I just didn't think this soon. You know what I said to him last night when he left Van Horn? What did you say? Don't let Locke kill you. I always told him that I wanted to die first so I didn't have to be sad. That's why I gave him my kidney, because I wanted him to live longer.
I know you don't want to hear this, Sarah, but I wish I would have killed Sax. Even if it was two more weeks until Everett. Why are you telling me that? I'm not telling you that. I'm telling him. If he can hear me. I don't know what else to tell him. I don't know what to say. Welcome, guys. Thank you for the raid. I just read your message as I was saying thank you. Isaac was the first person who ever loved me, truly. And I know things ended badly, but the last time I saw him, he was, like I said, smiling and laughing with me. I never met for any of this to happen. the fuck bro I'm trying to click the right fucking one asshole
I think I just had to click. Jesus Christ, finally. Oh my god. You want to move him to a spot? Yeah, but we can. Are we going to leave him there or are we going to bury him? We'll bury him. We blow ours up. But do everything. He loved you. So you choose. Because I feel like he'd want you to choose. I loved him. Uh, he has a will. Where is it? in any of his pockets. Is he not KO'd? Uh, I think we should take him to Tumbleweed and... I don't know. Show him to the stable master and the hotel owner and see if we can find his will. I think it's important. You're gonna have to help because I can't carry him myself. Dakota. I don't know, she walked off behind. Are you gonna walk? Uh, yeah. No, I meant to come away. Oh, I'm sure I can get on somebody's <laughs>
Have a good night, Davey. Thank you, brother. Just waiting on Skip. Okay. I'm just gonna go up a little bit. Nah. I'm just gonna go up here. There you go. There you go. You're good. You're sitting in your set just like uh, you should be.
You, uh, you need some help? It's that fucking guy again, Archie. Our rider's coming in behind us. Get this shit. Sarah. Uh -huh. I think she might be struggling in the moment. I don't know who these folk are. It's uh, the people we met with earlier. I don't know what to do. I don't know if Tank knows this better than I do. Smart. My my, look at this fancy gold. <laughs> oh lord, it uh, in the tie anyways. Did Froggy start been... giving you money yet? Good lord. Oh no. Yeah. How you been? It's been a I'm while. going back and I'm gonna take a piss. I don't think you're allowed to revive them. I don't know how it works. Out of there, folks. Pardon me. Yeah, I think she wants to will, but I don't know. I don't know. This is weird. You can revive to access stuff, of course. Okay. So I could just, like, dig through his pockets, right? Like, slash me, start digging through pockets. Yeah, I'll just wait for Sarah to do it, and we could just go get drunk. Here, what now? But her internet might have cut out. I I just I, it feels weird. Yeah, what if he doesn't have cash on him? What if we have to give him rent money? I'm waiting for Sarah because I think Sarah being seen with him. I, I don't know what to do. What do you mean? Sarah says he has a will. So she's trying to talk to the hotel manager. To gotcha. get access to his room. Just uh, give it a give it a few minutes. Okay. We even okay, we have one bag. Should I just dig through his pockets and see if he has something to give to the hotel or should I wait for Sarah? Um, you could. But uh yeah, I mean you could try, but I think ultimately we might have to wait for her. 
Okay. I mean, if anything, we can leave him at the uh, morgue here. Yeah. Yeah. If she if she's struggling, you know, you don't gonna have to do it right now. Yeah, I think it'll be better if we just do it off stream. Leave him at one of the tents. Oh my god. She's on the porch. Okay. I'm gonna go get a drink. Yeah. That works. I know, Pete, I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know how to handle that. It stresses me the fuck out. It's also hard to plan permos. So it makes like really shitty things. I think it would be a fucking really cool idea. I don't know if people have suggested this. They had to have. There has to be a reason why they don't do it, but to howdy. have like. Howdy. To have like a staff rule, because I'm pretty sure staff can just access that shit. Like certain staff levels. And just have like a staff character play a morgue, like a morch, a, a fucking, a person, a dead guy person, mortician, that like hands all this shit over. You, you can't go through people's pockets, only deputies can, but that's not even it, it's like the hotel room stuff, cause like... I mean, I'm sure Tank doesn't mind, but it's still kind of... When you're getting into, like, character and shit, it's still awkward seeing that person standing around, moving around. But a lot, like... How many permas have there been? So it's, like, one of those things where you could probably just schedule it and then... Do it. But staff does so much for this fucking server, I could see why it's like adding another thing to the list of already fucking crazy things they do. I know that there's great. I I'm not worried about like uh, repercussions. It's just awkward. It's like awkward to do. It's not about repercussions or anything like that. I'm not. That's not what I'm worried about. It'd just be a lot more immersive if there was, like, a mortician that handled that sort of thing. Because, I mean, how long would it really take for that? Maybe, like, 20, 30 minutes? And I'm sure, like I said, I don't think Tank Girl minds. I don't think, I don't think a lot of people mind doing it. It's just... Well, they have that mechanic to get the uh, guns off you in a jail cell, so when they pick you up, you can't stand up and shoot them down. There's a reason why Law has that mechanic and we don't. Right. Like, I'm trying to think how time-consuming it would be to do that. To be that role as like, okay, you have this dead person. Uh, they would obviously set it up with the bot, the best time to do it with the people on the will. I, I don't even think it would need to be for funerals because there's already in character things to like, okay, log in, we're doing the funeral type thing. And 
it, it's more so for like I'm trying to think if I remember a perma where uh everything was already on them. I'm sure it's a thing. Executions are good for that. I know, I know chat has opinions, but I'm going to say this real quick before we continue on the music. If it's, if it's something that the staff deemed inappropriate for RP, they probably reached out to the people and they're probably working on it getting fixed. I understand everyone has their opinions and stuff like that, but you never know who's been talked to. You never know who's been you know, questioned about it, so you don't know if they have been dealt or been talked to about it and they stopped doing it. We could talk about the past all we want, but no one knows what happens behind the scenes. going through your head a lot yeah but I figured honestly, the same time nothing I fucked up how so I told Alice to leave to leave where Van Horn I don't think you fucked up. I didn't want to fucking kill her, Scout. And if I go back there after all this, I, I, I literally don't know what I'm going to do. We may have to bide our time until Wallaby shows back up. So you can speak with him. But between you and me, it should be the final straw. Alice is selfish. Uh oh. This is not her first time uh -oh. fucking something up for her own selfish desires. Uh oh. And it won't be the last so long as she's allowed to stay. What did we do? You care about her, you don't want to kill her. That's not the place for her to be. You're allowed to be angry, Zip. Mm. 
Now it's not your decision to make, you're right, telling her to stay or go. <laughs> However, I think Wallaby will understand it given the circumstances. He'd rather you send her away than fucking kill her. I'm sorry about your cousin, Zip. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys riding out with me to do this. None of you had to do this. If she's there in Van Horn, I recommend you stay clear. You don't want to do something that you regret. Whether that's for yourself or for others. I can't pretend to say I knew Isaac well, because I didn't. <coughs> but every time he was around, he'd be looking for you and talking about you. So on and so forth. I'd imagine you were very close. I know it hurts, but... Well, it hurts. I was very curious on what the butt was going to be if I was being honest. What the boat's going to be? No, you said I know it hurts, but I was curious if you were going to say get the fuck over it or something. No. I've lost people too, so I know it fucking sucks, but you can channel that anger that I'm sure you have, whoever it is towards, into something good. Good for me or good for Van Horn? Both. But what I'm worried about right here in this moment is you, Zip, not Van Horn. You know where you want to bury him. Yeah. You point to me where my anger should go and I'll, I'll fucking deliver. I'll have plenty of time for that. Right now we should focus on him. We will. You should speak to Wallaby about how you feel. He'll be able to help.
Okay. Whatever happens, Zip. You're with us now. And with that, that means they got your back. So you tell me what you need here and now with Isaac, and we'll make it happen. I don't need anything right now. Honestly, I fucking hate this so much, and I hate these words coming out of my mouth, but this is... This is for Serafina. I may wake up tomorrow wanting to fucking kill her, but today, Isaac loved one person more than all. It was her. I'm not going to be selfish. I'm not going to do what Alice did, or Daza, or anyone there. I'm not going to think about me, what's best for me. For once in my life. I'm gonna give Isaac what he wants, and that's the person that he loves being whatever she can be today. I bet he'd thank you for that if he was here. I bet it'd be the first time he meant it. thing about the dead is they never really leave us. Doesn't really matter what you believe in. They're always around. So just know that even though you've lost Isaac, he's not gone. You have his memories. Hope you fucking prick. I'll leave you to it. If you need anything, you let me know. Yeah? Will do. Same goes for you and everyone else. I know today's not the day to say that, but... I think I'm you have... You proven that more than you already ever could. It doesn't go unnoticed, Zip. We ready to go? Yeah, I went through all of his things I found. Mm -hmm. You take the reins. Okay, um... His last ride deserves to be with you. I don't want those on me. I don't want his money. Should be with you.
He's so rude. This okay. here is the Prince of Horses. That's literally what I named him. What do we buy shovels? No, thank God. We're going to go out this way. And lead the way. Okay, that, that makes sense. He, he just creeped up high to me on the road. It's this way.
Pick a spot, Sarah. I think, um, maybe up here. Maybe the furthest you can go so you can see the sea of Renato. This should be loose enough to bury him here. Yeah, right here. Maybe. What do you... Um... What? Would you like to... Would you like to read this? I think it would be better... If you read it. I mean, there's stuff in here for everybody. But there's a... At the last page, there's something nice. That maybe you'd like to read out loud. This motherfucker. Oh my god. All the people that were fucking there last night, you fucking... I think she wants me to read the last page out loud. Is it the goodbye you think I should read out loud? Yeah, I think it would be nice. Dude, this is gonna fuck me up. Goodbye. I guess that is it. I wish I could be there with you all to enjoy life for a little while longer, but I am sure Jonesy and my dad has got me a whiskey. I do not want to keep them waiting. I will wait you all to come meet me on the other side of the saloon doors. I know that in the event of my death, however it may happen, I was once told vengeance is for the living, not the dead. So I'll not say otherwise. However, should you go, all go down that path. I ask only that you keep each other safe. A lot has changed since I started this. I will, but I do not want to change a thing. It was my honest feelings at the time. Just know that all of it remains true. 
I gotta get going. See you on the other side, your friend and brother Isaac. This motherfucker. I don't know if I should read this out loud, should I? I'm gonna read something he left for the Quill Gang as well. Yeah. Should have bought a bigger book. I'm sorry to cram the entire gang in here, but I know every single one of you mean the world to me and more. Including the names I already mentioned, however, for those I haven't, Indy, Rowan, Barton. You guys deserve so much, even though we gone through hard times, it does not change how I feel about you all. If anything, those times truly tested and we prevailed. You are our legacy. You are Quills. I just hope I've done right by you all. And wherever you are, or whatever you are doing, I hope you are thriving. I want you all to have whatever you, I have left to offer. Money, gems, horses, and guns that are not already promised to someone else. I hope, I hope it helps you all in your pursuit of whatever goals you are reaching for. Just know that everyone I mentioned in my will would look out for you all just as much as they have for me. Please come by and say hello once in a while. The thought of you all stopping by just like we do with Jonesy gives me a solace, even though writing this will is somber. It. It's good to know I was able to say goodbye one last time. Remember the will of the quill will never die. Fuck you, wicked. You fucking asshole. Last thing I'm gonna read is something he wrote for me. Hello, cousin. If you are reading this and you somehow outlived me, then we know the world is truly fucked. Just messing with you. But I don't think we say this enough to each other, but in a way, I feel we don't have to. But since I am God, I might as well get one last chance to do so. You taught me everything I know. I don't think I would have made it this far without you. We've been through a lot of shit together and through everything we pull through each time. We are cousins, but I've always considered us brothers. Sure, sometimes we knocked heads, but in the end we would do anything it took, including our very lives, just to look out for one another. That is something no one can ever take away from us. Just remember one thing. You always have people who need you, but always consider your family before anything else. Watch your kids grow. Don't lose that chance with them, no matter how much you think is necessary. The only thing that matters is who you have left. I do have one thing to ask, and that is to look out for Sarah. She means everything to me. I wouldn't move mountains for her, and I know you would do the same just because you know how much I care for her. Please take my revolver named Relentless. I think that is fitting because that is something you will always be if anyone stands in your way. I love you, brother. Isaac. I love you too, Isaac.
We don't talk about that, okay? No one heard that? Shut up. I forgive you. We all have something we could blame ourselves for. Isaac made his choice, as did you. I know. Is this where you throw me off the cliff? Don't give me ideas, Sarah. You ready? Yeah, I am. See you tomorrow, brother. We're going to head back to Braithwaite and then to Van Horn. Okay. If you want to come with us, you can.
Yeah, it's Barton. We're gonna telegram everybody. We're gonna have a Quill Gang funeral where we're gonna like read the book and stuff. It was weird reading the Quill Gang thing without Quill Gang, but that was for more Isaac and Sarah. I reckon I should stay behind a little bit. We're not in a big ass group. Sarah's unarmed. Okay. Hey, just to not make people concerned, why don't you leave Isaac's horse here with them for a bit? We'll have a stable boy pick him up, hop on my horse. I'm pretty sure this is where he died. Which is crazy. That's so fucked up. <coughs> Wicked, buddy. That book, I want to read it more, but you did a very good job writing that book. I, I found a few other things in his room. I, they're all on my wagon. I, I'll just have to go through and see where, who he left what to, and I'll make sure they get to everyone. Don't rush it. This... I'm just letting you know because I don't want people to think that I'm keeping things from them because I'm not. GG, thank you for gifting the sub. You need to find Daza and Sam and Bex because I'm not talking to them. Hey, I'll reach out. Thank you. The thing he left for Alice and all that. I know you don't want to see her as much as I don't. So give it to Daza. Okay. I think we're gonna take the boat back from Thieves to Braithwaite. Is everyone okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. Mm
The VOD will be up when we end stream. I, I know, I'm sorry. It's just so we can have uh, music playing and stuff like that. If you're alive when I die, I want to be with Isaac. Okay. All right. Do you want to be blown up? Let Andy decide that. Okay. I have a feeling what do they do to Sarah is going to be a point of conflict. What do you mean? <clears throat> oh, you mean Quill Gang? Quill Gang? I don't know. Zip can ask them not to, but if they decide to go do something to Sarah, then they're going against... If if Zip, like one of the most unreasonable people, could forgive Sarah after reading the book, like, and they can't, then they need a fucking... I don't know, but Zip was able to read the book, and Zip is in a very fragile state. Hurting Sax would hurt Sarah. It's like a weird thing, right? Because <clears throat> Sax is the ultimate reason why Isaac died. Well, Isaac pulling his gun on Sax. But Isaac had a reason because Isaac the entire time was not hurting Sax because of Sarah. I grabbed a few of his hats from his room. <laughs> I don't know if it would look as good as on you as it did him, but maybe you can wear it sometimes. If I'm being honest, I fucking hated his hats. <laughs> All right, I'll keep them then. I'll have Isaac everywhere I go. I won't need his hat. Wait, 
I already listened to this. Hold on. Isaac mine just finally broke and he went after Sax who he was protecting from everyone else. Right. Bro, chat pointed out earlier that Zip said don't get killed by fucking law as you ride out of Van Horn last night. I, like, okay, as much as, yeah, it was deputies, te it was deputy characters. It's very hard to say Isaac was killed by law because of the the history with Zoe and Isaac and Zip and the story with Sax and Sarah and Isaac. It's like he didn't die from deputies. He died from Zoe's passion and anger and everything that Isaac and Zip have done to Zoe or <laughs> Zip and Isaac helping. Barton? That's what I thought. What? Yeah, I know. He looks like shit now. Uh, Sarah just said you're looking better than... Yeah, I'm not lying. You do look like shit, but it's fine. I just didn't recognize him as all. But, um... I just like... got a chance to go to the barber if I got out of CCP. It's really hard to, like, say Law killed Isaac. It's such a... I don't feel like Law killed Please Isaac. Me. Meta it. Dude, that's something that I'm never gonna know. Actually, Alice, I don't know. Are we uh, not going to sleep? Oh shit, that was the plan, huh? Yeah, that's I got well. you both. Yeah. I was wondering where you were going. I was just riding. My mind's kind of not in the most focused state. I understand that. It's all right. Yeah, I, I, we might find out from Zoe. I don't know if Alice was the last one to... Sp like, I don't know if Alice talked to Isaac. Because the way she made it sound was that he was dead. Like, his lung was fucked. He was gone. She couldn't do anything. She never brought up, like, I was the last one he talked to or anything. I think the boat's gone. Who stole our boat? Somebody stole our boat. Some... Someone thieved our boat from Thieves Landing. Yeah, 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 don't, yeah, don't matter then. Uh, there's already a boat here. We just gonna take that one. It's probably our boat, to be it honest. It probably uh, is our boat. It probably floated, yeah. I mean, someone probably just moved it to the dock. Wait, 
jumped over the bow. I'm scared of this boat. It doesn't sink it now. Uh, I've only fuck? sank eleven boats. We should have taken his leg. If only we had a, a, a doctor that could have switched him. I think it would be... We would have to do it like in his final moments. Because... It's probably been a solid 16 hours since he died. Sitting on top of a rock. In the desert. Just use Isaac as a pick apart. We have to do Celine. No, I think I'm supposed to stay on the right side. No, 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 you're not. Oh, you guys can't hear it. I'm sorry. You're missing Celine. How could I? You want me to steer the boat? Yes. I fucking hate this. And somebody's coughing a lot. Get it, cause he's burnt.
feel like everybody's holding their breath on this hope. I've accepted that if it sinks, uh, it was bound to happen, and that's safe for me. So. I'm more holding my eyes than my breath. Can't do both at the same time. Put like a some. I've got matchsticks. Yeah, that as well. That was an interesting boat ride. I understand. As soon as Sax wakes up, you can talk to him. He hasn't shown any signs of waking up yet. Just telegram me when he does. I will. Telegram Daza. I know you probably don't want to, but it's your best way of him not coming after you, telegram him and say that 
Isaac left something in his will for him. Yeah, I'll let him know. I I don't mind. I know why he's angry and, you know, I accept, I accept everybody's anger. We'll see you tomorrow, Zip. Yep. I'm not going to keep anything from him. Okay. Take care of yourself, Sarah. You too, Zip. we go. Home sweet home. Ain't that bad. Get used to it after a while. I didn't mean it in a bad way. Oh well, when I first moved there, I meant it in a bad way. How you feeling now? I didn't think I'd forgive Sarah. Did you? And I did. I wasn't just saying that. I don't know if you didn't hear me or not. But yeah, I did forgive her. You think it's too much of a risk? So, I want to see a fucking deputy try to arrest me today. See your zip. Howdy. Yeah, it is Henry Klein. I actually just sent you a letter a few minutes ago. Uh, some gems for say if you're interested. Yeah. Do you have them with you? Yeah, I do. Dakota? Mm hmm Did you get the same telegram? I believe so, yes. I'm replying to it. Can you do me a favor? Uh-huh. Can you just put Zip said too long, didn't read? Do I dare ask who that was from? Sands. I'll probably reply to him later. I just want to fuck with him a little bit. Sand. Sheriff? Yeah. About the uh, wanted poster. Hmm. I read that wrong? Was it not Sans? Oh. I saw your flyer for Sheriff. Any bounty on Sheriff Sans? Oh my god. I'm supposed to meet him and Detective in a few days. Dude, my vast number of crimes have committed in Roanoke as the ghost of Roanoke. What? If I could grab him away from this detective oath, I'm gladly bring him to Van Horn if you people want him. Okay, D Dakota, Dakota, where's Dakota? Outside. <laughs> On a horse. God damn it! Okay, D did you say Zip said? Too long, didn't read? No, because I figured that you might have misread it. Okay, um, okay, yeah, okay, okay yeah. Okay, because I also misread it at first. I thought San was sending me an angry okay. telegram. 
So did I. Okay, it wasn't Cyan that sent that telegram. It was someone that's asked. Actually, do you want to fill him in? Uh, we'll tell him on the way back. I don't want to linger around town too long. He's I'm gonna gonna tell buy those gems from that guy. I, well, I don't know how many he has. I'm just gonna tell him to come to Van Horn. Is that okay? Sure. Is it for you talking about? Uh, do me a favor. You know where Van yeah. Horn is? Yeah, sure. Head to Van Horn. We'll, we're right, heading there now. Okay. Oh, he seems alright. It's very nice of him. Okay. Yeah. He helped Millie get some bananas as well. I don't know if that's what Barton was saying, but. but yeah. So, what sand want? Sand didn't want nothing. Sand didn't want nothing. Okay, the way this fella fucking signed it, 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 it just, it made me think that it was Sheriff Science sending a telegram. A, uh, a telegram, some fella was inquiring about the bounty poster for Chevalier, uh, and he was wondering if there was one for Sand as well, but he called uh, it Sand. So, at first read, it read like it was Sand sending a disgruntled telegram. Which I could see Sands doing. Do you want me to give you his telegram? Yes, I, I'm i not kidding. I have pretty much every deputy's telegram that's... Well... The older ones, I guess. None of these last, like, couple months. By every time I stole a deputy's gun because those dumb fucks put their telegram in it, I would fucking write down their little telegram and then fuck with them. And tell them all the crimes I committed with their guns. I used to write love to kid lines. Did you get anything back? Um, I got Ken Lynn telling me to stop writing some love letters on the kid line or else he's gonna get in trouble. You should have kept doing it. You should have done it more. Dude, I cannot believe Isaac is fucking gone. Fuck you, Wicked. Fuck you. You fucking... Cunt. Just a heads up, if we get stopped by lawn, need to get in a firefight, I won't be much help. I have nothing in my pocket besides a couple cigarettes and a couple apples. Why? We'd be able to make it back to the hill before Van Horn, and they usually turn back once you start firing from them there. Um, I think the fact that we just buried Isaac, it, it means he's no dead. To. Pat, it's time to fucking accept mm -hmm. it. It's the first stage of grief, I think. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that sounds about the first thing that you need... Maybe it's AA is the first rule of acceptance. One of, you have to accept that he's dead. And then you have to break a few things. I think that's step two is break stuff. Step three, I think, is get fucked up. Step four... Maybe eat a salad. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what to do with grief, but honestly, uh, accepting sounds like the first one. Tainted, what up, buddy? My day's not over for another three hours. 
It's still April Fool's Day for me. You want me to kill a horse for you, buddy? Do you want to? Do you want me to use the pump action or the elephant rifle? What is Isaac? What is Ghost Isaac telling Zip? Careful. Always. Careful. Always. Careful. I'm not Pete. Okay. That's true. I don't think I've you made any of you fall. Millie's in town. Oh, that's not Millie's horse. Oh, that's Millie's horse. The fucking braids. Do they have you work in the bar? Uh, just watching it. I made some Saint Sinners for you. And some more banana bread while you were Thank out. Thank fucking God. That's the two things. That She's a good you one. Have to, you have to try one of these Saint Sinners. Hey, come here. Did you see the oranges we got you? I did, but I went and got some more. And I went up to Coulter as well. Perfect. How much do you pay her again? I paid her a thousand yesterday. Perfect. Worth every penny. There you go. I know. She's already made more than Archie's made. The entire time he's been here. That's not true. We pay him extremely well. This yeah. is one of the most delicious drinks you'll ever have in your life. Okay, so what do you have in gems? Well, I don't Thank have you. quite a bit, but I got a emerald, a diamond, uh, two sapphires, and a ruby. All cut. You want I'll one? give you 300 for all of them. It's, right, then. it's fair. You said they're all uncut? This is good. You say they're all uncut? Ooh. They're all cut. Okay. Actually, do you have a gem bag? Thank you. you uh, That's amazing. Thank you, Melee. Wait, do you have a gem bag? No, uh, no, I don't. Okay, do me a favor. Run up to Ansberg and grab a gem bag. All right. No, I'll, sure. I'll, I'll pay for the gems or the gem bag. Okay, then. I'll be back. Okay. Shit. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, uh, he said, said fuck you and your gem bag, bitch. He did <laughs> say fuck you and the gem bag, bitch. Yeah, I didn't mean it. I'll be right back. Sorry about yep. that. Yep, yep. Okay, I can't stay up any longer. I wish I could. But I have to okay. go to bed. Zip, if you need anything, let me know. Uh, yeah, well. You're nice, yeah, girl. I'm, I'm sorry as well. I know. Thank you for the gallows. Yeah. And good night, Barton. And Millie and Zip. Can you Cruise, take one uh, of these and give them back? Um, oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, my. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. I made a mistake. Oh, my God. Give my perfectly sliced banana bread. Um, I don't know what's know, in this drink, wait. but... Do you not want this banana bread? No, 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 no. She needs a minute. Oh, gotcha. It's, isn't it delicious, Barton? It is. What the hell is it? All right, hold on. We're going to do some gymnastics here. It's rum and brandy with some ice cubes and oranges. All right, Millie, now you take that. Wait, can you set this on the table? Or is that always there? <gasps> that makes it look so clean. Thank you. I'm putting a book on the floor. No, wait, actually, no, I, I'm not going to put that book on the floor. That was almost, that was dangerous. I almost did something stupid. Just drop. Be funny. Nope, can't. Just Sorry. drop ammo. Yes. You need those back then, I'm assuming. There you go. Yes. Thank you. Um, Dakota? Yeah? How late are you going to be up? 
Wait, is this a trick question? Well, like, were you planning on going to bed right now, or do you have 30 minutes? I have 30 minutes. I have like an hour. I probably have two hours in me as well. I was gonna go to the store and get a coffee. I have an idea. Are you going to electric shock me so that I live longer? Uh, no. Okay. I, today's been a rough day. Yeah, I, I cried. At the funeral? Yeah. I didn't even know you knew Isaac well. I didn't. I just... I got in my head about a lot of things and it started freaking me out and then I started crying. I forgave Sarah. And I think yesterday I wanted to kill her. And I didn't kill people I wanted to kill. While I don't think that she's completely free from fault, I do think that it is... You don't understand. <sighs> Sax was in the bed when I walked in. Oh my god, was he? He was. Oh, I would have started beating the fuck out of him. Do you know how hard it was for me to not tell not Millie? Not saying that it was right, but... I, I almost, and I'm not fucking kidding you, I almost went to the telegrams to telegram Millie to go fucking over there, grab a pillow, and smother him. Jesus Christ. I, I think it would be really fucked up if Sarah left the funeral and found her new one on a bed dying. Yeah. Or dead. But what a fucked up day. What if we do some good old fashioned crumb daddy grandpappy, but we bring Millie along? What do you mean by that? Like going robbing people? Go check the mines. We could go look at the mines. I doubt that there would be something up there, but we said that the night we found Millie. That's a good point. Will you give and me? And I, I think I'm in love with the idea of her being yeah, right. here. Oh, I thought you were gonna say that you were in love with her. Oh, pardon. Sorry. No, I'm married happily. Uh, did you put them in the gem bag? I sure did. All right, how much is the gem bag? Uh, don't worry about it. Okay. All right. There you go. I'm gonna give you a hundred extra. Are you sure about that? I am because I need you to come to me with your business. I uh, would exclusively. That's right. All right, well, it's fine. Perfect. Yeah, well, I appreciate you uh, taking the time. And yeah, uh, hey. you next have some more, eh? I'll bring them to you. Perfect. Come here. All right. This here is Millie. Millie, this here is... Um, hey, Millie. Well, he can introduce himself. Yeah, Howdy. Henry Klein. Nice to meet you, Millie. Nice to meet you. Millie here is my assistant. That's right. So, All right. Uh, if... When you telegram me, telegram her as well. Her telegram is UF105. Okay, uh, give me a moment here. I'm a little slow with that. Uh, say it again, please. A UF105? Right. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Uh -huh. Zip, I'm going to be in the general store for just about 10 minutes. I'm going to go make coffee over there. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I'd I'll aim to have uh, some more coming your way. Uh, I mean, you know how it is. It's the luck of the draw, but once I have some, I'll bring it to you. Perfect. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, I appreciate your business very much. Yep. This is where you'll find us, so as long as you don't bring trouble here, you're more than welcome to stop yeah. in and have a drink. All right, well, yeah, no, I won't bring no trouble. Don't worry about that. All right, well, uh... I must be uh, going, but I appreciate it. And uh, well, I'll stop in and have a drink. All Bring right some again. gems. All right. Thank you again, Henry. All right. Thank take you. care, Zip. And uh, Millie, it's nice to meet you. You as well. Cheers. All right. You have a good one. You too. Come with me. Pardon me. Have a good night. Have a good one, Henry. I need you to do me a favor, Bart. Are you Ooh. wanted? No. All right. Go, um, we need to plan a quill funeral for Isaac. Okay. Can you telegram everyone that you know to go? Okay. I'm going to uh -oh. talk to Millie for a second, but by the time you get back, we should be done. I'll be in my hotel room. Is there Just anyone in, a knock. in 
particular that I shouldn't invite. I don't want Daza there or Alice, but at the same time. You don't want Daza there? I'll explain that when you get back. They went and got blood last night instead of waiting for me. Uh, okay. But I'm not going to take this away from Isaac. So invite them. Just let them know that it's probably best that we don't speak to each other during this. That I'm not going to take it away from Isaac, but just let them know that we're playing something. And um, do me a favor and let Red Lance... Do you have Red Lance's telegram? I don't. You know it by heart? No, I'll, I'll send it. Um, but send like Indy, Rowan, everyone that isn't Daza and Alice, uh, okay. that you have their telegrams, let them know that Isaac's passed. Okay. Uh, I also don't have Beck's telegram. I'll telegram Beck's. Okay. She's already aware. Daza, Beck, Sam... I'm pretty sure they're all aware that Isaac has passed. Okay. Um, I think Rowan should be back in town in a couple of days. All right. She's been away for a few weeks, but this will probably be a few, a few, like uh, probably like at least a week until we could do this. Okay, that should be perfect then. Just right. let them know the news. What's your hotel number? When I get back. Uh, just knock on all the doors. There's right. not that many that you have to knock on. Why the fuck would we kill Millie's husband? It's 3J. How the fuck do you remember that? And I don't. Um... Well, I... We don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, that's the whole reason why I'm pulling you aside. I know what you're probably thinking. Zip, you're an asshole. This is an April Fool's joke, but it's not. It's real. Uh, yeah. Um. Okay. Last night when he left... He approached the man that his ex-wife left him for. And another deputy that me and Isaac have had a lengthy relationship with, you could say. And... She, well, he died. She killed him. Zoe Winters. The deputy I sent you to. Yeah. Oh, shit. We went and buried him tonight. I honestly didn't know that's where we were going and that's what we were doing, but when I got the news, I left. I had to leave. I understand. Are you, well, I, I want to ask if you're okay, but I'm assuming you're not. That's a loaded question because I don't think I'm ever okay. Well, do you have any feelings you want to? Get off your chest, or... That's why Zip isn't having Andy come to Van Horn. Andy could be our long-distance wife. 
I got a lot of it out tonight. All right. Do you have any questions? Uh, I think you've been through enough, so no, I, I don't have any questions. And uh, I'll just, I'm here if you need me. Thank you. Of course. Now, I know you didn't know him long, but you're welcome to be by my side. Not too close, because my wife will fucking slit your throat in a heartbeat. Of course. <laughs> um, yeah. But I have to give her time to make her way from California. I, uh... I suggested to Dakota because the night that we came and found you for the first time was a night not as severe as this. But it's a night that me and her just needed to do something. Okay. So Crumb Daddy and Grandpappy, they're going to be going to mine to look for somebody. Okay. So it's time to come up with a nickname. Because you're coming with us. If you're up for it. Yes. I'm up for it. Perfect. Now, if you feel like they're going to replace you, yeah. the best spot, if you feel like they're going to replace you, the best spot to shoot somebody is through the eye hole. All right. Perfect. I wanted to leave Bloody Bill at the funeral, but I want this gun to be passed on. I didn't want it to be just dust. Zip wanted to adopt her, but he's gonna pretty much, uh, Zip will probably, like, adopt her in the way of not adopting her, if that makes sense.
having the uh, the weapons glitch. Hi. Howdy. You want to know something? Yeah. You know, the day after I started riding for Jack, he gave me this gun. <laughs> You've had it that long? Yeah. Does it have a name? Bloody Bill. Hmm. Every time... The first time I ever rode out with the Kettleman gang, we went to Shady Bill. We were looking for DeCenzo's, but Law found us in the city, so we went to Shady Bill. And Rabbit was there. We gunned Rabbit and her people down, or their people down. And then we went back to a cave. And I had a different bolt action. And then we went to the next day or a couple of days later, we went back to Sand and and again fell back to Shady Bell. And it was Sands. See, was Sands it? was. Yeah. Do you remember when I. I think I sent you a telegram a long while ago saying that I was hiding in a bush across from Shady Bell when you were in a firefight. That was it. That was <laughs> so long ago. It was Sands when he was a deputy. He was the only one standing. And, uh, I took his guns off of him. And as soon as I took the guns off, Jack fanned him down. It was the first time I seen someone get shot without guns. And, uh, we went back to that cave. And Jack gave me this gun and said, you're a kettle kid. Well, Mills actually called us kettle kids. Me and Ollie. And I left and named the gun the next day. That was July of 1901. I'm glad that you still have it. DeCenzo's had it for a few months. Hmm. It's the oldest thing I have in the crossing. <laughs> really? Yeah. All those horses I had back then, they're all dead. That's sweet. I have that blue vest. That's, I guess, the oldest thing, technically. It's, it's strange uh, how little we hold on to, ain't it? It really is. <laughs> I actually have something I want to show you. Give me a minute. Have we ever let anyone shoot Bloody Bill? What's this? If you want to shoot it, you can. Oh, I you sure? Yeah, it was given to me from a semi-famous outlaw. Have you ever heard the name Jack Kettleman? Uh, no. That's why he's semi-famous. Don't shoot uh, towards town. Well, no, of course. Okay. <laughs> she gonna shoot the lantern? I don't think anyone shot Bloody Bill. Well, I missed. What were you aiming for? There was a seagull in the sky. Jesus. Sorry. Look like See you if you can hit the lantern. The hit the lantern? Okay. Oh! Good one. Thank you. It only took 11 minutes to line up the shot. Okay. I'll get better. It's okay, I'm probably worse. I don't know how I've made it this far. Here, look at this. That looks pretty cool.
I think what? this is one of the oldest things that I own. It was a gun that he gave to me that he he either robbed it or it was his back when he was just a kid running about. I always thought it was a pretty gun. This is his first gun? Can I shoot it? Sure. I really want to fan the hammer on the wallaby gun. <laughs> the disgrace. Why is it only loading? Okay. It's only loading four shots. I really need to reload. We did it. We Western you fan. I appreciate it. History and all of that. Probably a very old fucking gun. Yeah, ancient. Back into my crypt it goes. Yeah, here you go. It's the fucking glitch that I have right now. Let me go put this on my horse. Thank you. It would be cool if people valued things like that. Like, Legends guns. Like, I don't know if... Oh my god, I definitely need to take a nap. Murder you fucking cunt. I don't know why I said take a nap as if I was in character. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna take a quick nap. Okay. Luckily, we haven't had a shootout. I don't think we would have gotten in a shootout either. Because, um... Law and stuff, usually, like, I... I literally don't know anybody that fucks with like if someone even during war was heading somewhere for like a funeral or to bury a body that one of the nicest kettlemans I've ever seen I wonder who, does doesn't somebody have A stupid gun that Zip bought for his kid. I think Ollie has it. I'll be right back. I'm gonna use the restroom and fill up my water.
Okay. How's her voice? I don't know. The, the stations must be fucking haunted or something. I don't understand. I didn't even know that ghosts could have a telegram number. Uh, they... I think maybe... When you die, your spirit... Uh, might have a little more knowledge than you had when it was living. Like, maybe they know... Morse code, they can, uh, more or less possess what the, fuck are they talking about? the little clicking device t -t -t to send telegrams to random numbers. I would possess dynamite and I would blow people up. Yeah, that's something. Time away that bark. You know about the ghost of Roanoke, dip? No. So if you have a flat, you, the back of your head is flat. What do you mean? Like the back of your head, it's flat. Okay. What if yours is too and you just don't know because of all the hair? It's not. I have a very well-shaped head. I'll have you know yours, however. When we go to Cisco, remind me to tell the, uh, whatever they have in charge. To, to shave what? your hair. Well, yeah. No. Nah. Can we be they monks? They shave to. your head? Yeah, they shave well, yeah, your head. Get they shave your head. They take all of your fun things away from you. Uh, and then they make you go do yard work. They make you shovel for potatoes in the potato fields. Um, and then sometimes they put you in a hot box where uh, three well, men the will, boxes. well, one of them will be taking a shit and his name will be Mustard. Um, and then they'll shove you and two other men inside of the hot box along with the one that's already violently shitting himself. Um, and then so you will be covered in shit. But then, for some reason, the two they get put in the hot box with you are going to start throwing up. So then they're going to throw up on top of you, and then you're going to be covered in shit and throw up. And it's, you know what? It's going to get into your fucking boots. The leather in your boots, it's going to get into your leather boots, and then they're going to stink. They're going to stink so fucking bad that you're going to have to throw them in the goddamn water. And then, you know what? Your shit ass of a boyfriend at the time is going to make up some fucking excuse about why he has to go get your boots, even though you've made it very evident that you don't want them anymore. And then he's going to pretend like he's doing you a favor, and when you politely decline, he's going to get really mad at you for literally no reason at all. And he's gonna make an enormous problem out of it. That's gonna be the entire reason why you probably fucking cheat on him. I think we should have more of these talks, Dakota. It was only a kiss. We just kissed. We kissed in a barn. He kissed me in a barn, and then I kissed him again on the balcony. I, I said it was only a kiss, implying that it may have been me. It wasn't me. I'm now stating it wasn't me. It was Eddie. He's dead. That's right. He's dead. I forgot that that entire boot thing happened. Oh, shit. I think you should relive your nightmare trauma with Scout. I beat him into a coma when we were in Sissica. Never mind. You should drop it. Okay. My god. Well, they're not taking my hair. They oh, will. no. They'll make you break fingers of people you care about. There's a giant alligator named Blueberry that will eat you alive in less than half a bite. Um, what else? The snakes. Um, the guards, when they don't like you, they'll just bash your head in with a rifle and then drag you by your neck through the prison. And then when they find out that someone you love and care about is in there, they make you go up and they make you torture them by breaking their fingers, smashing their hands, 
breaking their ankles, biting their ear off, some tongue action. What the fuck? Well, remind me to never get arrested. Not the good kind of tongue action either. That sounds like hell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I watched a man choke and die on his own shit. In Sissica, I should clarify. Yeah, Booker used to eat steak dinners. And she would chew up the steak and spit it on the ground and make me eat it up. Remember that one time that she made you clean the, the poo bucket down in solitary? We don't talk about that. We oh, made right. a deal. Sorry, that's right. I'm sorry. I Dakota, forgot. we had I'm one... Sorry, I forgot. We had one thing <laughs> that I said never tell... In, you could tell anyone anything else that you know about me. Even that I handcuffed my sister to bed and made my brother watch. My apologies, uh, Mr. Quill. I it was a long time ago. Why were we even all in there? Booker. The, uh, you know what? No, hold on. No, I'm opening up a can of worms. I want to keep it closed. Thank you. Next question. Speaking That's of weird. Ollie, I sent him a telegram. Hopefully he can come to the funeral. Okay. I need a telegram, Red Lance. And probably other people. I wrote Alice Cheddar as a CC. Andy, uh, Danya, Rowan, uh, couple others, yeah, Sam. Okay. Alright, we ready to crumb daddy up? Yeah, I'm ready to crumb. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna do some weird things. If you wanna come... If you wanna crumb. You're more than welcome. If you, if you wanna crumb. <laughs> what exactly does that mean? I literally can't tell you because... If I would have told you when me and Dakota went the first time to do this that I'd have an assistant a couple weeks later after bashing her like in with a hammer, I I wouldn't be able to guess that that would be what the answer would be if Dakota asked, "What exactly are we doing?" Okay. Well, uh, as long as we could stop by a bank at some point so I can get some gems out, actually. You want to buy some gems instead of me selling them? Sure. I, I need to get some money and buy a sidearm, some ammo, the essentials. Okay. Is that your new horse that you wrote me about, by the way? Where, whatever yeah. Whatever is here. Yeah, she's a bitch too. Why? Well, she's kicked me down like three times today. Oh, yeah, that'll happen. Does someone have my banana bread? I do. Um, I'm going to tell you this right now because a wise man who's now dead told me braids hurt the horse's hair. Do they really? Yeah. Are Does you telling me to unbraid my, my horse's hair? I'm just saying if you care for stupid things like animals then yes wait don't you kill horses i do all the time yeah i won't kill murder okay Zip, uh, Wallaby, Zip, Booker made Zip change Wallaby's shit bucket, and then she pushed Zip down, getting Wallaby's shit all over him. Wait, 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 he needs to go to San Denis to the bank. Oh. Yeah, I need, I need to get some gems. 
But yeah, my wife and my my son died from smallpox. Are there any gyms that you're after in particular, Zip? I got all kinds. Um, I want to do the. You know what? Today's been a rough day. Please don't, please don't. Ah! <laughs> God. Uh, okay. Why? I asked one thing of you. What? You can't tell anyone about that. And that's what you get for you saying something about the shit bucket incident. Listen, the shit bucket incident, it slipped my mind. I didn't mean it. How loud are you talking? <laughs> Not loud. Why did Millie laugh right then? I don't know. I guess you do. I guess right did. <laughs> what do you want from me, huh? Dakota! What? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm lonely. Please come back. Please come back. Um, Dakota. Yeah. We need to make up Millie's nickname. It has to be something good and symbolic and. Poop butt. No, something forever. Shit ass. Not. No. Crap piss. What? Dookie bottom. <laughs> Crumb kitty. <laughs> Ew! It was zip. Yeah, I regret it immediately. Millipede. Oh my god. That is adorable. <laughs> you think? Yes. Named after a fucking bug? Yes. Bug. Okay. Millipede it is. Alright. When we go by Crumb Daddy and Grandpappy, you're Millipede. Alright. Barton, you're creep. <laughs> creep. I don't, Dakota, I don't a, Barton's don't creep. Fancy name. It's what? Creep. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't get nothing fancy like from daddy or whatever. I just get creep. No, we got creep, grandpappy, crumb daddy, and millipede. Why can't I be grandpappy? I'm Grandpappy. Well, why can't I be Great Grandpappy? You could be Uncle. Oh no, that makes me sad. You could be Auntie. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I used to call Prophet Big Unk. He's dead. I know, but He's... I remember <laughs> the first day that he showed up and he was looking for you. He came across me at the bathhouse and asked me if I knew any of y'all, and I said, yeah. And for some strange reason, I started calling him Big Unk. We call him, we could call him Bartfunkle. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, Bartfunkle. I can, I can get behind that one. Bartfunkle the third. Bartfunkle Mule. Bar, bar funk on you. That's gonna be so hard to get right when we're trying to be serious. And this here's bar funkle you. I'm grandpappy. This here's crumb daddy, and this here's millipede. We're here to ruin your life or make it better. Say you got 24 hours to live. Wait, isn't Garfunkel the guy that was in? Wait, wasn't he a hostage yesterday? Garfunkel was a hostage, yeah, but this is Bartholomew. Bar oh, Bartholomew. Barfunkel Tholomew. Barfunkel Mew. Got it. Barfunkel Mew. Okay. Bartholomew. I, I like it. Thank you. It's original. 
How much cash do you want? And I'll tell you what I want, gems, if you have it. Uh, probably gonna need at least 400, if not more. Alright, do you just no. want to give me 300 rubies, uh, 200 in diamonds, and uh, 100 in emerald? So I could give you 3, 2, 1, so 600. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Alright. If you have them cut, that would be preferred. Yeah, that's fair enough. Why are those I people lingering around? I don't know, but I really, really fucking hope there's someone in that mine. Me too. Why are those people coming back? Isn't that hilarious? Hello there. Howdy. Howdy. I really hope they fuck with us. Give me a fucking reason, fella. What about you, lady? You seen any French women? I can hardly understand them. That's true. What well, French yeah, woman are you looking for? Sorry to bother you, fuck. Wait, 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 what French woman are you looking for? Uh, it's a girl. She told us her name was Lily, but I don't know. Uh, braids, wearing, I think, a beret. Black. Had a French accent. Is she a sheriff? No. Huh. <laughs> Hello, I see you too. <laughs> yeah, I definitely see you. <laughs> I know you do. I'm quite what, amazed. Uh, Thank what, you. What shade do you have on your lips right now? I would, I would love to have some. Well, uh, that's a Rose personal Red. question. What? It's genuine. I mean, you, I admire a good lipstick shade. Uh, it's rose red for a bit of cherry mixed in. It's my own blend. Oh, wait. You should sell that. Well, I might. I might. But a clown never gives away his good tricks. That's right. <laughs> well, that's true. Mm, All right, yeah. Jackson. Let's move. All right. Good luck. People. Sorry for worrying you guys. Have a good one. Oh, we weren't worried. Were we supposed to be worried? I don't know why we would. I. I... <laughs> don't, don't look at me. <laughs> Okay. Oh wait, uh, can I stop at the general store real quick and get binoculars? Riley took mine. Yeah. I'm gonna need this stuff back. Okay. Oh. You got the cash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much? 600? Yeah. Wait. Three, two... No, this is five. This is five. You got a game bag on you? Yeah, I do. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. I'll pass you this stuff back. Thank you. Thank you. I think I was more worried for him than he was worried for us. Oh, yeah.
There's too many people. Horse! Okay, sorry, y'all. Come on. That's oh, hey, hold on. Right. You're the fella that stabbed that other guy who was trying to rob me inside the vent. Zip, that's you. Hey, how, how you doing? I did what? Oh, uh, you don't remember that one guy was trying to rob me, but he do, he didn't do it right? He was just waving his gun all over the saloon and... and... He was just being a, a prick. I do that Not like sure twice remember. a week. You'll have to be like uh, way more specific. It was around this time. It was in Valentine about a week ago. Uh, some guy was supposed to rob me. You told, oh my God, there goes, there goes wagon. All right. There was some guy that was supposed to rob me that you told to rob, I think. And he, he, he was just fucking around. And then he got stabbed. Ginger fella, or was this the one with the long Ginger hair? Ginger fella. Ginger fella. Yes, Alexander. Was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, little prick. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I'm not sure if he's still out to get you, but I think he he, he went to... I don't know. He, he, he had some sort of vendetta. He had some sort of... Some retributional thinking inside the saloon. And he's like, I'm going to stand up for myself. And he walked out the saloon, and we never saw him again, and everybody laughed at him. All right, if you ever see him again, tell him my telegram is real kinky 699. I'll come and meet him face to face and he can fucking try. All right, all right. I'll let him know. I haven't seen him around, but I'm just going to assume he probably died. Perfect. Yeah. Y'all have a good night, man. Yep. All right. Here's a win. Folks, stay safe. Wait, do you have anything worth robbing? No, nope. uh... I'm just making bread. I got flour and that's about it. Ooh, a cook. Do you want a guitar? Mm, Dakota? Oh, actually, hold on. Do you folks need gun sauce? Gun what's sauce? gun sauce? Gun sauce? Oh, what's gun sauce, you might ask? Gun sauce is my secret formula. Secret formula to lubricating your guns. Do you folks like a sample? I mean, I wouldn't say no to anything free. Yep. No worries. Gun sauce all around. around. Gun Here you go, ma'am. I'm stuck. I'm confused by it too. That's, yeah. So. Oh, thank you. I don't really know. I, I don't know why you put sauce in your gun, but. Oh, so, so, what? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Of course. I like your shirt. If I thank ain't you. using it, someone else needs to. That's why that guy jumped in my house. He said he liked my shirt and my hat, and I said. Oh. And then the bank was getting robbed, so I said, I'm gonna leave. And then he said, Yeah, me too. I'm not going to Hold on to this for me. That's a conversation. Ah, uh, no worries, no worries. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I like your hat. So. Wait, that's too much. That's Thank too. You. Wait, you know what? Yeah, go ahead and hand some more oh. out, and then. No worries, no worries. I'll hand more out. Thank you. That's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me in my entire life. That's oh my god, it's that you, Dakota? Who the fuck are you? It's me, buddy. You sent your 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 feral thing to chase me around roads. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? You can even do that, right? What the hell? Stop it! Stop it! Where's nonchalant hand him like a grand anyway, gem? You sent the feral <laughs> man after me. Like Why do you I look like, like a responsible man? I am a responsible what? man. No, you're not. The last time that I fucking saw you, you flew through a window and rose and almost killed Adelaide Winters. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, Here you, you go, did. sir. Gun sauce and gun sauce accessories. Much appreciated. appreciate it. Of course, of course. Get out, out of here, you Dakota. Get, get out of here. I don't want no fucking sauce. Wait. Red and black. Wait, wait. He sold it on to like two thousand dollars of my gems. Oh yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Oh Jesus Christ. Well, I needed him to hold it while I did it. Oh, there we go. Ah. No wonder I was feeling all heavy. There you go, sir. My Appreciate apologies. It. Four. All right. You all have a nice, safe day. Yep. Get out of my Thank you. Thank you. I love that guy. Really? Kind of. Hey, I need I to go to the gun store. Oh, yeah, but not Dakota, like gun store. Gotta get me a navy. Okay, sorry. I met him long ago in Valentine. 
I used to beat him up for fun. That's cute. Yeah. practice safe again every time we come here you're gonna here? i'm just gonna have her do it once i want oh, her okay. every time we come here to start getting comfortable with the numbers fuck she's not gonna have isaac as a teacher dakota yes are you good with safes no i've never done one well i've done one that's it oh well her teacher died yesterday so oh I'm not a good teacher. Who in Dead End Gang will help me help her? Um, everybody. Excluding Wallaby. I don't think that he's ever touched a safe. Him and I are one and the same. Also, I might not go on this mining expedition, and I might head back to Van Horn and go to sleep because I'm extremely tired. And so the am I. That I drank did not fucking help me at all. So am I, but can we just like see if there's someone there together? And yeah, then... we can look. Yeah. I said it's a scout. But thank you for coming. Of course. He told me I'm in. What do you mean? Like, in. Scouted? Yeah. Did he say anything else? Said a few things. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Yeah. All There's good. A, a lot more that I would like to speak with you about that is more pressing towards the business side. I just didn't think that it was Tom. Okay. Come on, we'll have a lot to catch up on. Yeah, I think so. I'm so fucking tired. Yeah. Are you struggling? Oh, got it. Okay. Uh, do you want these baked beans or das or a uh, kettleman or a uh, fish and rod? No. How about three dollars? No. Beans. Oh, I want three dollars. Take it. Okay. I think, I think everything in there is meant to be taken for whoever. Oh, well, I didn't take it. I think we... they restock it, like, every day. Oh, well. I'm not a big fan of beans. 
I just said I wanted the beans. Oh, I'm sorry. Will you want me to try again? No. Okay. No. Uh, Are you feeling confident though? The, uh, the first USA. time, the first time I did it, I just uh, went over uh, a little bit. That's all. So otherwise, yeah, I feel I feel pretty confident. I just need to be, get maybe a little bit faster. That's all. So I'll, I'll have to come up and practice a little bit. I'll, I can do that on my free time. Yeah. My opinion, I think uh, you get better uh, during an actual job, during an actual job. At first, I was slow as a turtle, but now I'm, I'm rather quick myself. But uh, a lot of that had to do with Isaac teaching me. Yeah, he was uh, he was he's pretty the, he was pretty quick the other day. Yeah, he's <laughs> one of the faster ones in the crossing. That's what he said. That's what Zip said too. Are we waiting on something? Or are we waiting on me? I don't know. Clap. What? Just kidding. Don't clap. Let's go. Okay. Sorry. Are you re Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen okay. Top Pan around in a while. They probably went with the Dicenzos wherever they went. I mean, why came back? Gave Wallaby that vest harness, and then I haven't seen him since. Dude, I cannot wait for Cesare's, like, when, Z if Z-Tark ever brings Cesare back, I cannot wait for his reaction to know that Zip is riding with Wallaby. If we're even still riding with Wallaby then, but I think we will be. Well, if, I don't know, I'm tired. Today was emotionally fucking draining. That's your horse. Yeah. Okay, what you know? We're just gonna look at the mines. If there's no horse or anything, then I think me and Dakota might be going back to Van Horn to lay our heads down separately. Yes. I'm married. I am married. Like, really married. Yeah. Because I've definitely seen your wife the same amount that I've seen my husband. You definitely have met my wife. Yeah, I've met your wife. Right. Yeah, because she's taking That's care of she's... my kids. Uh huh. Yeah. And my husband's busy selling horses in Italy. Why can't he sell horses here? He's shy. He's shy. What? Is yeah. he American shy? No, he's Italian shy. But is he only shy towards hey. Crossians? Have you Everybody. told him about Saint Denis? What about Saint Denis? There's a bunch of Italians in Saint Denis. Yeah, have you uh, not you told know, them about he's, uh, Saint Denis? He's a different Italian. He's Sicilian. I'm pretty sure there's Sicilian people in Saint Denis. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've met an Italian in Saint Denis who said he was from Sicily. All right, listen. <laughs> right, because Zip would make way less sense than Mills.
Yeah, it, it's... <laughs> I have like so many scenarios in my head that would be hilarious, but it would just get zip fucking yeeted. So, did I get the full, uh, from Daddy? Who the experience? fuck is that? Who's that? That's Serafina? No. Hello. What? Hi, my name is Hades. Oh. I am. I'm Hades. Why? Don't shoot me. Why? Oh, I think I. I think she. Why are you dressed like that? Uh, no one would yeah. suspect it's me. That's true. I thought that you were a, a scared, like, working woman, not like a prostitute. I mean, oh. like somebody who works behind a, like a counter, not like a brothel. Oh, then counter, it's working. But, like, a general store. Yeah. I'm sorry. Carry on your way. I didn't mean to spook you. Okay. I know Hades. I am Hades. She, she broke helped me us out break of jail. You out of, yeah, she helped us break you out. Yeah, yeah. I did. I have to. I've, I've been killing everyone that helps with that. Oh. Except me, of course. Well, he's I last. Just don't tell him. Quick. How quick? Um. Elephant rifle in the mouth. Cliff. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I at least want time to contemplate my morality while I'm falling. Okay. Well. I'll give you 50 years to pick a cliff. Okay, thank you. I'll You're pick welcome. a nice one. Good day. Have a blessed day. I now. said good day. She didn't say it back. I don't... Like, the first time that I met her, she was digging food out of the trash in Andesburg, so I don't think she's all that socially there. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Do you think that's where she's going right now? Is to dig food out of the trash can in Innsbruck? She's gonna go get dinner like she always does every single fucking night. Anyway, did I get the full, uh, crumb, crumb daddy whatever experience, or? Are you, Are you or did you? Are you gonna get it? Well, I thought that's what we went out to do. And yeah, no, 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 uh, it's only in the mine. It has to be the mine. They have to be working oh, people. okay. Not Lady of the Nights like that lady is. Right, is that what you said she is? Um, I think she, I said she didn't look like a prostitute. Even though between me and you, I thought that was... was kind of yeah, same. I like her though. Okay. So 50 years is good then? Mm-hmm. This is bullshit. I definitely she wasn't hoping to go to bed. Yeah, yes. Me neither. Boo. Yeah, we definitely look. Okay. Don't mind it, man. Just go in the mine, the mount, over the holes. I do shit. Ah, uh, yes. The corner that started it all. Look at where friends Let's became friends. Out. Oh, let's take our Crumb Daddy edition guns out. Should we name all three of them when they're... Oh my god, you got a Lancaster-made Crumb Daddy lack? <laughs> yeah. What would sweet. the three of them be called? Threesome. Oh my god. <laughs> my Crumb wife Daddy. is gonna be pissed. The Try Daddy. Yeah, the Try Daddy. Oh yeah. my god, Try Daddy is great. I agree. Or the Trinidaddy. Ooh, I like that. Trinidaddy? I don't know, I like Try Daddy really well, but Trinidaddy is good too. The Trinidaddy? The Trinidads. Fingle bottom. I hope he's here. No. 
That scared me. I'm gonna be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. We we were <laughs> we set that up and we were fucking freaked out. Just as, probably just as much, or if not at worse than you. He almost fucking blew me up. Yeah. I heard that. Yeah, that was true. Realize how many crooks and corners this place has. Yeah, it's a secret room too. I'm pretty sure. Uh. Well, Isaac had a little secret spot that he would like to go. Up Is it the, the one where you push the minecart and no, go down the ladder? He, uh, well, no, he would go up a ladder. Uh, in the back this way. I think he'd go up the back like two shaft. levels. Back shaft. Yeah, he loved the back shaft. Of course he did. You know, the Kettleman gang, when we were at war with the Chenzos, we came to these mines and uh, we went down the back shaft because we checked uh, Sloan's hut. To see if she was in there. Mm -hmm. And someone lubed up the ladder, and I'm not kidding you, five out of six of us got incapacitated. <laughs> oh my god. I fell down on the first one, and there was a beam going across, and I was. My stomach was like teeter tottering me on the beam, and I was just stuck on the beam for like 20 minutes. Huh. Do you hear that? Yes. It's above the That sounded like a few horses. Yeah. It's trying to. Oh, sorry. Well, let's get back for the off chance of slow. The day that we have to explain, I think, I think Sif and Dakota were talking about making a picture book of, we definitely were. Hey, after all the serious talks tomorrow, can you and I work on the picture book to give to Wallaby about the story oh, yeah, of Millie? Yeah, I think that he's seeing me differently after the last one that he witnessed. I don't know, he so... seemed to like it. He, you making a picture he didn't say anything. Yeah, about your life story. Well, your life story when it actually started. Right. Oh, uh, I'd love to see it when it's done. Okay. Yeah, loud. Mr. G Daddy, I literally drank water as I was looking up to check that message. I wonder where that weird fellow on the donkey went. I wonder where the painted face fellow went. Well, when you were you were taking a nap before we left Van Horn, this guy rode in on a donkey wearing white and black stripe on a poncho, and he saw Dakota and he turned around before he got halfway through town and just fed out of here. Very odd. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. Uh, can so someone uh, post someone who to raid? Uh, yeah, yeah. Today has been fucking emotionally fucked. Yeah, don't worry about it. I mean, I, I sort of knew last night. I didn't even know. I woke up as you guys were leaving Tumbleweed. I knew something happened. I didn't know what. Only because. Yeah, I don't want it to be forever. 
I really don't want it to be tell forever. Me something in person. And it was about us. Zip just needed to say, he I needed to fucking. Back and forth between here and the West looking for her. He needed to say something, man. Never ended up Because he was going to hurt her if not. So I went to sleep, not knowing. Then I woke up and saw you guys hauling Isaac off on the back of a horse. And that's. That's how I found out. Well, I'm glad you were able to make it. I, I didn't know we were going to be doing all of that when we headed out west, to be honest. I just wanted to go see if it was real. Yeah. You going to head back out west tonight, or you going to stay around here? I'll probably stay around here. I'll probably lay my head, too. I don't really feel like doing much of anything. I was supposed to do a job with Hathaway tonight, but I told him to uh, go ahead without me. Right. Well, I want you to have that sit down with Archie. I talked to him about it, so uh, just whenever you can be around, be around. Sure. I'll, uh, I'll try to be around earlier tomorrow. Perfect. Okay. I'll go... Uh, I'm gonna go rest on a bench out back or something. I'll see you guys tomorrow. What? Sleep in like the. There's a room up by the bathhouse. You don't have yeah. to be a stray dog. Okay. Well, oh, I'll go shit. sleep there, then. I forgot. I'll what? let the bartender sleep in my hotel room. Oh my. That's scandalous. Well, I felt bad for him because you got. He said that you guys were gonna make him sleep in the outhouse. Is she... No, I was gonna put him in the cage downstairs. Can she sleep with you? Oh. What? No, I'm married. No, no, it's all right. No, actually, he said we're not uh, allowed uh, in my hotel room no, at all, it's, ever. It's all right. Not even Millie? Sleep. Not no, overnight. No, okay. Jesus uh, Christ. No, no, you it's... could stay in mine. No, you not have a hotel it really room? is all right. No, no, no. You could sleep in mine because I I'm used to sleeping literally with the bed roll off my horse and free. And I think tonight okay. would be a good night to do that. Okay. Um... And then also there's medical bags in one of the crates in there. Would you like me to take those? Uh... No, I'm the one that put them there. Okay. Yeah, we just, it's best to have extras here. So just leave them in there and then I'll probably refill it. They might get stolen tomorrow morning, just by the way. Um, we have a terrible thieving problem. That's what I hear. Okay, it's $40 worth of... Did you take the oranges at least it's... out of it? Yeah, I took everything else out of it besides a champagne and three medical bags. Okay. Um, Could we, like, cram a uh, box into somebody's I can, hotel? I have one in my hotel. I just don't have any room on me. We could I have just, all the ice. What, why are we keeping the bartender? Because he owes us $300. I think that's all. You know what? Fuck it. Just leave them in there. I don't care. I'll buy them. I'll take tomorrow. two. I can. I'll I can take hold one. on to it. I have plenty of There's a space one in my pocket. In there. I can take it. That's fine. Okay. Right. Did you need to oh, yeah. talk or anything before you go to bed? Um, I think that we could save it all for tomorrow. It's gonna be a long conversation. Okay. Well. I want to do yeah, it get early, fucked, so... Get yeah, fucked, get lady. fucked, you yeah, stupid fuck bitch. You. Fuck you. Fuck you. Get out of town. No idiot. one wants you here anyways. Not even the Boo. fucking horses. Fuck you. Boo. Get fucked. That's right. Shame. Shame. Yes, have a good night. Shame. <laughs> Shame. Shame. Yeah, and his little John. That's right. <laughs> Barely a fistful. You blonde fucking freak. Jesus Christ. Hey, I like blonde people, okay? I didn't say that all blondes are bad. I'm just saying that fucking little freak is. That's true. Yeah, she looks terrible. Look at her. She's going to jump she over the boxes weathered. like a fucking harlot. Stupid. <laughs> I bet you she wants men to look up her dress, and that's why she does it. Look at her. Sickening. Oh, Jesus. Trying to make money on our streets. How oh, she twisted her fucking ankle falling off her high horse. <sighs> what a fucked up day. What a fucked up day. I thought it was all a joke. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pete told me you were dead. What the fuck? Yeah. So, in reality, this is all Pete's fault. 
He did this, yeah. Pete did this. Uh, so I want Mr. Fingalbottom to teach you how to do safes since your teacher's dead. Damn, that's sad. Uh, okay. Uh. All right. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know how to elaborate. Also, Dakota, I hope mm -hmm. you know you're the only one in Dead End Gang that I know their telegrams, I think, other than Wallaby. Oh, okay. If it makes you feel any better, um, I only know Scout and Wallaby's telegram by heart, and that's that's it. And yours. I think I know yours by heart. KS-130? Uh-huh. And then yours is RK-699. Oh, Millie's is UF-105. Yeah, it's her last name, so that makes sense. Also, I'm now remembering that I actually think I forget Scouts because I haven't sent him a telegram in like a year. <laughs> I know too many telegrams by heart. I'm pretty sure Mills is AW313, Jax is MT027, Isaac's BS385, hmm. Ollie is IA639. Andy's is LK656. Jesus Christ, Zip. Zoe's is yeah. LD969. Only know two by heart. But Alice you can't is remember QN172. my name. Yeah, Millie UF105. No, you call me Minnie all the time. <laughs> well, okay, and but Riley. I, I, you I, call I, me Minnie and Riley. Okay. Those are even similar. Minnie, <laughs> Minnie, Minnie. The only reason why Minnie and Millie gets fucked up is because I know a Minnie in the crossing. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go to sleep now and then pray that tomorrow is different. Yes. Okay. Can we do this like around the exact same time as today? Will that work for you? What do you mean by that? Um, like the talk at like, like three you Eastern. Wanna have it at. Oh, okay. I thought you meant one in the morning, and I was. No, you no. fucking psychopath. Because everything's gonna ruin tomorrow, and then we're gonna be fucking too tired and emotionally drained to get off anything in our chest. Yeah. Oh yes, and uh, I'll be here around same time as today. So, uh, seven thirty Eastern. That's seven thirty Eastern. All right, I'll let my assistant know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> I'm hopping off solo. Today has been emotionally fucked. Why did you start staring off into the abyss? Me? Yeah. I just... I'm actually excited to sleep nomad tonight. That's good. I'm gonna go curl up into a bed alone and then cry into the pillow. Right. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay my head and. What time are you gonna um, be around, Millie? What the hell? I just said it like five times in a row. Uh, see, <laughs> okay, I'm seven thirty, Eastern again. Uh, seven thirty. Uh, no, you need, sorry. you need to wake up earlier. I need to wake up earlier. Yes. I mean, we could see her late, later after that. Why? What? Are you, are you I mean, thinking we, chess up I'm until? Just, I mean, we're gonna we have chess, the chess tournament in the hotel chess room at eight, at eight p.m. A... Ah. What? Um, huh? we have a secret, secret, very secret, in-house uh -huh. thing happening at eight. So, we'll see you at nine. Oh, okay. Yep, that's fine. I understand. Uh, yeah, the podcast. Of course. Well, I'll be here. Okay. okay. Also, Zip, before you go. Yeah. I have a, I have an in-house chess tournament as well at 5 p.m. until 6 p.m. Okay. Okay, I'm just letting you know. Just in case our conversation goes on for two hours and then all of a sudden I disappear. Okay, I don't have to have... I'm not part of that one, right? I'm the, no, the eight no, this is just a me thing. I'm penciled in for eight. Uh huh. Okay. 
Okay, yep. Okay. You're free to go to bed and wake up at nine. Oh, hell yeah, that's well, gonna be one hell of a sleep. If if you wake up at seven thirty, uh, uh yeah. just I'll probably see, go get more oranges. Yeah, see if there's anybody else uh around. Ooh, if you wake up at 7.30 and absolutely nobody's around and the bartender's around, can you take him up to Coulter and get ice? Uh, yeah, I have did. a bunch of ice on me. Oh, And perfect. I'll give it to him. See, she's that good, we didn't even have to ask her to. Great. Ooh, the sky's pink. Oh my god, it's fucking beautiful. It's low as fuck. Well. Alright, it's over. Shit. That was depressing. Holy crap, that was depressing. Just flashed before my eyes. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good night, everyone, good night. and uh, sleep well as, as well as you can. All right, you too. All right, good night, Dakota. Good oh, night. it's three J. Here, take the key. You know what? Fuck the key. It's probably open. I'm. What it? You leave the hotel door open? I'm a degenerate. Yeah, and there's a lot of money worth of shit in there. Is that why you hate your wife? I love my wife more than anyone. Except will there's ever another know. woman going into your hotel room. And I'm not. Yeah, but you could always do that later. You know, you, have you ever caught people slinking about into each other's hotel rooms late at night in between the hallways this way and that? Okay, you know the difference? What? I'm not a piece of shit. What? You're not a... What is... <laughs> I'm not a man that cheats on my wife. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Unless she deserved it, but she'll never deserve it. Okay, good night. Okay, high five, good night. High five. I'm not actually high fiving. Okay, I thought that we were just saying it. We were. Okay, I did. All right, good night. Good night. Yeah, so uh, the podcast, I believe the people that confirmed, I'll I'll have to double check. Um, but as of right now, uh, confirmed is. Uh, Blue Bonnet is day of. Uh, Tara Burrito uh, is a yes. Ethan is a yes. Davy is a yes. Verts is a yes. And as long as he's feeling like his throat is feeling okay. And Tank is a yes, I believe. So I believe... Everyone is on board except uh, Blue might not be able to make it due to uh, real life and Vert if he's not feeling good enough. But so if those two don't make it, then it will be uh, Ethan who plays Scout, but Rito who plays Dakota, uh, me and Tank and Davy B. Um, I, we're not prioritizing the stream, so there's a chance Vert streams it, there's a chance Davey streams it, I'm, I'm not, like, trying to just gatekeep, I guess, not gatekeep, but I'm not doing it to, like, have just content, we're just doing it just to, I, I think it would be cool for everybody's fan base and stuff, and to just hang out and everyone can ask questions, so... Um, I'm sure Tank and Verts will post that they're going to be going live. Uh, same with Davey. Um, and whoever else might be possibly streaming it. Um, uh, but yeah, no, uh. Um. Let's raid someone we don't often raid. It's usually the same group of people, so let's raid someone. Oh my god, there's a lot of fucking people streaming right now. We're gonna we're gonna raid someone we've never raided before. Oh here, hold on. Um 
thank you everybody for hanging out uh i will be live tomorrow for the podcast and then probably for playing on the server oh <sighs> but yeah thank you whatever day it is or whatever time it is i hope it's amazing and yeah if you're not in the discord join the discord to get news on the podcast and stuff i don't know if we're gonna do it in mine or not but just in case but yeah have a good night guys thank you thank you thank you show savanny some love i don't know who they play but yeah good night